Jewelry Makers and happy Thursday. We were totally ready, weren't we, Monica? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Born ready. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> How was it? I know. How was your drive in today? Oh my gosh, the rain I drove through it was crazy. It, it, it is it was, bonkers, isn't it? It was. I mean, I literally couldn't see the car in front of me on the motorway. That's really scary. Oh. And it's kind of, you know, aquaplaning and, yeah. and it's just puddles and yeah. lying water and it's just... But, but then you're also oh. on the motorway, you're too scared to go very slowly because then you're worried somebody's going to drive into the back of, of you. Of course, yeah. yeah. Like a big so. lorry or something. Anyway, you're here, you're I'm safe. Here. Yes. But can I just say, for anybody out there, please be safe. Uh, yeah. if, you, if, if, you, if, if, if you don't have to go out, just, just don't. Uh, stay in, watch Jewelry Maker. We've got an absolutely brilliant show for you today. Off the back of yesterday, which was a great show, but a bit of a disaster from technical point of views. Um, uh, we had so many technical issues. I was watching yesterday. I heard your message when you said hello. Ah, <laughs> hello, Monica. Um, did, uh, did could you get involved all right yesterday? I was, it was okay for me on the web. You're yeah, on the web. I was on the you? web. Yeah. Most I think it was time. just really slow for people. Yeah. So I think I think really the aim of the game today is. If we do have any issues, hopefully we won't, but if we do, just get in early, get in as early as you possibly can. Um, we've got so much uh, to get through. What, where do we start? Okay, we've got Chrysler Praise coming up at 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. which is gonna be absolutely terrific. We've got some brand new strands. The Australian Jade, I can't wait to bring this to you. I love it. <laughs> Apple green Chrysler Praise coming your way from 10 o'clock. This is top, 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 top quality material. In fact, I think it is pretty much the best material we've ever been able to source. So very, very excited about your gorgeous Chrysler Praise coming up at 10. We've also got coming up um, a Kotan Mutton Fat High Goo Bracelet. Yeah, that's very, very special. Price on that is amazing. It's going under a hundred. Yeah, it's absolutely terrific. And the quality you're getting there, amazing, amazing, amazing. If we've got a chance after that, we're going to be bringing you a Kotan uh, showcase as well. So really excited about that as well. Um, we've got beautiful projects to look at today as well. Um, nine o'clock, we've got next month's birthstone, which of course is yes. tourmaline. Yes, so we've got all sorts of tourmaline. We've got different colours, different shapes, different sizes. So, yeah. Can you believe we're almost in October? Oh, don't even, don't even go there. <laughs> it's October the first, next Tuesday. It is, yes. Yes. Where have the I mean, other? I mean, I got a message from my son's school to say that they're having a parents' evening on the second of October, and I was like, "Oh, that's ages, ages." And then I realised, no, actually, that's next, that's Wednesday. next Wednesday. Yes, next <laughs> Wednesday, exactly. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't yeah. it? Um, also, the most beautiful. Pro oh gosh, that's gorgeous. The most beautiful project coming up in the uh, twelve o'clock hour. With the return of Cup Chain. I loved these projects. Uh, they were amazing. And, they, and you get so much in these projects, it's crazy. You have made such beautiful pieces using oh, these projects. You. I have to say, there's, um, there's a number of projects to choose from and you're gonna be getting Cup Chain with all of them. Did you say before the show, you've used one lot of the Cup Chain from one of the projects to make all those pieces? Oh, well, except for, I think, a couple of pairs of earrings, but for all the rest of it, I used the Cup Chain from one. Oh one my project. gosh. Yeah. That's amazing. So I used maybe 20 centimetres from the second second piece. That's brilliant. Yeah. It, it, it's a fantastic product, isn't it, Cup Chain? Oh, it's brilliant because it adds so much sparkle and it's so easily and you can do so much with it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, love it. gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So beautiful projects coming up in the uh, 12 as well. Now, I've got to show you what's coming up today as your early bird special. Um, the return of anti-tarnish tabs. Mm -hmm. These are going to go absolutely nuts. Um, what are anti-tarnish tabs? They're the kind of tabs that you, they're, they're little pieces of uh, what look like paper that you put with your jewelry, um, which uh, stop your sterling silver from oxidizing too much, uh, uh, which, which kind of keep your precious metal looking nice and fresh. Um, the great thing about these is, uh, obviously, they're nice big uh, anti-tarnish tabs you've got here. If you wanted to cut them into halves or quarters, you absolutely can do. These ones have got jewellery maker brand new oh, on them, which brilliant. I love. Because that makes them look so pretty in the packaging, doesn't it, it? It really does. They look like little silent movie slides, I think. <laughs> yeah. They do, don't they? <laughs> um, can I just say, they are absolutely flying already. And can I, uh, with an anti-tarnish tab, just by adding an anti-tarnish tab into every single, maybe your Ganza bag or little bag that you put your jewellery in uh, that you've made, 
that shows your customers, that kind of proves that you're using precious metal. And that, that little tiny bit of paper there, that little tiny anti-tarnish tab, can be the difference between you uh, kind of selling a piece of jewellery and maybe not selling a piece of jewellery. It just gives, shows that extra little mile that yeah. you will go to. And I think it's really nice to have the branding on there because if it's just a little black square, then a customer might think it's just a piece of paper that you've accidentally left in there. It doesn't yeah. look very good. Whereas this way, you know, it's you can see that it's meant to be You can even write on it in indelible pen if you want to, like in a silver or gold pen. This oh. this is an anti tarnish that this will protect your jewellery or whatever yeah, it might be. Yeah, good idea. You know, why not? Because, you know, they're big enough to do that if you want to. We've got an amazing deal for them uh, coming up. Uh, your price is not going to be $29.99. Uh, you're getting 50 of them in the pack, which is great. Please look at our website. There are some seriously, seriously great deals on our website. Uh, so... The anti-tarnish tabs are item number one. So go to jewelrymaker.com, click on Watch Live, scroll down, look at all the items we've got. Uh, we've got uh, qu um, uh, rutilated quartz, we've got a beautiful butterfly with that mother of pearl. We've got a gemstone scoop. We've got uh, carnelian three strand spacer uh, project, rainbow cubic zirconia, um, Diamante mixed agate pro, um, uh, pr um, uh, project, uh, gold plated spacer bead project, eight color rainbow shambhala diamond tubing project, tic tac toe. That's a great gift, by the way. That's only at 16. .9. Can I show you that? I mean, what? I know we've probably only got like one available. It's number 16. Um, I'll show it to you in a couple of seconds. Labradorite Clovers, they're coming in at $24.99. Honestly, there's some brilliant, brilliant, brilliant items. Oh, that abalone cylinder, I love that. That's 20 quid, that's amazing. Natural brown crazy lace agate in at $12.99. Uh, freshwater culture potato pearls in at $29.99. Uh, we've got sterling silver and turquoise pearl multi-strand connector. Garnet sold out. Cushion cut crystals, if you want to get those. Uh, yeah, loads and loads and loads of incredible items. So get them as soon as you can. Um, number 16, very quickly, is this. It comes to you in a little box. It, it's a great Christmas gift. Kimby, Kimby Home, here we go. Got a little ribbon at there. There we go. Open it up. And inside, you've got a tic-tac-toe kit. Like, basically, noughts and crosses. How cool is that? Aww. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I thought it was number 16. Is it not? Oh, it's 20, sorry, it is 26. I, I, I mistook the one for a two. There you go, or the two for a one. There you go, so you've got um, uh, rose quartz, you've got um, chevron amethyst there. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's beautiful. In a mango box, I love it. Lisa in five's already through for this, well done to you. Isn't that fantastic? How much was that? 16 dollars wow. Well. <laughs> what an amazing gift. Yeah. I just, I think it's brilliant. Isn't it? Oh, Neary's made himself the worst coffee in the world, apparently. <laughs> Ever's, it's because Ever makes amazing coffee. There you go. Right, where are we going, love? Oh, yes, of course you did say. 56. Okay, this is crazy. Oh, gosh. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Let's start off with Octagon Crystal Light Blue. 13 by 18. Getting a pack of two of them. Here we go. One pound! Oh. Yay! I was looking at this when it was on the screen just now and I was thinking, oh, I wonder if I can bezel those, but they're definitely big enough to be bezeled. Absolutely <laughs> big enough to be bezeled, definitely. Jane, Sylvia, Judith, well done to you in Hampshire. Isle of Anglesey, Nottinghamshire's there, well done to you. They are definitely, definitely, definitely the right size if you want to bezel those into maybe a lovely ring. Oh, yes. Oh, or a gorgeous pair of cufflinks, maybe. Nice. Well done. Angela Lynn, well done to you. Susan's taken two of these, well done to you. These are about to sell out. There's loads of you there, well done. One pound deals, loving it. Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on now to, oh, oh my gosh, this is stunning. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that was some of the cup chain coming up. Ooh. Yes. I, I think I'd feel like Miss Piggy if I wore that. Like literally like all of the gems, all of the jewels. It's just, this is such amazing uh, quality, isn't it? Uh, this is in that beautiful kind of peridot chartreuse green. Isn't it gorgeous? One pound! Come on, Neary. Oh, is it going to be a pound? Oh gosh, I hope it's going to be a pound. Oh, it's going to yes. have to be now, isn't it? <laughs> it's got to be, yeah, it's got to be, it's got to be. In a minty green. There you go. Oh. Lisa's uh, through for this one as well. Well done to you, my lovely. Gorgeous. Come through and get your early bird special, which of course are the anti-tarnish tabs. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant deal. There's still a couple of the octagonal light blue crystals left if you want to add those onto your order. Lisa's bought four of this. 
can I just say as well, little things like this are wonderful for photography. Taking oh. photographs of your jewellery, don't you think? Yes. So if you make a little oh. kind of, I mean, I've got a silver one, I've got a pink one, I know I've got loads of them, I've got these, all these different colours here. If you kind of, you know, if you display them all nicely and then put your, display your, you know, put your jewellery over the top of it, take a photograph of it, that's just going to look great, isn't it? So use them wisely, why not? Oh, really? Okay, that one's sold out, well done. So let's put you there, you there. Oh, the clear one. Yeah, brilliant. Here we go, clear. That's lovely, isn't it? If you want us to make a big kind of oversized cocktail ring. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. You could absolutely, absolutely use them with the rings we've got in the 12, yes, couldn't definitely, you, um, definitely. Uh, Monica? Absolutely. Bezel them and then attach them. I mean, these rings are amazing. You can attach anything you like to them, to be honest. Yes. Yeah, they're great quality. And they're not um, completely soldered, are they? No, they're adjustable, which is even better. Yes, fantastic. So yeah. it's going to be one size fits all, which is just brilliant. Well done, everybody. One pound for you today. Congratulations. Well done, everybody. With all the CBs we bought yesterday as well, they'd be absolutely perfect. Uh, well done. How would you bezel it with that? Well, how would you use it with the cup chain? Oh, I would bezel it and then put the cup chain around the around the edge. Right, that, I see. That sort of thing, oh yeah. Oh, my gosh, that would be amazing. <laughs> Pinky pink. Pink, pink, pink. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ooh, that is bright. That is powerful. That beautiful magenta uh, pink. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, we're at two pounds. No, we're not. Here we go. One pound. There you go, everyone. Oh, that with the green. Actually, actually, that with the beautiful chrysoprase we've got coming up today. Oh, yes. Oh, Very that's nice. a nice combo. That's your colour popping, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Beautiful. Yeah. With your little black dress. That would yes. Be oh, yes. <laughs> that is blocking your colours. That's getting something completely opposite and putting it with, with its kind of opposition, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful quality. Well done, everybody coming up. One pound. Gorgeous. Uh, let's do some yellow shaded floor right now. Oh my gosh, hang on. Oh my word. There's loads of kind of projects in this. Here we go. Yellow shaded fluorite. Oh, this is really, really pretty. We'll go as low as we can with these. I mean, obviously, you know, it, I can't really do pound deals with this. It's a natural, genuine gemstone, but we'll go as low as we possibly can. Oh, what's going on here? There's a knot in here. Let me just see if I can undo it. Uh, well done. Uh, was it where you recorded it, was it, Michael? Oh, at least you're owning up to it. Own it. Own your mistakes. Here we go, well done, Jane. We've got Maker in Hertfordshire. Well done to you. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. I will undo it, here we go. <laughs> Susan, well done to you, my lovely. Gorgeous yellow shaded floor, right? Two mil rounds, here we go. Sue in Northamptonshire, well done to you. Susan in Yorkshire, Jane in Nottinghamshire, Maker in Hertfordshire, well done to you. Go, 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 go. Absolutely beautiful. Well done, everybody. What a deal. 0800 644 655. Beautiful quality. People coming through to get twos of these, which is great to see. Um, 399. Oh, what? We're not <laughs> done. And although it says yellow shaded fluorite, you can see there are definitely other colours in there as well. Aren't oh, there? definitely. I can see the purples in there. Oh, and God, they're gorgeous. If anybody's wondering how to use them, I'm going to show you in the nine o'clock hour. <laughs> Yay! Thank you for that, Monica. <laughs> gorgeous. Well done, Linda. Northamptonshire's got two. Well done to you, Jane. Susan's back through in South Yorkshire. It looks like she's going to be coming through to your multi buy. Well done. You have everyone's multi bought. That's great to see. Well done. I'm not surprised, but you're going to be able to get this today for less than a sandwich. Oh yes, oh, wow. two pounds and ninety nine pence. Can I just say as well that cost me less than my breakfast this morning. I don't, I don't normally eat breakfast, but I did have breakfast this morning, and it cost yeah. me less than my breakfast. Yeah, considerably less than my breakfast actually. But well the done. Of, price of a coffee now. I know it, it is, yeah. isn't it? But, uh, not well, not one of Neary's coffees. That was the worst <laughs> coffee in the world, apparently. Depends on where you go, because some places you pay twice that for a coffee. <laughs> you, wouldn't you just? If it's like one of those iced or yeah. iced mocha frappuccinos or a pumpkin latte or whatever. Uh, I love to bezel around these and add them uh, to uh, add them uh, add them as to mini delicate made boxes. Oh yes. Oh, I see what you mean. Perfect for super uh, piece of jewelry inside. So making little boxes like using little delicates. Box. Yes, and then put these on top. Oh, yes. oh my You could gosh. even give it like a little like a little stem and then it could be the, the handle for the lid. Oh, how lovely. Yes. 
Oh, that's gorgeous. What a great idea. Morning, 37, please, Carol, says uh, collector in Hertfordshire. Of course, darling, no problem at all. 2 for you today, my lovelies. Well done. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. Well done. Let's see those names near and near. Does anyone need to check out? Are we going to do 37 next, did you say? Oh, well done. Maker, Gillian, Jane. Hertfordshire's got two in their basket. Well done. RuPaul's got five of these. RuPaul, where were you yesterday? I didn't see you at all yesterday coming through. Um, oh, we've got some amazing deals today, though. Don't worry. We're going to do number three very quickly. Oh, this is such a gorgeous strand. One of my all-time favourite gems. Rutile Quartz. I love a Rutile Quartz. I just love it. This is where you get your clear quartz with your black. Um... Rutilated inclusions going through it. It's a rebellious stone. I love it. A rebel without a cause. Absolutely beautiful. Two pounds ninety nine. Isn't that gorgeous? Now this was something like the clear uh, crystal. Maybe yeah. would yeah. be really lovely. I mean, this is a really useful color because you can use it for anything. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, with any other colors. So, yeah, that's perfect. That's a very useful story. Did you happen to see the Howlite project that Mark was working with yesterday, the matte and the shiny? I ordered those. Did you? <laughs> yes. Honestly, you're going to love them. You're really going to love them. But yeah. this with like a black and white kind of yes. monochrome project would be beautiful. Oh, definitely. Oh, I'm so pleased. Did you order the Mukite or was it just the Howlite that you ordered? No, the Howlite. I ordered both Howlites. What are you going to do with it? Do you know? Oh, I don't know yet. <laughs> Honestly, the matte Howlite is just, yeah. it's dreamy. It, it, I mean, they're, they're both beautiful. I love um, highlight anyway, so I, I always get it when it comes on the show, but it hasn't been on for a while, like no, you said. No, I, I the first yeah. time this year, I think we've had brand new highlights, so that was really exciting. Yeah. Isn't it? Well done, that's about to sell out. Two left, you're going to have to be really, really quick. Right, where are we now? 37? 37, same age as us, Monica. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> I spoke to a friend of mine yesterday. I said, how old are you? 36. Oh. <laughs> RuPaul! I can see you there, my darling. Well done. Oh, gosh, Clovers of Labradorites. Wow, and I can, I can see the Labradorescence from here. Yeah. That's yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. $24.99. That is unbelievable. One left. Moving on, my babes. Well done. Good morning, Carol, Monica, and crew. Could you show number 25, please? Thank you, Joan. Yes, Joan, we can. Look at that website with all the beautiful stuff. Look at it all. Well done, sweetie. Everyone coming through to get these items. Anything you like the look of, make a note of the number. Go to the right-hand side of the picture. You can see on the website. And um, send us a message. These, I've not seen these. Hand-painted porcelain beads. I've never seen these before. I love the shape. <gasps> yeah. What I've, a I've shape. Seen the round, we've had the round ones in projects before. But yeah. I've never seen this shape. Oh, they are oh. stunning. I love these. They're um, described as disc beads. They're kind of, are they saucers or are they bicones for you? Kind of like a fat bicone. <laughs> yeah, they are, aren't they? <laughs> a fat, flat bicone. They are, aren't they? They're just gorgeous. Oh, my word. But yeah, I think saucer is probably the better. The better Isn't that shape stunning? And uh, you know the fact that they're not all completely symmetrical, the way that the painting yeah. on these, because it's all done by hand, yeah. isn't going to be complete. It's not like it's been printed on there. This is all done by hand. Patricia, Joan, Maker, Paula, they are glorious. Oh my gosh, we're taking the price point lower than 14 99 Honestly, if, if, if I was at home right now, I'd be buying these. I love, I, oh, they are stunning. My mum would love jewellery made out of these. Paula's got two, Christine and mum this year, well done to you. They're just like wow. your willow do, patterns, aren't do you know, they? I think these would look amazing with wooden beads. Oh, for sure, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and you can use them either way around. You can use them so, sort of side on with a hole through the middle. Yeah. Or you can put them face on as well. Nice. Oh, they make a lovely they, ring. They look very different face I think on. one of the reasons why they look great with wooden beads is because they're kind of almost slightly interior design-ish, aren't they? They are, yes. Yeah. So I think you kind of, they do kind of cross that gap really beautifully, don't they? Gloria, Nicolette, Joan. Oh, great to see so many of you this morning. This is great to see 10 of them today for 9 99 Honestly, that is brilliant. They are just gorgeous. Well done. Oh, someone's asked for number 51, of course. No problem. Oh, is it sold out? What was it? Oh, the garnet is sold out, darling. Mm. Sorry, love. Um, no, go on. Angela in Hampshire. Good morning, ladies and team. Great job yesterday with all the issues. You bring the sunshine through the TV despite the rain. Oh, Angela. Oh. <laughs> but you know what? Can I just say, yesterday's show, it was a bit of a disaster from a technical point of view. But what I have to say is, everybody was there for the whole day. 
they yeah. stayed with us for the whole day and it was just one of sometimes if we got technical issues people were like see you later bye uh, and it was last last hour I, mean, I probably shouldn't be telling you this last hour we had a hundred of uh, each of the how light kits and a hundred of the mukite projects 96 of a hundred of the mukites sold out wow. i think it was about 90 of the shiny how light uh, project and 92 of the matte how light projects yeah. sold out so i mean amazing absolutely considering all of the issues we were having so thank you for being there because genuinely um sometimes people just disappear and it really it's soul destroying so thank you so much for staying with us morning all please to say the website <laughs> Number 37, please, says Karin. Yes. 37's a Labradorite. Oh, we played that already. We're up to date on requests. We're doing number 24. If you want to request, send it in. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Right, just prepare yourself. This is, this is very bright. This is a lot of colour. Now, I know that there's a lot of you who I know are going to be coming through to get these pro this project. Yes, for the crystal bees, absolutely. There's another group of you who I know are going to be coming through to get this project. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, these are so cool. For these Shambhala beads. Oh my gosh, that is a blast from the past. I know there's a lot of you who are going to be coming through to get this for the diamond tubing, which I know you've worked with before. I know. I had this almost the same project, but without the Shambhala beads, um, which is a bit nasty that I don't get them. <laughs> but okay, whatever. Because they're gorgeous, aren't they? <laughs> Did you get these? The cord ends. Yes. They, I, they, I know there's going to be so many people coming through absolutely. to get this project for the cord absolutely. ends. Absolutely. And you don't have to, if you're going to buy this as a project, you don't have to use the cord ends with the with the diamond tubing. The diamond tubing works just fine without them as well. Does so you really? can use your cord ends with other things as yeah, well. Yeah, like your macrame, so, kidahimo. Oh, you can make so much from this project. You know, just add a bit of black cord or white cord and oh, this will... This, project will go on forever. So how do I use the diamond tubing without the cord ends then? Well first of all if you for example if you put a uh, memory wire through the middle of it to give it a bit of shape and then the end you can just put a tiny drop of glue on and you can join the ends almost seamlessly. No really? Uh, yeah. Oh that's so, fantastic. Or if you if you want to attach it to to something like a, a necklace with a clasp oh. or something you can just glue a piece of um, wire in there and, and do a loop so oh there's some because that's fantastic i mean even if you do use those cord ends i mean th that diamond tubing is going to go so far yes 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 absolutely uh, so you can make hundreds of pieces of jewelry from that we're at 39.99 which i have to say for the whole project that's like a half term project i mean yeah. uh you know even though my daughters are a little bit you know that you know they're kind of very much into their own kind of things now they were they would really enjoy working with us i have to say there is so much you know, whether you're a brownie leader or a guide leader or you're the head of a Sunday school or whatever it might be, you know, that is friendship bracelets, that's half-term projects, that's take it away on holiday and make jewellery on the beach. That is absolutely... And I know it's not genuine gemstones, but sometimes, who cares, you know, that it's not genuine gemstones? You've got colour, you've got great materials to work with. It's so inexpensive as well. And it's the kind of thing which, you won't, you know, if you're working with your jade or your diamonds or your or, or your pearls whatever it might be you're not going to feel guilty about giving your kids a project like this because there's yeah. so much to work with there's so much that they can have a go with but and I, and I know we're saying you know great for kids to work with but you can actually make all of these products look yeah. really super sophisticated can't you really grown up absolutely and you can just have so much fun with it especially on a day like this when it's dark and gray and pouring outside and you have a project like this just to play around with yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it's so much fun that that's it isn't it it's kind of getting that f getting back to why you're making jewelry which yeah. is it should be enjoyable and it should be fun so if you feel a bit bogged down by doing you know working with just black gemstones or whatever it might be work with something like this because it's just fun as monica says get get back to your back to your roots it's fun <laughs> Okay, getting back to my words. Okay, <laughs> right. Where now? Oh gosh, you did say near. I wasn't really listening to you. Eight, a gemstone scoop. Oh. Right. Well, that sounds amazing. Let's see if I can find it. Oh my gosh, yes. how much product have you put in this hour, Neri? <laughs> there's loads. I know. There's loads. Gemstone oh. scoop, scoop, scoop. It's been Here so long we since go. we had scoops. I know we had the pearl scoop yesterday. We did, which was amazing. But the gemstone scoops as well. We haven't had them for ages. Oh my gosh. There will be a size, a shape, a quality in here that I'm almost certain you will have never worked with before. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, it's gone everywhere. Uh, uh, there's so much 
gemstone quality in all of it. That's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, will you just stay there? There's loads. There's absolutely tons of uh, gemstones in here. It's absolutely, oh gosh, there's even more ever. Gee where she hasn't put it all out ever. <laughs> she did this yesterday as well. She's permanently trying to scupper me. Here we go. I know she is. She is. She's trying to scupper my chances of, here we go. I've got my eye on you, Ever. Here we go. <laughs> I don't really. I'm Alison. I'm addicted to scoops, says Alison. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you know what? I think. Good morning, Alison. Uh, yes, I, I'm Caroline. I'm also addicted to scoops. It's one of those things, I think, when you start working with them, you start to realise, oh my gosh, it just pushes you a little oh, bit, doesn't it? So much fun to work with. There's, there's a beautiful cross-shaped bead in here. You've got rectangles. You've got all sorts. Oh, gosh, look at these. These are guru beads. You've got beautiful amethyst in here. You've got shards of gems. There's absolutely loads and loads and loads of choice in here. Wonderful, wonderful qualities for you to work with. Oh, it's a beautiful little star I've just picked out. That's oh. really cute. Well done, everybody coming through to get this. Today, $29.99. No, it's not. Ooh. No, it's not. No, it's not. Here we go. Oh, there's a kyanite. Oh, that's nice. A lovely kyanite shard in there, isn't that? Oh, oh wow. wow. $14.99. Take it. <gasps> just by rosary linking these, just by literally putting these on a piece of beading thread. Obviously, put a stopper bead on, otherwise they'll all come off the other end. But um, rosary linking these or, or, or putting them on beading thread. Such a, such a such a rewarding piece to make. Absolutely. And I think also the great thing about scoops is sometimes you get into a spot where you sort of lost your mojo if you yes. know what I mean where you don't know what to make and you don't have any inspiration first of all switch on to jewelry maker you'll get all the inspiration yes but if if that doesn't help then bring out your bead scoop and spend half an hour looking at it I guarantee you you're going to come up with all sorts of things you want to make from it and I think as well spending spending like an hour or two or even even if it's just half an hour just separating those yes. colors out or sizes out into different little in, into different little groups even if you do nothing with them at all and you just kind of mix them up again it's mindfulness it's just oh, yeah. it's it's that de-stress it's that kind of decompression you know you've you know we're surrounded by so much stuff all the time and it's just lovely sometimes just to remove yourself from the situation just yes. go oh there we go, that's better. I bought these, uh, sorry, I bought at least 25 scoops this year. Oh, really? Suzanne, I love that. I absolutely love that. And a great gift to get uh, uh, to buy for yourself if you feel like you're stuck in a rut or to get for somebody if you just wanna have a bit of fun and you're just gonna have a bit of fun jewelry making, whatever it might be. Buy yourself a few of these scoops. They're absolutely wonderful. You have so much fun sorting through them. And you'll find gemstones that maybe you haven't seen for such a long time or sizes and shapes. Yes. And I've, I don't even know what gemstone that is. That's absolutely gorgeous, whatever that is. Um, so a, an amazing, an amazing, an amazing chance just to have a bit of fun, to open your horizons a little bit. Um, great. Now, we've got to move on. I don't actually know. I'm, uh, do you know what? I'm going to leave that out for the rest of the hour because otherwise... The what, sorry? Oh, we've got a kit, a project. Oh, this one's amazing. Is it number 10? Is it, it is number 10, yeah. With instructions by guest designer Nikki. Fantastic, oh my gosh. So, red, that's beading thread. Red beading thread. Oh my gosh, oh, I can't nice. remember the last time I saw that. Yeah. The most amazing strand. What is this strand? No, it's not. That's carnelian. This is wow. carnelian. Wow. That looks like red jade. What is that? I mean, this, uh, wow. Really? Yeah, that's crazy. Um, red uh, dyed carnelian rounds. That is absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's beautiful. And uh, you're also going to be getting gorgeous clasp. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Beautiful quality. Absolutely stunning. Okay. And then you get these. I love things like this. You get a three loop, of, not loop, sorry, oh, wow. a three hole connector bar in this project as well. So wow. if you wanted to make a three strand necklace, three strand bracelet, uh, you know, or you wanted to make, oh, I don't know, chandelier earrings, but you wanted to have like three oh, kind yes. of, you know, a couple of swags coming down. Uh, that is, uh, they are absolutely gorgeous. These gemstone bars are perfect, aren't they? 
And I mean, it's so hard to find red in anything. Wow. Uh, we always say in seed beads, it's hard to find the red, but in gemstones as well. I mean, if you look at that scoop, there's very little red in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so to find something red, and obviously you don't have to use it all at once. Like for example, with the Howlite kits yesterday, yes. this would be beautiful with that. Yes. Um, or with a chrysoprase coming With the chrysoprase, yes. I saw, we both kind of looked at that <laughs> yeah. at the same time, didn't we? Yeah, with the chrysoprase, amazing. This has only been, oh my gosh, we're at 19 pounds 99. That's amazing. It comes with instructions as well by guest designer Susie. I, I beg your pardon, guest designer Nikki, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, fantastic. So you get a gemstone connector necklace project, um, uh, a set of instructions by uh, guest designer Nikki here. You can see how she's used the three hole uh, connector there, can't you, to make that beautiful asymmetric uh, necklace. Isn't that gorgeous? So of course, um, uh, as, 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 um, as, uh, Monica quite rightly says, mixing this up with other reds, with other, maybe other browns, you know, getting a scoop like the one we've just bought to wear and just actually just placing other colors with it and going, yes. yeah, I like the way that looks or mm, yeah, I like the way that looks, but I want more of a contrast or, you know, whatever it might be. You know, th these kind of, these kind of scoops and these kind of projects, you know, it's so easy to add into them once you've got lots of other colors and qualities um, uh, to work with. And Sharon Maker, Lynn, a tea maker in London. I can't believe it. We're actually going lower than 19 pounds. 99 oh, wow. pence, which is terrific. Congratulations, well done. Oh my gosh, there's loads of you there. Well done. Check out your baskets, my lovelies. Well done, everybody. Here we go. Go, 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 go. All the way down. 15 pounds. Wow. Sue in Northamptonshire, well done to you. 14.99. Wow. I mean, just those two, three strand connect, uh, or the, the spaces, right? They're yeah. really spaces that. The carnelian ones, you, you hardly ever see anything like that. Gemstone spacer bars yeah. are something you just don't normally see. Plus that clasp, which is um, silver plated base metal, but it's still a workable, beautiful component, which isn't just a component. It's not just a mechanic. It is a really beautiful, um, it's a really beautiful uh, kind of uh, feature as well. Absolutely. You're gonna want your anti-tarnished um, uh, anti uh, tabs with that as well to make sure that, kept, that that's kept nice and fresh and white, you know, with that beautiful silver plating on it. So absolutely fantastic. Janet, Helen, Lisa, well done. I'm not being funny, but if I was just to show you that for $14.99 <clears throat> elsewhere, just for that one clasp, I know it's silver plated base metal, but that is a tremendous price elsewhere for yeah. a big statement oh, yeah. uh, clasp like that. That's amazing. Dawn Maker, Gillian, Karen Maker, and loads in baskets. Please check out as soon as you can, my lovelies. You're doing absolutely brilliantly well done. Sorry, say that again, Neary. Oh, I know what this is. Mm. We're going to do one more, then we're going to do a star by, uh, which is going to be in this little Ooh. bag here. Oh, oh my. <gasps> can I show it? Can I? Because it's just going to go so well with this. Oh. <laughs> wow. My work is done. <laughs> well, you know it's going to be good when it comes out of a bag like that, <laughs> don't you? Hang on. There's oh a, my more. gosh. What? Oh, wow. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Quartzite Jade project coming up. Ombre Quartzite Jade coming up. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. That's amazing. Right, before we do that though, is a little starry, starry buy. Let's do, did you say number seven? That was amazing, for 15 pounds. That was just incredible, wasn't it? Okay, okay, let's go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, there's something in a little silver bag there. Oh, oh, I know what this is. Oh. Teal velvet earring box. Any, I'm sorry, anything that comes to you oh, in a box like that. Beautiful. Isn't you it? know that's gonna be an absolute winner winner chicken dinner, don't you? That's gonna be perfect. Okay, let's open it up. Ready, steady. I thought it was just going to be the box. No! <laughs> no, Monica. Wow. You get your half drilled pearls. Look at the oh, size wow. oh, of gosh. those. Look at those. 15 to 16 millimeters. Those in are big size. enough to be guru beads in a mala. Absolutely, they are. Do you know what? That's interesting because these are half drilled. Um, so you're looking at these and thinking, yep, yeah, half drill, that's going to be an ear, that's going to be earrings, or it's going to be a pair of cufflinks, or it's going to be a gorgeous pearl ring, maybe. I think though, 
if you are good with your pearl drilling, I think through drill it and as a guru bead, because we very, very seldomly do pearls of this kind of size. That would be an absolutely perfect Absolutely. Guru. Or you don't have to drill it if, you don't, if you're don't. If worried about drilling pearls. Mm. Um, if you remember my project from last week when I was on, I had the huge big amber orbs and they're surrounded by a bezel that doesn't use the drill hole. So then you can attach to the top and the bottom of it if you want to use it as a, as a marla. Oh, so that, that's you can, a you can You can bezel a round bead. Can you? Yeah. So you don't have to, you don't have to necessarily drill this, you know, even more. You can, you can utilize yep. it without using that drill Absolutely. hole at all. That would be fantastic. They are so, they are too good not to have them as a centerpiece to whatever, to whatever yeah. piece of jewelry you're making, whether it's going to be that beautiful, that beautiful ring, you know, that bezel set ring, whether it's going to be a pair of stud earrings, whether it's going to be a pair of the most incredible cufflinks. Let me just tell you this, you're not, I mean, I'll, I'll hold them up to my ear just so you can see the size. Hopefully you can kind of see the kind of sense the size there, but wow. look at that. That is absolute, they are gigantic. They and are. I don't have small ears. <laughs> they are, that is an absolutely gigantic pearl. Those as earrings are like, are like uh, uh, Coco Chanel, you know, Jackie Onassis kind of inspired earrings that you're going to be getting there. Teresa Adelaide, well done to you. Oh my word, £39.99. pence. Are you actually kidding me? £20 wow. per pearl. Wow. When I saw that price, I thought it said 89 99 I was thinking, wow, that's an amazing price. Then I saw it was 39 That's 20 quid. Wow. But yeah, if you go for split pay, you get one pearl one month, you get one pearl the next month, you know, that, you know that's what you're paying for, effectively. That is absolutely amazing. There is nowhere on the high street, there's not a single jeweler in the land that would bring a pair of pearl earrings like that to air wow. for less than, I mean, move that decimal point. And then I still think, you, maybe in some places, that's still not enough, because they're so large. So yeah. 399 pounds, I still don't think in some places, you know, I mean, I'm not just talking about London and Hatton Gardens. I'm talking about, you know, your, you know, your local kind of, you know, high quality jewelry fairs, you know, your local family run jeweler. What have we been saying about freshwater culture pearls? In fact, you, were sent, you sent me a load of pearl um, price comparisons yesterday, Neary, didn't you? From Deb Kershaw. I don't know whether it's, oh, I mean, I don't know. I could, I could show some of them. I don't know. But I mean, let, let's have a quick, let's have a very, very quick look. Because I've got loads of, oh, go away, energy. There we go. I don't want to know how much money you're taking from my account. Oh, have you got them? Oh, well done. But yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, some of these pieces are like, wow. We've got, a, I, I know there's a pair of earrings in there. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Look at those earrings there. They're absolutely beautiful. Yeah. 850 pounds for those earrings. Yeah. 850 pounds. 900 pounds for that pendant. I was going to say just a single pendant in the middle of, let's say, a black jade, plain black jade necklace. Yeah. I mean, I know that's going to be set with diamonds and, you know, arguably it's going to be set with 18 karat gold, you know, whatever it might be. But the size and everything value factor wise that, that helps you value a pearl, size, shape, orient, nacre, that, that says to me, Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I don't know what those pearls are set with. I don't know if they're set with diamonds. I don't know if they're set with 18 karat gold. I don't know, you know, you know, exactly what, you know, exactly what the kind of the substance is there. But I know that they're 850 pounds and I know that ours are 40 pounds. And I know that I could buy many, 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 many of ours for the price point of one of those pairs of earrings. And that is a tremendous deal. London, Greater London, Oxford, Dorset, Essex, County Durham, Greater London. Uh, uh, there's so many of you there. Well done. They are amazing. For 40 quid, that's that's one of the best 40 pounds I think you will ever spend. Yeah. Wow. Even if you get them now and you don't know how to make them into earrings just yet, just get them. Yeah. I can't imagine they're going to go down in value. <laughs> there you go. Right. Shall we do this incredible project as a star buy? Shall we do it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Prepare yourselves. Ombre, golden, silk, jadeite. <laughs> So you've got here, <sighs> beautiful little 
bag here with tassels on in that lovely kind of bonquette red beautiful absolutely gorgeous i love that kind of crushed velvet finish on it isn't that stunning open the bag up and inside you've got your gorgeous marigold beading um thread there gorgeous kind of um eslon material you've then got one strand of ombre quartzite jade two strands of ombre quartzite jade oh my gosh this is all rather lovely in fact i think it goes the other way around yeah okay three strands oh my gosh Look at that look at that oh my gosh this is autumnal this is autumnal i love it four strands wow and five strands wow that's amazing when you see those five strands together and you realize that they've all been graduated to almost exactly the same degree you can see it on the desk can't you those lines all tallying up beautifully together how would you feel today if i was to say that it's not just those five strands and your incredible threading material you're actually going to be getting as well this i mean this kind of belt buckle style layout a um, uh, 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 toggle clasp with connector that is amazing yellow quartzite jade ombre necklace project with instructions by deb kershaw oh my gosh i bet she made something amazing with this you get your two connectors oh my oh god <laughs> look at this wow what are your thoughts on that oh that's, Monica? that's just beautiful isn't it that jewelry is very you is it i can imagine you making something like that well i, I certainly love it and i'd certainly wear it so don't you love the ombre and i love the way she's used that beautiful yeah connector and also you notice she probably only used about half the project on that necklace yeah that's an interesting point actually and actually uh, the instructions neary if you look through the instructions has she used the other connector and the has she used it as a toggle i mean you could use it at the back but i wouldn't i would keep it for another necklace oh my gosh i mean you've got here the most beautiful quality toggle um <gasps> she's made a bracelet to go with it oh my gosh It's that, it's that other image, lovely. Yeah. Oh, oh look at that. Wow. <gasps> wow, imagine wearing that. You would feel so elegant just wearing that. You would feel like a million dollars, wow. wouldn't you? You really would. I love that. I love the way that the clasps kind of almost look kind of butterscotchy next to yes. the, next to the ombre, um, quartzite jade that is unbelievable i love that oh i put this with the mustard mookite from oh, yesterday yes definitely that would work really well you've got five strands of your wow. quartzite jade here um oh my gosh you can see how she's used that clasp you yeah. can see how she's used what looks like mookite actually or maybe beautiful alashan to make that stunning bracelet oh my gosh it's that is a lot, that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful jewelry. I love it, I love it. That's just gorgeous. And the fact that it's, the, the design doesn't just stop as, you know, at the, um, at the seed beaded, you know, the cuff, it carries right the way through into the clasp as well. Yes, yes. because often when you wear a bracelet, it will turn around and you see yeah. the clasp. So to make it a feature is, is is brilliant and here you know you wouldn't mind that at all in fact you'd of welcome course. it turning around on your wrist just so you can show off the beautiful class wouldn't you lisa and county durham well, how many of this project do we have neary 
12. Oh my gosh, we've only got 12. We are at 149, which I have to say for your five strands. Don't forget there's five strands here of your ombre quartzite jade. That is just perfect. Five incredible strands. There's your, those are your um, uh, clasps there. Beautiful quality. You get your instructions by Deb. You get your um, uh, beautiful uh, marigold coloured um, uh, Eslon as well. And you get your crushed velvet red bag as well. 10 seconds, we're taking the price point low. Don't forget, we've only got a dozen of this project. Once it's gone, it's gone. We're at 149. We're going to take it down considerably. Here we go, my lovelies. All the way down. Oh my God, there's so much you can do with this. How about we take it? Oh, Angela, I can see you there, my lovely, in Hampshire. Congratulations, well done to you. How about we take it to wow. 99.99, below a hundred pounds for you today. There's so much you can use that with. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't that beautiful? Oh, wow, look at that. Oh. Isn't that gorgeous? so much that you can use and, and, and as and as you said Monica I think you're probably right I think you know just in that one necklace that she's made I think she would have had a load of gemstones yeah. left over I mean if you think about it um there's a 38 centimeter strand so you've yeah. probably got about 100 beads on each one yeah yeah you've got like 500 beads there yeah exactly it's a huge amount isn't it Angela in Surrey just checking out well done to you my lovely uh we're at 99 pounds and 99 pence well done single figures remaining and guess what we're not done we're going lower i've got another anonymous bidder we're moments away from our early bird special which we'll be starting in a couple of seconds just to let you know 20 seconds and we're taking that price point all the way down for you today another anonymous bidder lisa well on to you as well loads of you there oh my gosh this is absolutely tremendous just for these five strands of ombre quartz like jade uh you know an amazing 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 deal already at 99.99 but we're going to go even lower kathy and buckingham we've got you there as well my lovely well done it is the color palette of now mary and surrey well done to you it is the color palette of now congratulations well done here we are my lovelies all the way down go 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 all the way oh maker of merseyside well done to you as well this price is crazy ready steady oh my gosh 69 pounds and 99 pence go 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 another maker in merseyside well done to you maker in the west midlands well done what a deal the jewelry you're going to be able to make with this and i think to make it go even further for me i'd probably add in rose gold or yellow gold plated sterling silver spacer beads yeah. as well i mean if you look at that set that picture that's on screen now yeah who would not pay 70 pounds oh that? absolutely i mean you pay that for each piece separately absolutely um, yeah yeah, I'd be happy to pay more than that for the bracelet, more than that yeah. for the necklace. You know, you've, you know, maybe a pair of earrings made with those incredible gems. You know, just wonderful. And you think about how many craft fairs there's going to be over the next uh, uh, kind of month or so, where these colours are going to be so uh, present and they're going to be so prevalent. You know, in nature as well. You know, use use these colours to your advantage. Make jewellery to sell. Make jewellery to wear. You know, if you wear lots of beautiful kind of smoky greys or kind of lovely kind of uh, browns and kind of truffle colours and sandy colors over the kind of autumn going into winter this palette is going to work absolutely beautifully it genuinely will do that is gorgeous five chances left well done merseyside buckinghamshire county durham surrey greater london well done to you hampshire west midlands go 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 loads of you there goodness me what a deal for you today congratulations everybody well done one minute to close congratulations there you go um you anyone can get this Call us on our free phone number, which is 0800 644 Get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com, or you can download our app and watch us on the go. Candy, well done to you, my darling, in Greater London. Great to see you today. Haven't seen you for ages. Thank you for joining us. You all get a 30-day money-back guarantee as well. Uh, plus, you're only paying 3.95 P&P per order, so you can add as much onto your order as you like, and you're only paying 3.95 P&P, which is fantastic. Uh, well done, 30 seconds, and then we're taking those details away. Maker and Merseyside's there as well. Well done to you. Well done, less than 30 seconds. We're taking those details. Oh, Merseyside's coming through for a second project. Well done. Oh, Candy's checked out. Well done to you. Down to the last couple of opportunities. 15 seconds, we're taking those details away. Lisa, if you want it, check out. Maker, if you want it, check out. Go for it. Well done. A load of you there for the last couple of opportunities. Congratulations. Well done. Love again. So we've got the early birds coming up any second now. Uh, which are the anti-tarnish tabs, which every single one of you out there, whether you're gifting, 
whether you're storing, whether you're making for yourself, whether you're selling, every single one of you is going to need these anti, uh, uh, these uh, anti tarnish tabs. They're coming up in a couple of seconds as your early bird special. Last couple of chances for that project still available at sixty nine ninety nine. What a price! Don't go anywhere. Early bird coming up right now. <music> So I adore early birds like this. I really do. We bought you an early bird yesterday, which was a great early bird. And it was fantastic because there was so much you could do with it. And what I would do with it, Mark would do something slightly different and blah, blah, blah. That's wonderful. But if you're brand new to jewellery making, then, you know, getting something which is a component can sometimes be a little bit intimidating, maybe a little bit kind of daunting because you're thinking, oh, gosh, I don't know how to use it. I don't feel like I've got the skills. Any of you out there, as long as you can open a bag, get your anti tarnish tab and pop it in another bag with your jewellery or pop it in a box with your jewellery, whatever it might be, everyone's going to have a use for these. These are brilliant. This is so much more than a weird little piece of paper. And I remember when I first saw anti tarnish tabs, I didn't have a clue what they were. Yeah. I thought it was a bit of paper that had been left over from yeah. where the piece had been packaged or yeah. you know, whatever. Uh, I, I thought that it was a, um, I thought that it was a, you know, just, just something that had been left over. And it wasn't until I understood what an anti tarnish tab was, what it did, that I fully grasped, ah, right, okay, I, I, I finally get it. Um, an anti-tarnish tab is there for you to use with your jewellery, with your sterling silver jewellery or with your um, sterling silver plated jewellery maybe, um, uh, to, um, to help protect your jewellery. If you've ever had a, if you've ever got a piece of uh, jewellery, maybe a ring or a pair of earrings, whatever um, uh, the piece of jewellery is, and it's been in a jewellery box for a while, and it tends to be jewellery that hasn't been worn, jewellery that you wear every day, doesn't tend to tarnish that much because it doesn't tend to tarnish as much because you're constantly you know moving your hands or you're you know you're doing that you're rubbing the jewelry on your on your clothes whatever it might be and, and it doesn't tend to kind of get as tarnished um it's a natural occurrence sterling silver is going to oxidize over time and if and if and if you know it doesn't it's um uh, you know even rhodium plated precious metal uh rhodium plating is, is 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 put there to kind of keep your jewelry bright and to stop it from oxidizing but even rhodium plated jewelry after a time will oxidize uh last week i bought you 999 silver which is you know as close to pure silver as we can bring you i bought you um 999 silver um space of beads uh, it's even more important that you use anti-tarnish tabs with those because they will tarnish even quicker um are you making jewellery to sell? If so, perfect. Because if you're making jewellery to sell, um, let's say you've just sold a, I don't know, a, a lovely, ster I can't get my ring off this morning, a sterling, oh gosh, it's not good, a sterling silver ring. And you've uh, sold it and you've put it in a, uh, you've put it in your jewellery box. There we go. Pretend this is a ring box, not an earring box. And before you, uh, you know, you've sold the jewelry, you've done the transaction and you can say, oh, I'm just going to pop this anti tarnish tab in and I'm going to give it to you free of charge. I'm going to pop that in there. Just keep it with the jewelry and just keep, you know, when it's safe, just keep it in there. That's just a little thing. It's a little gesture. It's a little favor. It's a little, a little kind of a little added extra bonus. But that is going to make a huge difference to your customer because it's going to make them go, oh, you know, some you know, they haven't just taken my money and run. Um, they've gone, ah, right, okay, no, I, I believe that, you know, you know, I've, I've, I've made that piece of jewelry. I'm really proud of it. I want it to stay looking absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to give you that. And that's going to keep your jewelry looking fresh uh, for a little bit longer. Isn't that fantastic? Now, graphics are live. I've got 50 in the pack. These are going to literally sell out. They will absolutely 100% sell out. There's 50 in the pack. Now, they are quite large. They're, they're jewelry maker branded, which I really love. Because it's, um, as you said at the beginning of the show, Monica, it's gonna make people aware that that is something. It's not just yeah. a piece of paper, Absolutely. it is a something. And especially if you're selling, it makes your jewelry look more professional, I think, with some Doesn't it just? Yeah. And I, you know, I would go as far to say, 
Uh, if I had a gold or silver pen, I'd probably write, I am a jewellery maker. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or whatever it might be. You could put your name, your telephone number, anything on the back, maybe in a gold or silver pen. I mean, don't cover it with, you know, pen. Uh, but, you know, it just, just a nice little idea because you, you do have so much in. If you do want to cut these into halves or quarters, you absolutely can do. Or cut them into a little star or cut them into, or cut them into, um, uh, cut them into a uh, you know a um, you know a certain shape you absolutely could do. Why not? Um, we're at nineteen pounds ninety nine pence, which by the way is nowhere near your price. Now that's a great shout actually, um, Michael. And I wish I bought my printer in today. I've got the we are um, uh, we are maker uh, printer at home mm -hmm. in a little handheld one. Yep. Me and my daughters. Oh my gosh, they, <laughs> they did all the labels for their all the labels for their uh, school folders. They've, uh, but oh, we're going to be buying some ribbon and kind of putting and printing our own ribbon this Christmas oh, right. and things like that. You know, we're going to be doing all sorts of it. You could, if you wanted to, you could have a go. I don't know whether it's going to, I don't, I don't know how successful it's going to be. But if you wanted to, you could have a go at printing something on there. If you've got, I don't know, you might need another kind of ink. I don't, I don't know. Just have a go, see what happens. Um, you've, you've got um, so, you've got so much potential with these. If you gift your jewellery, the gift of the jewellery and adding in a little added extra bonus like your anti-tarnish tab though, that's fantastic. It's, it just shows that you really do care. Yeah. If you are making your jewellery or if you've been given jewellery and it's not necessarily jewellery which you're going to wear but it's got real sentimental value and you want to save it and you want to kind of, you know, put it somewhere and you want to store it. I've got quite a few pieces of jewellery which I know I probably won't wear, you know, pieces which maybe my parents bought me a few years ago but I just want to store them. Put them in a bag and put them with an anti-tarnish tab. It's going to keep that jewellery um, uh, in better condition. It's going to prevent it from oxidizing as much as it would do if it wasn't stored with the anti-tarnish tab. We're taking the price point down again, 14 99 Absolutely amazing. Now this, you know, I know I'm talking about rings, but this will, um, th th these anti-tarnish tabs, these sizes, because they're nice and large, um, uh, the, uh, uh, the size of the tabs is uh, nice and large. This will keep, um, this is going to be great for all sorts of jewellery, you know, not just your rings and earrings, but right the way up to big bangles as well, absolutely, isn't it, Monica? Absolutely, yes. And, and uh, it doesn't have to be sterling silver jewellery, as you were saying earlier, because our base metal findings are also silver plated, so yes. we still have precious metal on the outside. Yes. Um, so for that as well. So if I was selling my jewellery or gifting, I would use it whole, just yeah. like that, so you can see the branding on it as well. But uh -huh. if it was for my own jewellery, I mean, as you said, unless it was a big piece like a bangle, mm. if it was for earrings or a smaller pendant, I would definitely cut it up. A quarter, so, a quarter yeah. would do. I mean, I, I, I'm just thinking about the findings that we bring to you on Jewellery Maker and how they come to you. I don't yeah. know that I can find any of them actually. In fact, you know, here we go. Um, so that is quite, oh no, that's, that's not a very good example. That's quite a large one. But in all of your, in all of your sterling silver pieces that you're sent by Jewellery Maker, they yeah. will have these little tabs in. These yeah. anti-tarnish tabs in keep them cut them up if you want to but the smaller ones that we do when we do kind of single pairs of earrings or single yeah. rings quite often they are about a quarter of that quarter size that so that's why i say yeah. a quarter will be more than enough um basically the the material that you've got here is impregnated with a uh, with an anti-tarnish solution and it just and it just helps that jewelry stay fresh and, and stay nice and bright 15 seconds we're going to go lower as i'm sure you can imagine we have had hundreds of people through uh, we bring these to air so infrequently i would say don't buy one pack buy two buy three buy four buy five um, especially if you're making jewelry to sell, especially if you're, you know, even if you wanted to, I mean, you could if you wanted to um, uh, uh, add them onto add them onto an order. If you wanted to kind of, you know, you know, sell them on, you could do. You know, if you want to include an anti tarnish tab, you could charge. Oh, I don't know, two, three, four pounds yeah. per anti tarnish tab if you really wanted to. But I think if you are going to be adding these in, just as a little compliment, saying, oh, this is free and this is what it does. How wonderful! Twelve ninety nine. Are they bad for any gemstones? Um, no, I don't. Think no, I don't, don't think know. so because it's not. It's not uh, like with a pearl, a pearl's very porous. It's not going to absorb anything. The, the anti-tarnish solution itself is impregnated into the paper itself, into the kind of the plasticky paper uh, um, itself. So it's not going to, it's not going it to transfer It doesn't rub onto, onto your jewelry, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, all jewelry I give or sell has anti-tarnish tabs. I gave my best friend a pack of them to refresh the ones I, I've given her years ago. That's a great shout yes. actually. Um, the anti-tarnish solution won't last forever. I would say, you know, if you are going to be storing your jewellery, I'd say probably refresh your anti-tarnish tabs maybe once every couple of years. I don't know. Um, uh, I, I'd say I'd say probably no more than that. But if you've got a load of them and you want to kind of refresh them, then, then yeah, maybe once every couple of years. What a lovely gift to give to somebody maybe 
um, a friend who's been given loads of jewellery by their by their by their mum or by or by their grandparents maybe and they want to and they want to um, you know they want to just store that jewellery it's going to make it so much easier and give them that peace of mind. 20 seconds we're going to give you one more price. But 50 in the bag. But you, also, sorry, also not at all. To keep them with your actual findings before you make the jewelry. Oh, for sure. I, mean, I know we include them in some of our findings, but you might have findings from before we started including them, uh, or you might split them up and sort them out or whatever. So yeah. definitely keep them in your with your findings as well. Keep them with your findings, absolutely, before you gift them, before you sell them. Today they are yours. Enjoy. Here's your deal today. Nine ninety nine. <laughs> 50. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. That's five pence per anti tarnish tab. That wow. is absolutely amazing. Isn't that incredible? Sorry, say again, Neary. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, yeah, five pence per anti tarnish tab. That is absolutely amazing. Charlene in Middlesex has bought uh, 10 packs of these. I'm so pleased for you. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Go, 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 go. Well done. Loads in baskets. Uh, I think I think you're absolutely right, Monica. If you're going to be keeping these for yourself, you know, for storing jewelry, cut them up. If you're going yeah. to be gifting them or if you're going to be selling on, uh, you know, at 5p, you can absorb that cost into the price of the jewelry if you really need to. But I think, you know, just to say, just to say, I'm just going to pop that. I'm just going to pop that in the bag for you. I'm just going to give that to you. And that's why I'm going to give it to you. It's an anti tarnish type. It's going to keep your jewelry yeah. looking really nice and fresh. It's going to stop it from oxidizing as much and as quickly. And today... 9.99 is not your price. We're going even lower. Now this is where we start to get, yeah, the, hang on. This is where we start to flex our, this is how good we're at, we are at buying muscles because this is crazy. What does it work? It does work out to 5p per anti tarnish tab. Sorry, I beg your pardon, 20p per anti tarnish tab at the minute. We're at tw uh, 12 seconds. We're going to get that price point down even lower for you today. Gillian in Somerset just literally bought two packs. Nicolette, two. Maker, four. Maker on the Isle of Wight, two. Three, sorry. Mary, four. Karen, two. Patricia, two. Glenda, two. There's absolutely loads of you there. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Seven pounds ninety nine. Seven pounds and ninety nine pence. We must be bonkers doing that price point. We're not making any money at all at that price point. That is yours today. Go, 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 go. Well done. 7 99 Maria Maker, Mary, Marion, uh, Karen, Barbara, Maker, Maker in Cornwall, Maker in West Sussex, Pamela, Angela, Maker in Worcestershire, Maker in London, Heather, Maker in another Maker in London, oh my gosh, uh, Maker, Thomas, Maker in Northamptonshire, Jane in Nottinghamshire, there's absolutely loads of you coming through, go, 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 well done, people buying two, threes, fours of these, 50 second clock, and we're going to, um, uh, and we're going to, um, Take those details away, that's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you cut them into four for your own jewellery or for your findings or whatever, you're going to have 200 of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so you can protect 200 pieces of jewellery. Yes. Just with those. That's yeah. exactly it. When you start to kind of, yeah, divide it down even smaller, you're absolutely right, Monica. Uh, you, are, you are able to protect... You know, if you cut them into quarters, absolutely up to 200 pieces. That's just incredible. RuPaul, well done to you. Cardiff's got two. Well done to you. Barbara's multi ball. So's Maria. So's Maker in Cheshire. Well done. It's gone absolutely nuts. Well done. Check out your baskets, everyone. Go, go, go. What a deal for you today. Loads and loads and loads of there. Maxine's uh, multi ball. So's Teresa. So's Patricia, so's Ella, well done to you as well. Teresa in Stevens multi bought. Well done to you. Uh, Moira's multi bought. Uh, Maker and Cheshire's multi bought. Sabrina's multi bought. Oh gosh, there's so many of you there. Patricia in Yorkshire's just multi bought four packs of these. Well done to you. This is going to be such a great, great, great addition to your jewellery to give you that extra boost to kind of get that return business. Yes. Something yeah. as small as that can give you return business. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, when you, especially when you're selling your jewellery, it's, it's a lot about your image, you know, because nobody wants to buy a piece of jewellery from somebody who's just going to throw it at you. 
you know, it's the same with your little organza bags or your gift boxes or whatever. It's not the same as putting a piece of jewellery in a plastic bag and giving it to I someone, don't know about you, it? but when I when I buy something off Etsy or whatever yeah. um, the company might be, and uh, when I get items and I get a little handwritten notice, oh, and yes. think, oh gosh, I'm actually buying off a person here. Yeah. And, you know, they've gone that added extra mile and that makes me want to buy from them again. Absolutely, yes. Um, so that, small but mighty, congratulations, well done. Don't go anywhere. Still some of those left. Keep checking your baskets out. Don't go anywhere. We've got the most beautiful projects coming up next. And last in stock, pearls. We'll see you in a sec. Hi, jewelry makers. Monica here. I'm back in the studio on Thursday. So I'll quickly show you what we've got coming up in the project hours. And since October is nearly upon us, in the nine o'clock hour, we're going to be uh, celebrating Tourmaline, which is October's birthstone. So this little necklace that you've got here uh, is what I'm going to be doing the instructions for. Um, it's all made of Tourmaline and a few little seed beads in there as well. Um, that's in the nine o'clock. We've got red Tourmaline, we've got pink Tourmaline, we've got black Tourmaline. So uh, it's all about Tourmaline. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got these rings coming up. Right, which are shell pearl and cup chain. Uh, I can't remember the last time I had cup chain in any of my projects. And they also include adjustable rings, which is what they're attached to. Um, that's in the 12 o'clock hour. That's on Thursday on the 26th. Hope you can all join us with Carol and the rest of the team. See you then. It's Charlie. I'm back with you this Friday, Friday the 27th. We've got some beautiful projects in store for you, some really stunning pieces. So at nine o'clock, we have perfection. We have two luscious strands in store for you. Um, natural silver pearls, great size, really easy to work with. Uh, but some, we've also got some natural purple Edison pearls. I've never worked with pearls like this before, so they're a totally different caliber. They're absolutely stunning. Can't wait to share them with you. Uh, and then at 12 o'clock, we've got some great Christmas makes for you. So they they come with this beautiful ombre stack of colours. And I'm going to show you how to make them blend into each other seamlessly. Um, and, but they also come with these really cool long bar crimps. They're, they're, they're so cool. Um, and some lovely clamshells too. And when you work with uh, the new pliers, the new crimping pliers that Jewelry Maker have got in, um, they crimp like butter and leave the perfect indentation on these bars. They're really nifty. Great way of finishing off tail ends and things. Um, so I can't wait to share those with you. I hope you can join me on Friday and I will see you there. This is the first time this year, the first time maybe this year and last year, in fact one of the first times ever I've seen tourmaline projects. Yes, I agree. I certainly haven't had any. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, 
I bought you more grandidiorite projects than I have tourmaline projects. Yes. This is, this is tremendous. Why tourmaline? Tourmaline is next month's birthstone. So um, every month you get a, a different birthstones attributed with the month and next month is October and you get opal and tourmaline. You're very, very lucky. Neri's born in October. October the 16th. Yeah. Yes, October the 16th <laughs> is his birthday. And uh, you've got two birthstones. You've got opal and you've got tourmaline, two of the most beautiful gems in the world. Yes. And I often say that with... Sorry, Dan, I'm just going to move up there. Um, I often say that with... Um, the big four gemstones, which are ruby, sapphire, diamond, emerald, um, and tanzanite and pearls, if you want to add those on there as well. R really, strictly speaking, the big four are ruby, sapphire, di uh, diamond, and emerald. Uh, because uh, they are named precious gemstones, and every other gem in the world, believe it or not, is either a semi-precious gem or it's a mineral. Those are the rules. And... I hate those rules because for me, if I think of some of the world's rarest gems and I think of Paraba and I think of Pedanera bicolored and I think of Sapphira and I think of Crisera and I think of Indicolite and I think of Petra. If I think, you know, some of the rarest gems on planet Earth, all those gems I've just mentioned are all tourmalines. They are all tourmalines. Oh. Interesting. I think that this gemstone deserves to be a precious gem, known as a precious gem. And actually, it does start to make you think, well, what, what, what who, who defines this? Who says that, you know, yeah. well, what, what gemstones are precious? And actually, when it boils down to it, it's what, what you like as a, as a person. And Monica, what you deem as a precious gem, so what you love as a precious gem, what you would use sterling silver findings with, it might be slightly different to what I would go for. Well, absolutely. I mean, it, it kind of, it doesn't really go with the meaning of the word precious, does it? Because mm. diamonds is one of the precious gemstones, but it's much more abundant than a lot of other gemstones. For sure, for sure. So, you know, it's, it's a bit of a, oh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? When, a paradox. Absolutely, yes, yes, yeah. yes. No, I think you're absolutely right. And I think that when it comes to gemstones and classifying what's precious and what isn't uh, precious, it's all super subjective, isn't it? Um, the first project we're gonna do, not only have I don't, I don't think I've ever bought you, I'll say I must have bought you a tourmaline project. I must have bought you a tourmaline project before. I literally can't remember when though. Not in this studio, we've been in here for almost a year. I don't think even in the last studio, I might have had black tourmaline in a project. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Right, okay. This first project has got in it one of the largest, most incredible strands of tourmaline I have ever seen in my life in it. Ten seconds. We're going to bring your graphics live. This is super limited. And of a, of a project, like maybe this is why we don't bring you tourmaline projects because we can never get hundreds and hundreds of strands of tourmaline, okay? So this first project you're going to see is seriously limited. Now, for some reason, um, these gems have been put with silver-plated base metal findings. Uh, you've got 42 um, silver-plated base metal findings. You've got head pins, you've got chain, you've got a toggle, you've got your um, uh, bead caps, fantastic. You've got your crimp beads, you've got some extender chain in there as well. You've got jump rings. That's all brilliant, yeah? You're then going to be getting black tourmaline rounds. These are four by six mil. Black tourmaline is one of those incredible gems it is the blackest of blacks. Um, it is blacker than any black onyx will be able to bring to you, blacker than any even black obsidian that will be able to bring to you. It is the blackest of black. The only other gem which is this black is like a, a black spinel or a black jade, perhaps. Yeah, even black jade tends not to be this black. Okay, so that's beautiful. And I can bring you black tourmaline, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe a couple of times a month, maybe. Thank you, Ever. Um, this strand here is simply put one of the biggest 
brightest, most incredible strands of tourmaline I have ever seen in my life. Oh, it's stunning, isn't it's, it? It's off the scale, Monica. You are getting colours in here, which are definite pinks, but you are getting, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at the state of that. You are getting not just pinks, you are getting reds. What do we know about red tourmaline? Red tourmaline is one of the rarest colours. It's known as rubellite. You are absolutely getting those Crisera, Saphira, rubellite tones in here. This is sensational quality. This is better than any strand of natural ruby I think I've ever bought you. Now, these are some strands of pink tourmaline. Have a look at these. One on the right, that's from us here at Jewelry Maker. And the other two are kind of ones that we found online. Have a little look at these. Okay. Lovely. Pink. Pink by comparison. The one in the middle is kind of a little bit more red, isn't it? Oh my gosh, look at the size, look at the colour saturation, look at the quality you are getting. He oh my gosh, it's like chalk and cheese, it's like night and day. It's like night and day. Do you know what I'm going to do? And I've no, I don't think I've ever done this with a strand of tourmaline because I don't think it's ever warranted it. But I'm going to put a light through it just to see. Oh, oh my gosh. Right, okay, prepare yourselves because this is... Honestly, you're not going to see this with any strand of tourmaline. You're not going to see this with every strand. Of... Look at the size, the shape, the colour, the saturation of that. <gasps> that is red. That's beautiful, isn't it? Monica, this is the biggest strand of tourmaline I've ever seen in my life. You must have you must have been bowled over when you opened this I projector. Was, I thought it was ruby at first. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or some kind of garnet, maybe. It, it is incredibly incredibly rare um we're gonna start off i mean this strand what is how much is this strand worth it's a three-figure strand it's i don't know 150 quid oh my gosh we're starting for the entire project today at 149 pounds now that's for one of the biggest most luscious most juicy strands of your pink slash red because it's not just pink it's it's red it's berry colors that you're getting here this is out of this world beautiful tourmaline incredible jet black tourmaline you've got You've got your silver plated base metal findings. And by the way, you've got your gem tassel necklace instructions as well. You're getting this set of instructions with the project as well. With a 23 step instruction booklet put together by Monica included in this free of charge. Absolutely 100% free of charge, which is just out of this world. It really is genuinely amazing. Yeah. Now. The pink tourmaline on its own, pink slash red slash purple slash everything in between. That's got to be worth $89.99, $79.99 on its own. I mean, that is absolutely any day of the week. Even, I mean, I'm talking kind of almost a clearance price for this. $79.99? Now, you'll notice this project is not on split pay. Ooh. I'll be honest with you. 70 available where we are going you are not going to need split pay you are not going to need split pay at all atia sharon angela well done to you there's a load of you coming through 20 seconds we're going to give you the best possible deal unbelievable opportunity for you today at 79.99 oh my word how about we offer, oh my word, this is incredible. Taking that price point down, we like we said, we've only got 70. This is going to shock everyone. Next month's birthstone, totally natural. Yours today, $49.99. $49.99. That's, that, that's one strand. 
that that's is half 25 a strand. pounds a strand monica yeah because that's what you that's what you would pay for one strand and then the findings yeah. and the instructions are free that is amazing and we're still not done oh, no. get involved Th this strand here, even at a, you know, we bring you those kind of crazy close out deal kind of price. That, that for me, yeah, this strand here at 49.99 is a crazy close out deal. That look at the quality of that, the size, the shape. I've never bought pink tourmaline like this to wear before, ever. Size wise and depth of color, it is absolutely ludicrous. It is the best I've ever seen in what 15 years of working with gemstones. I cannot believe. We're taking this even lower. Fifteen pounds a strand. <laughs> and this strand of natural black tourmaline is a fiver, and the instructions and the findings are free of charge. I mean, whichever way you look at it, it is absolutely ludicrous. Thirty-four pounds. 99 pence more makers coming through angela well done to you coming through to get this well done sharon in dorset angela in hampshire mary in surrey atia in greater london well done to you it's absolutely ludicrous this is amazing and the jewelry that you've made monica is just unbelievable it genuinely is the, the color quality the the kind of the the kind of uh, gothic style the gothic color palette yeah. i absolutely love i agree i agree and i wanted to make something that was easy to make because because sometimes the gemstones kind of speak for themselves. So obviously I had to add in a few little seed beads, but that's optional. Oh, I love it. That, you didn't have to, but. Now, Monica. Yes. I'm a huge advocate for gemstones which get overlooked. And I think gemstones like tourmaline, tourmaline deserves to be a precious gem, in my opinion. It deserves to be up there with ruby, sapphire, emerald, diamond. It deserves to be as well known as all those gemstones. It, it, it deserves to be a, a spacer with the most incredible Akoya pearls. It deserves all of that. Maybe you've never got tourmaline in your life. Today's the day. 30 second clock. We're going wow. one final time. Wow. Totally natural tourmaline, yours today deserving of that precious gem notoriety. The biggest strand of pink slash purple slash red tourmaline I've ever bought to air and the most amazing jet black tourmaline and your findings and your instructions. And I'm about to take this down to 29 pounds and 90. I have never oh done, I've never done anything like this before. And it's the first time in what, two years maybe, that we've actually had tourmaline in a project. 29.99 is your deal today. Mariska, why well don't you as well? More, more um, anonymous bidders coming through, well done. 29.99, what a deal. Anne in Worcestershire, why well don't you as well? If that's the Anne in Worcestershire, I think it is. She's got amazing tastes and I know she's going to be putting it with pearls. And I have to say, I, I cannot blame you for that, my lovely. Well done, everybody. We have bought you, can I just say, we bought you some of the most amazing pearls over the last few weeks, over Ooh. the last few months. Imagine these oh as spaces. Wow. Imagine these as spaces with these. Just not between all of them, but between maybe the central section, yeah? Wow. Imagine them as spaces. Imagine them as spaces with pearls like, oh my God. Goodness gracious me. <gasps> these are all last in stock pearls which are coming up, by the way. Imagine oh. them as spaces in between these pearls here. Nicolette, well done to you. Absolutely amazing. Elizabeth, well wow. done to you as well. Uh, it, it, do, do you see why we're... Do, yeah, amazing. Congratulations, well done. Maker in Buckinghamshire, keep coming through for that. They will sell out. They will sell out today. Well done. Let's do the Nuggety project. This one's a really lovely project, um, um, Monica, isn't it? It Gorgeous. is, yes. Here purple. we go. Let's... It's very purple. Which yes, is exactly. Which is obviously <laughs> why you love it. Yes. Let me bring this entire board over, actually, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to show all these findings. Okay, here we go. So, nuggets of tourmaline. Sorry, uh, round, uh, microfasted rounds of tourmaline. Yes. Here we go. Are these nuggets of tourmaline? What is this? Really? Are you getting, did you get silvers in yours? I did, yes. Oh my gosh, look at this material. Has it been coated? That's not, 
natural. What? Have you? Are you seeing this? Is everyone seeing this? Yeah. I noticed that. that like that's shitoyancy. Trying. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know, the only way I can... Okay, we've got less than 50 of this project. Oh, my gosh. The only way I can kind of ascertain how that's happened is, is the way tourmaline grows, it grows in long shards, okay? And uh, those uh, kind of shards are like tubes. If you cut them like that, then, of course, you're going to get that beautiful window of colour. If you cut it like that, you know, you're going to cleave it. You're going to split it like you would have um, a slate almost, I guess. So I guess maybe that's been kind of sliced that way. Do you see what I mean? That is absolutely... It's beautiful. And I had it on, oh. a, lot of, on a lot of them, not just one or two. It's on quite a lot of them. That silvery kind of cleaved quality is absolutely amazing. I love it. Straight down. Oh, my gosh. Look at the findings with this project as well. Is it all these? Yeah, this one's got interesting findings. Oh, my word. You've got a magnetic clasp. You've got some tubes. Yeah. 20 quid. Oh, my gosh. Get it. <laughs> 50 chances down to 38. Anne, Cheryl, Angela, Makey, Tracy, Robert, Maker and Ayrshire, Maker and Surrey, Tracy and Norfolk. Oh my gosh, this is flying out the door. 20 quid for that. I mean, that looks like the best strand of Shah right I've ever seen. Yeah. The best strand of kind of amethyst I've ever seen. That is unbelievable. I've never, I'm amazed at this. And when you start, oh my gosh, I've, I've got it on loads of them. Yeah, that's what I meant on my strand as well. It was on lots of them. That's why I put it with the silver. I, yeah. Silver seed beads. Absolutely. It kind of brings that out a bit. You've seen those silvers? Where it's been like kind of cleaved from the hydro. This is a, a thank you for that, Neri. This is a, uh, a, a tourmaline, um, whatchamacallit, a tourmaline uh, kind of a, 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 a shard, if you like. If it's cut kind of from left to right, it's kind of on the diagonal, obviously, but if it's cut from left to right, you're going to get that beautiful window of colour. But if it's cut, down that long facet there, which is a naturally forming facet, I assume it kind of splices it, kind of almost splits it. If you've ever seen anybody working with slate and they get this really fine piece of slate and then they strike it and it goes like that, that's what I think we're looking at yeah. here. It's like it's been cleaved. It's absolutely, it, it's off the scale, that's what it is. That's, about, that's almost sold out, well done. That's incredible. These projects are incredible. They are, they're kind of old school kits, aren't they? Very much. Except, I mean, you don't get the threading materials, but everybody's got those, but you get the instructions instead. Yeah, so absolutely. fabulous, fabulous project. Right, so final project offers you the most gorgeous, gorgeous strands. Oh, this is so lovely. Rounds of your black tourmaline. So same findings back as the first project. Yeah. And then micro faceted rounds, here we go, of your uh, red, hey? I love the microfaceted rounds. This is exactly what, um, these are the kind of sizes that I will tend to bring you in tourmaline. And they're like almost all microfaceted rounds. The reason for it is tourmaline grows very, very slowly. It grows and has a rest and then grows and has a rest. So it's very, well, it's not commonplace, but it's far more usual to get um, uh, a bicolored tourmaline than it is a bicolored, uh, I don't know, I don't know, uh, uh, emerald or, or chrysoprase, for instance. Um, due to the length of time it takes to form and it's very susceptible to the um, uh, elements uh, which are which are in and around the host rock um, uh, you know surrounding the gemstone so quite often you get different colors together which is wonderful um, but because it grows quite slowly it's normally littered with lots of inclusions it's very difficult to get out the host rock which is why you tend to get it in these much 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 smaller sizes um, i love these micro faceted rounds they're full of color full of saturation full of energy um, I love uh, those little earrings. They're so cute. Look at the way that they just twinkle with that beautiful, with the beautiful little um, kind of um, uh, floral uh, base piece. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I, I took those off the extended chains and yeah. because you've got some really nice fine chain in the findings. Yeah. And then you had the little flowers on the extended chain. So I stole the flowers from the extended chains. And, yeah, and nice. But also I was going to say that microfascist strand has got the same colors in as the, as as the, the, large as the larger strand. strand. So I would definitely get those two to go together. Yeah, like those they're kind of projects. jammy kind of colors, yes. aren't they? They're like raspberry jam, aren't they? I can't believe this. We're at 29.99, we're, we're taking the price point down again. This is such a rare gem. Oh my gosh. Well done, everyone. 10 seconds, natural tourmaline. Next month's birthstone, don't forget. So if you make your, uh, if you make your birthstone jewelry, this is absolutely perfect. Let's get that price point all the way down for you today. Here we go, 10 pounds a strand and everything else is free. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Maker in Suffolk, Lisa, Sheila, Sharon, Robert, Angela, Barbara, Hillary.
Karen, Sharon, well done to you, my lovely. Maker in Yorkshire, well done. Yeah, the similarity between those two strands is absolutely there, isn't yeah, it? The absolutely. lovely kind of jam colours you've got there. Beautiful quality. I'm, I'm, I'm mesmerised by all three of these projects. I think they're all so, they're all so, they're, they're just great. And you can see this little micro faceted rounds at the top of these earrings. Any other gem, you probably wouldn't notice it, but look at that. Yeah, it just really there. pops, doesn't it? Really pops. Because it's such a saturated yeah. amount of colour to have. Oh my gosh, Neary. We're going to go even lower. We're going to go even lower. By oh. the way, after we bring you this project and bring you the short demo, after that, we're going to be bringing you last in stock pearls. It, it's just crazy. It's crazy. So the quicker you can get involved, the quicker we can uh, bring you Monica's demo as well and bring you the most amazing. So we've got loads and loads and loads to come up. We've got price appraise coming your way. Don't forget as well. 13 seconds. We're taking that price point all the way down. You've got to be there. How can we be going lower than 20 quid? Do you know what? And I have to say, 10 years ago, a tourmaline project, lowest price, 50 quid maybe. 50 quid. This is the lowest tourmaline project we have ever brought to air. <laughs> oh 15 God. quid. And there's not a chip or nugget in sight. You know, for a strand of chips or nuggets of tourmaline, micro faceted gems and perfect rounds of black tourmaline, two of the most in demand, coveted sizes, shapes and qualities of natural gemstone capacity that we can bring you on Jewelry Maker. Yours today is 15 quid. Not to mention the huge findings pack that comes with it. Exactly. It's a, what, a 42 piece findings pack, is yeah. it? It's unbelievable. You've got, flower, you've got flower head pins as well. You've got a beautiful toggle flower. Yeah, it, it, and it, it, one of our newest findings packs. I feel bad for kind of not highlighting the findings pack even more, but yeah, 42 piece findings pack, relatively new findings pack with that beautiful floral additions in there as well. Monica. What do you want to make for us, lovely? Well, what I thought I'd show you is if you look at that necklace that we were just looking at now. Yeah. Uh, so the instructions that I've written are for this exact necklace. So with this one, these finding packs and these two projects, yeah. you've got bead caps. And the third one, the one with the nuggets, you don't have the bead caps, you have the, sort of the bead tubes. So I quickly thought I'd show you how I got around that in the tassel to use the bead tube instead of the bead cap. Oh. I mean, it's really straightforward. Um, nice. So uh, what I... I would, so when you're stitching a tassel, you don't want to stitch it onto an open jump ring because your threads are going to come through yeah. the opening. So you either need a closed jump ring or in this case, in the kit, you've got a uh, chain. Now, obviously the chain is made of uh, closed rings. Soldered links. Soldered yeah. links, yeah. So you can use that in place of your closed uh, jump rings. So I took my, um, I used a size uh, 12 beading needle because uh, it helps to get through the um, the microfaceted gemstones as well. Plus, Brilliant. I use size 15 seed beads, so if you have a size 12 needle, that's that's the way to go. And then I've got some uh, Ceylon thread here, but any of your thin, uh, I mentioned this in the instructions, any of your thin threads would work. So I wouldn't use Fireline for this because that's not great for a tassel. So I threaded, you don't need too much thread, probably about a meter for a tassel. I threaded it into my needle, and then all I'm going to do to get started is just go th go through the last link of my chain. I haven't cut the length of chain off at the moment. I've just used the whole piece, um, and I'll show you why in a second. So you just tie that into a double knot, or you can use a surgeon's knot just to secure it even tighter. Okay, and then I took one of my um, one of my chips from my from my tourmalines. So I just went through that because I didn't want to go straight through the findings because my seed beads will go into the finding. So I kind of wanted the finding uh, or the tube to sit on top of uh, my gemstone there so that the tassel wouldn't go into the, well, you can see it in the picture there. Okay, and then all I did was I picked up whatever combination of uh, seed beads I want and, and uh, gemstones that I wanted for my tassel. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to make one tassel here for, for demonstration purposes because mm -hmm. obviously they're all the same. So pick up some of your seed beads. Then I added on a few of my microfaceted. Now, when you take your microfaceted off the strand, first of all, you've got to cut the knot off the thread because otherwise you won't be able to get them off. And then what you want to do is you want to pull them off. You want to hold onto them. So let's say you want three. You want to hold onto them like that between your fingers and pull the thread out because that way you've got the holes all lined up. Because sometimes it's a struggle to find the holes in them, but this way you know exactly where the hole is. So you just pick up a seed bead, a gemstone, a seed bead, a gemstone. Now this is a short tassel, but as I say, for demonstration purposes. And then I picked up a chip for the bottom, which is nice because it kind of weighs it down, but it also gives it a bit of a, 
splaying out at the bottom of the tassel so it's yeah. nice to have something larger at the bottom nice and then pick up another seed bead which becomes your stopper and then you go back up through all of these that's the great thing another great thing about these particular micro faceted um, tourmalines uh, in both of the strands in both projects is that you can quite easily get through it with a needle and go back again in the other direction. Wow, that's sometimes, amazing. Yeah, sometimes the drill though. holes can be really small on the microfaceted yeah, ones, but these yeah. are great. Oh, that's great. And then you just hold on to this last seed bead, you pull it up to the top, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go through that last link of your chain again. So that becomes sort of like your anchor at the top, and then go back down through the top gemstone, come out next to your other strand, and then you're going to carry on adding your next strand onto there. So you're going to add all your strands on in the same way. Um, and then once you've finished, you're just going to tie off your thread again at the top. And then to get your, your tube on there, all you do is you go to the other end of your chain and you thread it through the tube. You thread it onto there. So you've got your tube at the top of your tassel, just like that. Okay. You can see that. And then what I did was before I cut the chain off, because if you cut the chain off, it's going to be a struggle to hold on to that little last link over there. So um, what I did was then I cut my length of fire line for the necklace and I threaded it through the first link that comes out of the top of the tube. So I went through there, pretend this is my my fire line or my wildfire, not my wildfire, my tiger tail beading wire. So I put it through that top link and then you can cut your chain off at the next link. Okay. And then you've got your little tassel hanging just like that with the tube. And that's perfect because as you say, you're attaching it onto the chain so there's no exactly. danger of the threads kind of coming Absolutely. through the gap in the jump Absolutely. ring. Absolutely. And then you can do whatever combination. What I did, I think I put 25 size 15 seed beads at the top and then uh, a microfaceted, a seed bead, microfaceted seed bead and then some more microfaceted and then the larger at the bottom. But all that, all that is written in the instructions. So. See, and that's fantastic. That's going to give you a really, I mean, organic, beautiful, movable. It, it's going to look wonderful, but there is order to it. There is kind of like there a definite is. recipe to there it. There is, yes. And, and then it works. So in the instructions, I've got it with the bead caps that come in the other two projects. And then this is how I did it with the third yeah. project. With the little I have to say, I mean, for me, these three projects, it's about those nuggets. I'm, yes. I'm genuine. I, I thought it was all about the big rondelles. And the big rondelles are amazing, but I've never seen nuggets like that. They are that, just... As you say, it's quite scale. a lot like... Like uh, charite, it looks yeah, a lot like charite. Absolutely, yeah. isn't that beautiful? Well done. St um, thank you, Monica. Beautiful, gorgeous, and I hope you enjoy those because that's next month's birthstone as well. Now, coming up, we've got Chrysoprase, uh, which is uh, your deal of the day. Very, very, very excited. First time ever, apple green Chrysoprase. Can't wait to bring these to you. They are. If you had to ask me to put money on what the gem of next year is going to be it's going to be Christ praise mm -hmm. i think i think i genuinely think so all of these are on pre-order hello 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 all of these pearls are on oh my gosh i'm the deal of the day you <laughs> absolute tinker apple apple oh gosh and the um and the gee whiz and the mutton fat coat and bracelet which isn't going to be 120 pounds by the way Nowhere near. Did you see all those pearls on pre-order? Right, Monica, I know you're gonna want these, but you're just, they're all last in stock. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Biggest quantity, seven. Oh. <laughs> so if you're interested in any of them, you've just got to get them. You've just got to go ahead and get them. We're gonna start off with this in here. I just, I, anything which is in a box, like that, yeah, you just know it's gonna be amazing. Should we open the box? We know it's gonna be amazing. We know it's gonna be pearls. Are you ready? Here we go, boom, <gasps> boom. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> that's so funny. I wasn't so, expecting that. Well, that's so I was expecting pearls. I kind of had a kind of like a little idea. I kind of, yeah, I know what it's gonna look like. Oh my gosh, look at the state of these. Wow. Oh my goodness me. <gasps> Neary! These are the pearls which are being sold now. Not pearls like this on a strand. You go to someone like Pearl's, Pearl, Pearl Paradise. Amazing. 
How are they selling their pearls? Ready? They're selling them as individuals. How much do you reckon they're going to be as individuals? What do you reckon? That's how they're being sold. Individuals, wow. photographed individually, sold as individuals. There's only a couple of white ones there. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Look at the state of the, oh, wow. Monica. These are off the scale, aren't they? They really are, size, shape. And you know, it, it's unfair of us to say, you know, uh, white, because yes, I know the body is white, but there's like a million. Oh, yes, there's purples in there. A million colors oh, in there. <gasps> oh my gosh. How many do we, oh, hang on. 499 is where we're starting. Look, oh, do you know what, Monica? I can't actually decide. Yeah, I'd be useless. I'd be useless with one of these larger strands to try and find my favorite one because every one that I see is my favorite. Two, four, six, eight. There's nine of them and I, st and I can't decide. I like that second one, that one. This one? Yes. Do you? Oh my word. Look at the, oh. oh. That one as well. oh. See, this is it. You think you found your favorite and then you go, oh, hang on. Oh my gosh. Look at the smoothness of that one. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, gee, I want all of them. Look at that one. Oh my gosh, look at the metallic edge on that. Oh, wow. Two chances left, 14 say, look seconds. The, look at the colours in that one. Yeah. We're going lower. Oh, look at the, look at those. Can you see those like, um, uh, turquoisey. Oh, oh yeah, the yeah. ripples are amazing. The turquoisey kind of greeny blues in this one. Are, ah. Does that say 149? Oh, oh gosh. 100 and f 149 pounds. Are you actually kidding me? Wow. Two left, Peter and Sharon, Maker and Renfrew Shine, Nicolette, Heidi, fight over the last one. One left, eight people for the last one. I mean, not being, not being funny, you could sell each one of those nine pearls for the price point of the whole strand there. Janina, oh, take it. Renfrew Shine, take it. Sorry, take it. <gasps> I think it's gone. I think it's gone. No, you can't buy twos. There's only one left. Oh, love. J oh, someone take it. Well done. Oh my gosh. Wow. And no, you can't look at it, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> I can sense you kind of, can I have a look at it, please? Oh, Monica, you're going to have to sit on your hands here. <gasps> oh, Pebble. What, what is it about <laughs> pearls that look like this? Look at this. A metre. A metre, wow. Of six to seven mil. Okay, so a metre of pearls would be amazing. A metre of six to seven pearls is incredible. A metre of six to seven pearls that are bleached and white, amazing. A metre of six to seven mil pearls that are naturally purple coloured. Oh my God. <laughs> it is literally just like more and more and more and more and more and more. You can make that jewellery maybe that you've always wanted to make. If you've got like a mood board or a you know, a vision board even. And on your vision board, you've got a twisted pearl bracelet and it's a Dior, you know, a couture Dior piece. And, Ooh. you know, you've got it and, and it's a photograph of some celebrity wearing it. Maybe Liz Hurley, you were looking at photos of her yesterday, weren't you, Neary, during the show? Gee whiz. Uh, and, uh, you know, maybe, you know, your beautiful, uh, you know, that that's on your mood board, that's on your vision board. You can make it today. Oh, actually, look what I just thought of. Oh, Monica, you mm. absolute ledge. Look at that. Look at that with that. That's Making where the it hair deserves on my arms to stand be. Up. <laughs> it, does, it really does, doesn't it? <gasps> Look at that. 299 for a meter of natural purple colored pearls. Janice, well unto you, my darling. Two split payments today, which is absolutely phenomenal. Two split payments of 150 pounds each. Amazing. Guess what? We're not done. Six chances. The more I look at that strand of tourmaline, the better it gets. That is amazing. That is that is incredible. What would you do with this, Monica? Would you be tempted to make one piece of jewellery? Would you split it up? Would you? I would make one piece of jewellery, actually. Mm. But you've got enough beads on there to make a mala as well. A pearl mala. A pearl mala. Mm. Now, that's something I've never seen. Well, you a see. A pearl <laughs> mala. Four chances. Karen and Janice, well done. 20 in baskets. Here's your price point. Oh, my word. Well done. Wow. 99.99. Two split payments of 50 pounds. Uh, that is genuinely incredible. 
We're down to the final three. West Yorkshire, Hampshire, Greater London. There's a load of you there. Oh my gosh. More people coming to the phone lines now. 99, 99, last in stock. The final three, once they're gone, they're gone. These, are, that is an epic strand. And I know we say purple, but you know, I've shown you before dyed purple pearls and you get one color. It's beautiful, yeah. but you get one color. When you get natural purple pearls, you get this level of quality. I mean, for also 24 be, people missed out there. Also, That's be, also beautiful if you just just knot it on some purple silk. For sure. A Absolutely. Long, long line necklace. Oh my gosh. Maker, maker, ma oh, loads of you missed out there. Gee, look mm. at all of those people. Well done. Um, oh my goodness. Sorry, you're going to hear that a lot. You're, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, mate. Um, this one's perfect with your top. Oh, thanks, Monica. So I must have it then. You must have it, yes. The ombre. I'm seeing colours in here I don't think I've, I've seen before. Wow. Like spring greens. Are you seeing the spring yes. greens there? Wow. Close out deal, natural, metallic, golden, ripple pearls. 12 by 9 mil. <gasps> it's so interesting because some, some of them are sort of like a... a, a, a proper gold colour. And yes. then some of, some of them are more, more like a like honey color yes uh, i would say and some of them are kind of split so oh it's really interesting colors there. some of these remind me actually of um ethiopian opal ah yes yes with that lovely kind of i think it's you saying honey that kind of honey background that you get there's so many people there angela maker in kent janina well done to you karen oh my word go 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 are you ready starting where under a thousand pounds and um, yeah it's the only gold strand of pearls that we've got in the uh, in the entire uh, company i think yeah more of you there well done my lovelies four individual split payments today we're at 999 no way near your price and i just and i look at these pearls and then i and then i you know just remind you of the pearls which are which Pearl Paradise is selling and they're selling them as individuals. They're showing you them. They're showcasing them as individuals. These are the kind of pearls that we're talking about. This is the kind of quality. This is the kind of calibre that we're talking about. You know, this is it. Individual pearls. Individual qualities. That's what we're talking about with these. And all those colours you can see there in those pearls. You've got those in this one as well. For with sure. The, the colour play. For sure. Them. Yeah, well done. Yeah, absolutely. Maker and Ken bought on to you as well. 299. Yeah, take them away. Well done. Can I? Yeah, don't don't forget as well. Don't forget as well. That's a good that's a good um a good point, Neary. Where are we with that? Okay, so being shown um, strands of pearls like this at uh, the Hong Kong Gem Show. Being shown strands of pearls like this, one thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars wow. per strand. Look at this. This is a, uh, a WhatsApp conversation about buying pearls. If you want to buy all of those, it's 4,000 strands, uh, uh, per, sorry, $4,000 $4, per strand if you want to select the strands that you want to go for, or $2,500 per strand if you buy all of them. Look at the quality you've got there. Look at the quality you've got here. I know that those ones look like they might be slightly larger. Yeah, but with the both. But price point wise, we're at 299, you know, and we're going again. Four chances. Your split payments now are below 75 pounds, which is tremendous. It genuinely is. Yeah. Four chances remaining. We're at 299. No way near your price. Three chances remaining. Are you ready? Here we go, my lovelies. This, I think, is pretty much the only strand of golden pearls we've got in the business. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, I love them. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Here we are, my lovelies. Ready? Here we go. All the way down. Gosh, look at those colours. Take them off the strand. Oh, they're beautiful individual pieces. One, nine, nine. Three left. Well done. Lancaster's there. Lovely maker. Well done to you as well. Go, 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 go. What a deal. Well done. Down to the last two. There you go. Loads in baskets. Way more in baskets than we've got stock available. Angela, well done to you as well. I've got you there. Check out my loves. Your split payments now, by the way, are all the way down to, four, uh, uh, what, 50 pounds. 50 pounds per split pay. That's unbelievable. Well done. Two chances left. Well done. One left. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go. Well done. 
Great deal for you today. Congratulations. Well done. Who's going to get that last one? Well done. Don't forget that 30 day money back guarantee that you're going to be getting as well. Unbelievable deals. Another maker there. Well done. Okay, next. Let's move on. <gasps> Woo. Oh no, really? What? Hang on. What? What is it? Okay. Oh, oh, Ooh. Monica. Now, I know, do you own your own strand of purple pearls? You know, I haven't got a purple one yet. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, last... I kind of asked that thinking the answer's going to be yes. Well, it's because last year I bought the papaya ones, the, the really big ones, like the white ones we just They're had. They're the ones you bought, The yes. papaya ones. And I bought one for my mom, and they were so beautiful, I bought one for myself as well. Yes, I and remember that. And then after that, we brought out the purple version and these purple ones and I, I'm like I just bought those two huge strands I can't buy I another you, one but, think, but that was last year so maybe this year will be my I year I think this is going to be your year Monica <laughs> I mean if we get any if we get any this is where I you know you got to go you got to go with that uh, yes. you got to go with that they're so large and jammy and beautiful I d you got to go with those as spaces we're starting at 699 i'll be honest with you that that is a closing price that is a closing price you know if we're going off size shape orient naked we are looking at 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. straight down all the way enjoy naturally colored purple lavender pearls and they're 10 to 13 millimeter they're huge Oh my gosh, they're Edison's. What are you oh. doing? Oh, there's like two pearl farms in the world that create these, Neary. What are you doing? Anne in Hampshire, Dorothy in Merseyside. Three, oh my gosh, two chances left. That's it, once they're gone, they're gone. 12 in basket, oh my gosh. Not only are they natural purple, they are Edison's. Oh my goodness me, they are bonkers. <gasps> Papaya, 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 papaya. Oh, yes, these are beautiful. Do you know what I love about these papaya pearls? It is number 20, isn't it? Yeah. Is we bought you papaya pearls, which are gigantic. These ones are a little bit smaller, and oh. I love them. They are as close as I've ever seen color wise to natural pearls do you know what i mean by natural pearls so when you walk past a jewelers you will see pearl pieces in the window undoubtedly you'll see different kind of qualities etc etc the pieces which are uh maybe 1920s pearls or maybe they're victorian pearls you know whatever they might be those are going to be the pearls that people would free dive for. So not cultured. People would literally be at the, at, you know, on, you know, floating on the surface of the sea, literally <gasps> hold their breath, dive down. And if, if, you know, if you didn't burst your eardrums through the unbelievable pressure, you know, you get to the bottom of the ocean, you'd, you'd pick up an oyster, you'd bring it back to the uh, top and hopefully not dive the bends and then, and then open the oyster. Has it got a pearl in it? Yes, no, no. Right, next. And, you know, again and again and again. Those pearls have got a color to them and it is this color. It's like a creamy ivory color. It's actually called a uh, chicken soup color, which isn't a particularly attractive name, but it is, but it is that color. It's that cream ivory tone. And here they're described as papaya. They are, it is kind of like a peachy papaya, but that is as close as I've ever bought to you as, as a natural pearl. I mean, it's, of course these are naturally colored, but when we're talking about natural pearls that people would free dive for that are near priceless, this is the color that they almost always are. They're gorgeous, a hundred pounds. That's amazing. They look like pearls from yesteryear, don't they? Well, that's what I was gonna say, just because of everything you've just said, if you make jewelry with these, it automatically looks like a, a vintage piece or Doesn't an antique it? piece of jewelry. Doesn't it? Depending on the design that you make well, with yes, it, of course, it, could, it could be, it could be a, you know, a strand of pearls made into a piece that was made last week or last century. You know, you've got something here so special. They are beautiful. I love the kind of gentle, kind of organic shape that you're getting here as well. Angela, maker of Northamptonshire. They are very, very, very desirable. In the pearl world, you know, pearls like this just, just do not, just do not exist anymore, really. Um, uh, uh, <clears throat> kind of with this kind of color, with this kind of really unusual organic shape uh, uh, to them. They're as close as I'm, I think I'm ever gonna give you looks wise to natural pearls. 
totally natural, like uncultured pearls. Amazing, well done. Uh, 13, two chances available. Oh, 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 it's this. Uh, I purposely haven't looked inside here. Just, oh. Oh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's a five figure strand of wow. pearls, isn't it? That's five figures. In a in a in a in a piece of jewelry, that is five figures. That is five figures. And you know, I'd I'd actually go as far to say size shape, orient nacre, faultless, literally faultless. Absolutely. They are tremendous these are natural orchid high luster edisons um the whole point of the edison pearl is that it was it was created over a decade ago to rival the size the shape of the south sea pearl what, the, what, what they actually achieved was something even more exciting because they were able to bring colors to the marketplace which are colors which you just do not find in any other pearls in the world, they, I can't get it out of the box, here we go. They are, oh my gosh, feel the weight of those, Monica. Feel how heavy they are. Wow, that's amazing. How many do we have? Two, two, two. They feel amazing, don't, don't they? You don't want the back, aren't you? Yes, I am, unfortunately <laughs> I am, Monica. On the neck, here we go. Look at these, Dorothy, Maker wow. in Cumbria. That is once in a lifetime pearl. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, if you take these to your local family run jeweler who specialize in pearls, if you are not offered, uh, uh, you know, close to five figures for these pearls, then, then don't, that is, oh, they're amazing. I'd be shocked. Well done, one left. Dorothy's got one, Maker and Cumbria. We're down to 299. That is one of the most ludicrous prices I've ever seen for pearls of this stature. They are pretty much the largest most exceptional quality pearls we've ever done. Oh my gosh, one, two, three, four in baskets for the last one. Oh, it's gone. Cumbria, well done. Congratulations, well done. <gasps> amazing, 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 amazing. Right, let's do now. Is it really? Oh my gosh. 12, what is number 12? 12 is the lilac one. Oh, it's these. Yes. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I know, sorry, I'm not doing the kind of the reveal. Just because I know that they're <laughs> going to be amazing. Um, are we, oh, yeah, the box is just that. The bo Without the post-it note on it. The box itself, that's worth 50, 60, 70 pounds. Isn't it? Oh, that's yeah. amazing. That's the packaging. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is the strand that's got... Oh, hang on. If it's the same strand as the one I'm thinking of, you are actually getting red pearls in here. Ooh. Yeah. And this is a different strand, as in a different example of the same strand. Look at the reds. Can you see those reds and kind of almost yeah. maroons? Look at the central pearl. Look at this pearl. That is one of the most wow. beautiful pearls I've seen in my life. Four chances, four. <gasps> Gosh, that recording is in your face. <laughs> oh, my word. Angela, well done to you. Oh, they are terrific pearls, aren't they? Three. Oh, my word. See, I, I, I can't actually decide which one's my favourite. I love this one. This one here is so unusual. Look at that. Oh, well. So well, cool. Definitely take that one out and use it for earrings. Yeah, but you say earrings, Monica. I'm, I'm a selfish, I'm a selfish jeweler because I, I want to, I want to see it. That one there, That's bronzes, true. like rose gold wow. colors. I love the wrinkles on that. Here we go. Pro one four nine. No way. Absolutely not. No, that can't be the right. Pro oh, this of this strand at one four. Oh, 60, 70, 80. 70 strands at, at that price point. Yeah, yeah, we could definitely sell that. How many have we got left? One. Peter and Sharon, mm. Angela, Denise, Mandy, Mrs. Uh, Maker in Cumbria. There's loads of you there. Loads and loads and loads of you. I can't believe that I price. Think, I think you made a good point earlier when you said that if you get dyed pearls. I doubt, then they're I, all... doubt I made a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. When, when you get dyed pearls, they're all exactly the same colour. Yeah. Whereas here, you you see so many different colours in yeah. each one and the, and the 
placement of the colors on each one is is different so you can automatically straight Absolutely. away see that it's 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 natural I and mean, you can't re replicate that really no no you can't you can't fake that there's loads of you there Jacqueline Janina, Heidi Maker, Jay Denise, Mandy, Mrs. Maker. There's loads in baskets there for the last one. I'm going to keep that one a bit close to me because I'm not entirely sure if that's on. Two left, one left. Oh, Mandy's just taken one. Does that sell it out? No, it doesn't. There's no, still one left. Deborah, Maker, Nicolette, could go to you. Oh. Oh, hang on, wrong way. This is uh, th this box, by the way, is inspired by Mickey Moto. Oh. <laughs> when you said Baroque, I thought like return, uh, rotund and kind of like uh, rounded. Ooh. Right. Okay. These I I've seen these pearls before. Yeah, beautiful recording, Monica. Monica. Um, I haven't seen these. Hold, before. hold your hand out. Feel the weight of these three sterling silver beads. One, oh my two, gosh. three. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Those are solid. They're solid sterling silver beads. They're big, aren't Does they? Does that come with the pearls? Yeah, it comes with the pearls. Wow. Right, let's get these pearls out because they are glorious. Oh my gosh, I love the box, don't you? Oh my word. Wow. How would you use these? In, in, in your jewellery, Monica. How would you, oh, we're mad over allocated with these. How would you, how would you use these? Angela, Heidi, Cheryl, Maker. Well, two of them I would put in earrings. Yeah. yeah. And then the third one, I would just put in between the strand, but not in the center, but sort of off center on the side. Yeah, nice. As like a, like a. Can you a do circle. asymmetry? Sometimes. <laughs> Very rarely. I mean, I can do I it. it. It just doesn't look great. <laughs> oh, no. No, it will. Well, you don't think it will. 199. Oh, my gosh. I, I, you know, I know many places where 199, you know, just, you know, you wouldn't be far off that just for the big. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. oh, by the way, most of these pearls, by the way, come with instructions. You've got instructions by Linda here as well. Renfrew Shine, Maker, Angela, Heidi, Cheryl, uh, Maker, Maker, Maker. Oh, gosh, there's loads of you there. Well done. One left. Ooh, speaking of asymmetry, Linda does a lot of asymmetrical things. She does. I wonder yeah. what she made with these. That's a good, a good shout out, actually. Yeah. High luster orchid Edisons, which is mm -hmm. the one in the blue. Oh, they've gone. What's this one? I don't know. Oh gosh, they're ridiculous. Yeah. Whatever they are, twenty-one. Oh, rosebud. Have you seen the rosebud pearls? I haven't in person, no. I've seen them on, the, on air before, but Don't I haven't. Don't they look lovely? Oh, wow. Aren't they sweet? The thing I love about the rosebud pearls is quite often they've got a flat back on them. Not all the time, but they yeah. sometimes do, which make them great for rings, great for earrings, uh, great for bezeling around as well, Bezling, bead embroidery, anything like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Love that colour. Starting off at £100, starting off at 100 Fair warning. Oh, six chances, Neri. You're spoiling us with these quantities. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, steady, let's take it down to 50 quid. Yay! Amazing. Yeah, no one moans when we bring you a pearl showcase. Angela in Surrey, well done to you. Come on, take us down to five, my lovely. Well done. That is gorgeous. Well done. Go, 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 go. Unbelievable deal. Three opportunities remaining for you today. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. What a great deal. <gasps> Doesn't it look lovely against that lovely red? Oh, yes. Lovely. Well done. Um, that's about to sell out. Well done. Um, Neary, I don't know what number this strand is, but this is just okay, are you ready to see that? It's 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 obscene. It's amazing. Look at the size of them. Look at the state of that. What do you mean you don't know? One, two, three, four. Is it four? Twelve? What do you mean we're not doing it? Oh. We're going to play in the 11 o'clock hour. Oh, that means I'm you're going to be sitting there and I can get my phone out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well done. <laughs> nothing personal, but... <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing bad about that. that. Okay, fair enough. We're going to play it in the 11. Amazing. Right, what are we doing now, love? 19. 19. 
I know, apple green chrysoprase. And I'm so excited, it's gorgeous. Oh, oh. You, is this similar to the strand that you bought or not? Or was it all papaya? It was all papaya. It was all papaya. Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? I think it you definitely a year another strand, Monica. Actually, it was more than a year ago because <laughs> it was my mum's birthday last March. So. Oh, there you go, yeah. You definitely deserve another strand, Monica. Here we go, natural coloured, near round, freshwater culture pearls. You've got here your beautiful um, natural lavenders, your natural papayas. You've got your beautiful whites as well. One, nine, nine, two chances left. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. By the way, not done all the way down. Oh my gosh, that quality. One, two, nine for you today. Just take them away. Do you know what I like about these? You know, the big Baroque pearls, I, I love them. They're very statementy. I wouldn't put them all on one piece of jewelry. Some people might do. But for some people, they want something which is beautiful and has gorgeous quality, but isn't necessarily as, as big and showy off yes, I, I suppose and showcasey you want something a little bit yeah. more sensible and if you, if you want to go really sparingly with them put them with some sterling silver and you can actually make three suites of jewelry from that if you separate That's a great them out. shout yeah yeah you absolutely can you're right good shout angela well done to you my lovely we're at one two nine we've got one chance remaining a four split payments which is very generous especially on a 129 pound uh price point as well which is just amazing well done um listen Coming up, we have got the um, most amazing, the most incredible deal of the day showcase. Apple green chrysoprase. This is one of my all time favorite gems. And I think literally gauging from the popularity of this gem, not just on Jewelry Maker, but designers around the world, I think we've got an exciting 12 months ahead for this gem. It's coming up, apple green chrysoprase. We've got the gorgeous Haigu Kotan Mutton Fat bracelet as well. But now let's go to the wall of fame. Let's see some of your incredible designs. <laughs> Fantastic, let's start off with number 635. It's Diane Fennell, who says, my entry is some bracelets I made for the bridesmaids at my niece's wedding. Made with gorgeous cultured pearls, gold silk, um, gold silk, sorry, gold seed beads, and gold plated silver findings with a mother of pearl alphabet charm, all from JM. Fingers crossed, uh, lots of love, that's from Diane. They're so beautiful, they're so commercial, really wearable. I'm sure they're gonna love them. This is gorgeous, and it looks like it's, oh my gosh. Right, Alsa Wood, your number 636. Morning all from the Bahamas. Oh my gosh, go away, Elsa. I'm joking, that's, look at that. Oh my gosh, she's in the Bahamas. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Queen Conch Buddha with blue topaz in its true setting where Queen Conch comes from, all from JM. I have so many questions to ask. Can I come and live with you, please? Uh, no, she's saying no, absolutely not. Well done, beautiful jewellery and, um, oh, the Bahamas. Right, okay, 637, it's from lovely Gloria Brown. Hello everyone at JM, please find and attach my entry to the Wall of Fame. I couldn't resist uh, attaching these gorgeous pearls purchased from Jewellery Maker quite a number of years ago to my silver clay mandala earrings. They're gorgeous, Gloria. Um, I built up such a large stash of gemstones and stands, uh, sorry, strands over the years. And instead of just gazing at them in admiration in their display cases, I thought it was high time I started creating and appreciating them in jewellery. Absolutely, darling. Um, I love watching every day and gathering so much inspiration from the guest designers and presenters. Thank you uh, all for making my days so much brighter. Gloria, you're an absolute legend and that's gorgeous jewelry. Well done to you, sweetheart. Oh my gosh, more amazing pieces. And I love this shell. Uh, 638, Joanne. No, not Joanne at all. I totally made that up. Joni, uh, morning all at JM. Please find and attach my ruby and rice pearl bracelet. Silver plated and uh, CZ clasp, all from Jewelry Maker. I often look at it with a UV light and just wonder at its beauty. Hope to win one day so I can buy even more goodies. Thank you. And uh, good luck to everybody, especially me. Thank you, Joni. They're absolutely beautiful. I know what you mean about the ruby with under a UV light. It's just incredible, isn't it? Um, 639, Penny Hamlington. 
I've made that up as well. Penny Hamilton. <laughs> I'm totally making all these names up. I'm so sorry. Uh, hi, everyone. I haven't submitted anything for a while. I'm currently hooked on memory wire bracelets. Here's some using tiger's eye, lapis lazuli, mixed gemstone beads, mixed nuggets and keshi beads. Everything from Jewelry Maker, of course. Have a lovely day, everyone, and good luck. That's a gorgeous selection. Beautiful. Thank you for that lovely penny. Let's see if I can get the next one right. It's the last one. It's from Millie B. It's number 640. Uh, morning, a beautiful JM and crew. Uh, as we're getting more and more uh, jade, I thought it would be good to learn the knotting and the meaning of the small macrame beads that are used in most necklaces and bracelets. Uh, so this is red tiger's eye donut. Um, this is a red tiger's eye donut and the beads they use uh, like the way it's turned out. That is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. I love that photography as well. Thank you so much. If you want to enter the Wall of Fame, it's so easy to do that. Um, and I'll try not to mess it up when I read your entries out. Uh, take a photograph of anything that you make using Jewelry Maker items and email it to studio at jewelrymaker.com for midday uh, on the Tuesday for the 12 o'clock, uh, well, for the draw on the uh, uh, Wednesday. Uh, if you win the Wall of Fame, you'll win £100 credited to your Jewelry Maker account. And if you are runner-up, you'll get £50 credited to your Jewelry Maker account. We pick um, uh, the winner and runner-up at random every Wednesday. Best of luck, everybody. Coming up next, the most amazing deal of the day. Brace yourselves. We've got so much to get through and some amazing deals. See you in a sec. <laughs> Oh my word, the most amazing deal of the day today. We've got um, such an exciting gemstone. And I think really, if we're thinking about gemstones which are gathering momentum and gathering speed and gathering, gaining popularity, especially with what's going on over in uh, Burma with the lack of jade and kind of any gemstone at all coming out of that particular uh, country and um, the world is feverishly kind of searching for the next gem the air if you like to uh, uh, imperial jade um, and I don't think you need to look any further than what we've got today for me I mean I love I love its similarities to the likes of imperial jade but really for me in its own right, this is a tremendous gemstone. I've got here a beautiful, very limited edition, exclusive collection of apple green chrysoprase. This is an astonishing gemstone. Um, when it comes to... Um, green gemstones for me this is the absolute this is the absolute finest um chrysoprase is one of the rarest most valuable forms of chalcedony which is a cryptocrystalline variety of quartz um chrysoprase also known as the australian jade the GAA's Australian jade, uh, uh, Gemstone Series continues with Chrysoprase, a gemstone that is said to bring good fortune and prosperity to those who wear it. It is a fascinating gem when you start to read about it, when you start to understand um, uh, kind of how its colour is derived. This is the colour it comes out the ground. This is not treated, it's not heat treated, it's not polymer filled, it's not acid treated, it's not dyed. This is the colour it comes out the ground. It looks like the strands that we've got here on the tea bar it's absolutely astonishing and um when you've got design houses around the world and it's you know it, it, it it's when you get design houses around the world who are using starting to use this gemstone in their pieces you sit up and pay attention because you're thinking right okay is the same gonna happen to this as what happened to uh malachite with the likes of van cleef using it and piaget using it speaking of piaget look at this this is a, P uh, a piaget partners with arab designers uh, for house gold exhibition at art dubai 
And this is a, um, uh, a Piaget's Limelight Gala uh, watch uh, is set with emerald, diamonds, rose gold and chrysoprase. Um, you've got all of those incredible gemstones in there. You can see the emeralds, you can see the diamonds, you can see the ridiculous amounts of gold in that timepiece as well. But of course, the brightest gem in there is the chrysoprase. Um, they unveil expansive uh, Metaphoria collection of unusual watches, jewellery inspired by nature. In there, you've got golds, you've got diamonds, you've got emeralds, but you've also got chrysoprase as well. The leaves which you're getting there are chrysoprase. Isn't it interesting how you've got the likes of Piaget, who you can see where the diamonds are, you can see where the timepiece is, you can def you definitely see where the gold is. You can see where that emerald is, that baguette cut emerald. And to put emeralds in those kind of swirly kind of leaf, kind of almost paisley patterns, it wouldn't be possible. A, because you're not going to find emeralds that are going to be large enough for that. You're not going to find emeralds where the quality is going to be consistent enough. You probably wouldn't be able to cut an emerald like that because of its fragility. Um, so what are the gemstone are they going to use? They need to find another gemstone which is as green, as vibrant, as saturated, as beautiful. What are they going to go for? You know, a gem that's going to match the green nature of that beautiful emerald. What gemstone do they go for? Chrysoprase. With a Colombian emerald. Now I own my own Colombian emeralds and I can tell you something, it's, it, it, it's a beautiful gem. It's green. The beautiful thing about Colombian emeralds is they are <coughs> famed um, particularly for their color. It's the iron content which gives you the level of green in emerald. And Colombian emerald, Brazilian emerald, uh, Zambian emerald, you can definitely tell that they're different. Colombian emerald is the greenest of all of them. And what are you going to put with that chrysoprase? Look at it in that design. Now, I know we're talking about Piaget and those watches, those timepieces there, how many of those will they really feasibly, you know, realistically, how many of those will they have actually made? Maybe one, maybe two, maybe half a dozen. I'd, it won't be very many. It won't be. It's more of a showcase. A bit like a concept car, isn't it? Something that's never going to be produced. But if it was, you know, this is what it would look like, kind of thing. That kind of thing. Okay. So what about everybody else? What's everybody else doing? Is anyone else using this incredible stone? Oh my gosh! Yes, 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 yes. So JCK did a whole article about green gemstones, and I love the fact they put in brackets, but mostly chrysoprase. And this is one of the chrysoprase pieces that we're looking at here. Three thousand seven hundred pounds. You can see it's a beautiful piece. Um, it doesn't have any clarity, uh, but it's got a great colour, and it's lovely. It's been uh, kind of um, uh, kind of a gypsy set in in the uh, in that beautiful yellow gold band. You've got the diamonds in there as well. That's you know really really lovely jewellery. Um, and when you look at Chrysoprase jewellery elsewhere, you know to see thousands of pounds, that could be that 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 bracelet there. That could be Imperial Jade, couldn't it? It's not. It's Chrysoprase, and it's over five thousand pounds. Wow. Okay, now the quality we've got for you today is absolutely the finest. It is the absolute finest. If I was to tell you that there are other designers who at this moment are working on collections and have released and are releasing collections using this very gem, this very source of chrysoprase and these are names you will definitely have heard of Christian Dior you can see there beautiful ring gorgeous bracelets necklaces you can see the look of it can't you there's their look book with the pieces of jewellery in there, they've got rounds and a bracelet. I mean, goodness knows how much those necklaces and bracelets are going to be marketed for. Goodness knows what the price point's going to be. I've got rounds today. I've got nuggets. I've got cubes. What if I was to tell you Tiffany and co are using this gem? There's their catalogue. Oh my word. These are GIA accredited gems. 
These are proper. This is at the um, at GJX uh, show in Tucson. You've got Tiffany and Co. using this incredible gem. Sorry, Wayno, say that. Oh, sorry, Neri, say that. How much was this ring? £16,337. It's on first dibs, is it? See, I wonder how many of those rings they made. Don't know. More than one? Don't, I don't know. I genuinely, I genuinely don't know the answer to that. I'd like to think more than one. But you can buy that ring on first dibs. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Wow. That's a lovely ring. Can I, can, I be, can I be honest though? Can I be really honest? That ring's beautiful. That looks more like a green onyx than a green chrysoprase, don't you think, Monica? I was going to say, it's, it's, it's a lot more opaque, isn't it? It's more opaque, it's certainly darker. Mm. I prefer what we've got today. Yes. Personally. And it's gonna be a lot more budget friendly. Mm. Now, there is something very special about the chrysoprase we've got today. Oh my gosh, there's something very, very special about the chrysoprase that we've got today. I've got four strands to show you. I've got two strands of rounds. I've got your faceted cubes. I've got your faceted fancy nuggets. When you see chrysoprase, when you see the different colours and qualities of chrysoprase, and I'd say, if we look at this, the Christian Dior ring that we just saw, which is over 16,000 pounds. If we look at this slide here, I would say the Christian Dior ring is that chrysoprase on the right. Yeah. Right on the right hand side, that one there. Yeah, I would say so. Not a huge amount of clarity, you know, quite opaque, very deep and dark in color, very saturated, absolutely amazing. I wouldn't call it a glowy gemstone. I wouldn't call it a, a you know a light you know gemstone with lots of brilliance and glow and translucency. But I'd call it very very green, yeah. Where are our gemstones today? They're in the middle, which makes them the very 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 coveted, very 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 rare apple green chrysoprase for the first time ever i am bringing you apple green material i have four strands available i think we can all agree our quality right in the middle apple green chrysoprase not to the left which would be like an aqua chalcedony not just to the left which is more of a kind of like a bluey green it's right in the middle now these are incredibly limited in availability we're starting off with this huge strand here these are faceted fancy tumbles of natural apple green chrysoprase the fact that this gemstone looks like this looks this good and it's natural is abs for me it, i find it mind-blowing how anything can come out the ground and look this bright and lustreful obviously you know you know it's been polished it's been cut but that's the color it comes out the ground nothing has been done to it I don't even have a hundred chances here. Oh, I do beg your pardon, sorry. We're starting with the six to seven mil rounds. I do beg your pardon, sorry. Starting with the six to seven mil rounds. Oh my gosh, that. Until I decide the kind of landmark jewelry that I want to make, Monica, I would literally just wear that as a, as a stretchy brace or on a sliding clasp brace. I would just wear it like that. Until Absolutely. I decide what, Absolutely. you know, what the jewellery is, I, you know, what the design is that is going to be that forever home for this Yeah, uh, and then you can always gem. take it apart and reuse it in your, exactly. in your epic design. 
It glows, doesn't it? It does, it does. I mean, I, I'm, I'm usually not a fan of green, but this is, this is so beautiful and it's so fresh. Yeah. And especially if you put it with something contrasting, like either with something black or let's say with white pearls, it's going to make such contemporary jewellery. Isn't it just? You compare it to any of the chrysoprase we've just seen. You compare it to this, which is Tanzanian chrysoprase. It's very nice. It's a lovely piece on first dibs. It's, you know, it's, it's 900 and something pounds. Really lovely. Ours is absolutely, it's it, it leagues ahead. Leagues ahead. Yeah, and ours has got like no black uh, spots in it, no host rock in it whatsoever. The Tanzanian material that, that was being sold there for over 900 pounds has got, you know, littered with black inclusions. Littered with black inclusions. The quality you are getting here today is leagues ahead of the Christian Dior quality we've just seen. We've literally just seen, that's a ring which is there for over 16 grand and it's dark and it's and it's fairly opaque. What you're getting here is glowing and lusterful and translucent and gemmy. It's got that gem jelly quality, if you like. If Tiffany's and Dior and Piaget are using this stone, what is that going to do with the source of this gem? A gem which is already in high demand because of the lack of the Burmese material that's coming out. Now, 18 seconds, we're going to bring in our start price. Just to warn everybody, the start price you are about to see is ludicrous. It really, genuinely is ludicrously low. Alison Angela in Nottinghamshire. Another Angela. Our start price is obscene. Ready? Steady. 99.99. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> 99.99. Now, we're at 10% of the price of, 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 yeah, the Tanzanian Christ Appraised necklace, which is just nowhere near the quality we've got here today. Ours is so much better. Angela's coming through for another one. Of course you are, darling. Well done to you in Surrey. Absolutely amazing. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm here to ask you today, the quality we've got here, is it the same quality as the Tiffany & Co quality? Yes, absolutely 100%. If Tiffany & Co are going to be using this incredible gemstone, what is it going to do to the price? What is it going to do to uh, deposits of this gemstone? This is, I mean, absolutely off the, you look at the quality of this material here, which is 10 and a half thousand pounds. Wow. Look at the black spots in that. Look at the opaque nature of that. If I get a torch and I shine a light behind this gem, this is, this is absolutely glowing. You look at, oh my gosh, look at the quality you are getting here. Mm. Unbelievable. Incredible. Angela in Surrey's got three. And, sorry, Angela in Surrey's got two. Angela in Nottinghamshire's got three. This is tremendous. And we can show you price comp after price comp after price comp on this incredible gemstone. And there is no one out there who comes close no one out there who comes close and if they are bringing you a similar quality I mean I would say that that is probably the closest quality we've got to ours today chrysoprase and parve diamond dangle paradisa earrings they're just gorgeous they're absolutely amazing aren't they they're 2370 pounds and 50p and 50p don't forget the 50p <laughs> don't forget the 50p <laughs> we're at 99.99 I have a strand of chrysoprase and it's stunning says Justine isn't it gorgeous? Oh no, don't say, oh no, really? Oval chrysoprase set into 14 karat gold. That is horrible by comparison. It really is, I know it is, isn't it? Sorry, but it is, it's not the best, is it? You want it glowing, you want it translucent, you want the gorgeous, cold, oh my word, you want those incredible qualities to come out of it like you're getting here. This is apple, genuine classified apple green chrysoprase. The Australian Jade. I'm here to tell you today, nowhere near your price today. First time we've ever done apple green. This is such a specific quality 
that you are getting here today. Such a specific quality, such a specific tone that you're getting here today. It's right in the middle. It's not light. It's not too light. It's not kind of like that aqua blue. And it's not too dark. It's not like a dyed green onyx kind of looking gem. It's right in the middle. It's glowing. It's gem jelly. It's got that translucency. It's got that incredible, that beautiful energy to it as well. Yours today. Enjoy. <gasps> $49.99. Go, that is absolutely terrific. Enjoy. Well done, everyone. We had less than 100 to start off with. It is flying out the door. Congratulations. Well done. Go, 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 go. What a deal for you today. Isn't that amazing? Oh, it's beautiful. And it's, it's the uh, Desert Island size beads, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Anybody can use that. Absolutely. There's a load of you there. Well done. Alison is also through for this as well. Congratulations. Well done, everybody coming through. I can see you there. This is great to see. Well done. We're at £49.99. and pence. Congratulations, everyone. Go, 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 go. Don't forget, we've still got more rounds to do in the cubes as well and the beautiful uh, faceted tumbles as well, which is just gorgeous. Jan, well done to you as well, my lovely. $49.99, not your price for genuine, natural apple green. And if you've got a gem which is being used, I mean, we've got gemstones like the beautiful, um, uh, like the beautiful uh, Amazonite at the minute, the, you know, Colorado Amazonite, which has just been bought, you know, a load of it's just been bought by David Yerman and set into their jewelry. Um, uh, Ross is predicting it's going to be the gemstone of next year, maybe the year after. You know, with a gemstone like this, with the likes of Tiffany & Co and Dior and Piaget using this incredible gemstone, Stone, you know, all over the world showcasing this incredible beauty. I would absolutely say next year could be the year that we see Chrysoprase literally fly, absolutely fly. And today it's yours for twenty nine ninety nine. You've got to get it now. Absolutely amazing. And we are. It is genuine, genuine, genuine natural apple green. Uh, cry to praise. Yours today, well done. Angela in Surrey came through to get two. Then she got three. She's coming through for a fourth strand as well. We are 10% of that pretty awful oval chrysoprase uh, ring that we just saw on first dibs as well, set into 14 karat gold, which it looks pretty bad, I have to say. Two more anonymous bidders coming through as well. That's great to see. Well done. Go, go, go. 0800 644 Angela in Hampshire coming through now as well. Tracy and Heather, well done to you as well. Go, go, go. Oh my word. How about for genuine apple green chrysoprase? We go lower. I literally, I cannot believe this is happening today. I cannot believe this is happening. Tracy in Norfolk, Heather, well done to you. That is absolutely ridiculous. Unbelievable deal for you today. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Uh, fund me, well done to you. Kerry, well done to you as well. Lancashire. Exactly, it's the same material that the designers are using. Same, it's not, it's not kind of arguably, it's not kind of, you know, it is the same material. Ours though, you can absolutely say, is of a better quality than what Dior's using. Oh my gosh. Ready, steady, obscene, 20 pounds. <laughs> that is not the price I was expecting to see today. 20 pounds for natural apple green. Christ praise, that is yours today. Shirley, well done to you. Angela, Tracy's got two. Uh, Sheila, well done to you as well. Fun me, Elaine, Ivy, Sally, well done to you as well. Norfolk's got two. Angela in Surrey's bought five, your little beauty. Well done. Sally in West Midlands, well done to you as well. Loads of you there. Kerry in Northumberland, well done to you. Jan in Worcestershire and in Harbourford West. Kerry, well done to you. Sarah in Middlesex, well done to you. Mettler in Midlothian as well. Kerry in Manchester, well done. Kate in Dorset. Sit. Elaine in Essex, well done to you. Leslie in Stockport, well done. 20 pounds for you today. Angela in Hampshire coming through for yet another one. It's it, uh, honestly a tremendous deal. Jan's coming back through to multi-buy as well. This is just amazing. People coming back through on the phone lines to yeah. multi-buy. This lots, is just amazing. Well done. Diane on the Isle yeah. of Man as well. Well done to you as well. It's just brilliant, isn't it? Lots of multi-buyers. I'm not surprised really. Yeah, yeah. It is one of those opportunities. If you've got, sorry, Neary, can I have the clicker back, please, love? If you've got the likes of, I'm not being funny, if you've got the likes of, and I know, you know, Piaget 
Who can afford that watch? Like two people in the world, probably. That's got emeralds, that's got your diamonds, that's got your 18 karat gold, that's got your Australian jade, that's got your chrysoprase in it. This piece here, that's got white gold, that's got diamonds, it's got your timepiece, it's got a Colombian emerald. And what's the other green gemstone to match the Colombian emerald's beauty? Chrysoprase, yeah? I know, you know, there's probably two people in the world who can afford those rings. Uh, sorry, those uh, uh, bracelets. Now we're talking about a little bit more lower down the scale price point wise. I mean, £5,000 for that incredible bracelet. Don't know who the designer is, but it's a beautiful piece. <gasps> this piece here, okay, this is Dior. Okay, I know, I, I know, oh, hang on. And then we've got, oh, somewhere. We've got Tiffany's, oh, Tiffany's at the top, there you go. Tiffany's is the, their catalogue at the top. You've now got designers who are utilising this incredible gemstone, but as we've seen with the Christian Dior ring, it's of a lower grade. That is a lower grade than what we've got today. Fact. It's not apple green. Four by six mils. As in the, um, oh, four to six mils. This is gorgeous. Exactly the same quality. I'll hold them next to each other. Exactly the same quality. Look at this. I think, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of people buying both. Yeah. A lot of people buying both. This with yellow gold for me mm, would just be the big. absolute dream. Just like, just like almost everybody is doing. In fact, the only one that I saw that wasn't with yellow gold was with um, white gold, and that was Piaget, wasn't it? It's just gorgeous. The consistency of quality is astonishing. You look at that Tiffany piece. I don't even know what that is. Is it a necklace? Is it a bracelet? Whatever it is, it's absolutely gorgeous, that. Consistency of color. Have we got consistency of color? Yeah. Have we got saturation? Yeah. But what have we got that it seems to be almost impossible to find ever elsewhere? It's that apple green window. Apple green <coughs> window. Such a specific quality. Such a specific tone, such a specific moment that you are getting in these beautiful rounds. Four to six mil rounds. Anne, Diana, well done. Amazing quality. Yours today, $29.99. Unbelievable. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Yours today. Why don't we take that price point down again? Why don't we give every single one of you the opportunity to come through and get this? Oh my gosh, that's an amazing ring, Neary. Retired, rare, Tiffany & Co. 18 karat hardware collection chrysoprase ball ring. That is amazing quality chrysoprase. That really is, that, that is stunning. That's gorgeous. $1,199. You can recreate that piece of jewellery and you'll have many gems left over. 17 pounds <laughs> and 99 pence. Oh my gosh. Pauline, well done to you. Sharon, well done to you. And I think, you know, even if, even if we're talking about something that gives you the look of imperial green, something that gives you the look of the top, 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 top quality, but it's not like it's fake, it's not like it's dyed. I think sometimes when you think, oh, something gives me the look of turquoise, quite often it's a dyed howlite or a dyed magnesite. Yes. This isn't like giving you the look of imperial green jade, but it's dyed. This is giving you the look of imperial green jade and it is in itself an inordinately rare gemstone. Elizabeth Pauline. Fantastic opportunity. Congratulations. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. I'm, I'm genuinely amazed at what you're getting here today. Um, it says on the slide, it's, sorry, it says on the details, 10 centimetres. I've just measured it. It's actually 11 centimetres. 10 and a half, 11? Yeah. Yeah, it is roundabout. Kind of, I mean, we're giving you a little bit more. They're giving you kind of an extra half a centimetre there, which is amazing. Angela, Carolyn, Jan, Marion, well done to you. Pauline, uh, Marion's just taken two. Oh my gosh, we're not done. What are you doing? You want to be able to... Re 
You want, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That ring, if you recreate that ring, that's got one Chrysler phrase in it. <laughs> yeah. On this strand, there are two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. 16. There's 16 here. So you can make that ring 16 times. The whole strand. I tell you what, to work it out nice and easy, I set them to less than a pound each. 14 pounds well. and 99 pence. There you have it. Honestly, that is off the scale ridiculous. Well done, everybody. Let's do a minute to close on that one. That is absolutely amazing. Well done. Go, 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 go. What a tremendous deal for you today. Less than 60 seconds. We're taking the details away. Well done. Molly and Sylvia and Angela. Angela in Surrey's got two. Well done. Marion in Middlesex has got two. Well done to you. Joanne in Shropshire. Well done to you as well. Pauline, uh, Atia, Elaine. Carolyn Elizabeth, Sharon, well done to you, my lovely. Sharon in Lanarkshire, Sharon in West Midlands as well, well done to you. Less than 40 seconds, we're taking those details away. This is such a prolific gemstone. And I think that moving forward, I think we're going to see a lot more of this gemstone out there. I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if the likes of Van Cleef and Arpel, who, who, you know, what green gemstones do they use in their Alhambra design? Well, they use malachite, they use dyed green onyx. It wouldn't be surprised, it wouldn't surprise me if they took out the dyed green onyx and replaced it with something like yes. Chrysoprase. I'd love yes. to see that, wouldn't you? Oh, absolutely. I think what you said earlier uh, says something when, when you said that uh, uh, Piaget and Christian Dior are using this gemstone in pieces that two or three people might be able to afford in the Absolutely. world. Absolutely. That they could have used any gemstone. I mean, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of gemstones out there. They Absolutely. They could have used any of those, and yeah. this is the one that they chose. It probably would have been easier to source green diamonds to put with yeah. the green emerald than it would, uh, you know, chrysoprase. But they, you know, they, you know, just didn't hit the colour. Hit didn't hit the quality. It didn't hit the colour. Cotan bracelet coming your way. Oh, my gosh, this is just off the scale. Oh, my gosh. This is sleepy sleepy beautiful waxy cotan this for the first time ever is cotan mutton fat material in a ready-made bracelet oh. wow Coming up soon. I can't wait to bring you this. Cotan Mutton Fat Jadeite in a, uh, um, a nephrite in a uh, bracelet. That's absolutely amazing. A ready-made bracelet. Right, which one are we doing now, lovely? Cubes. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Do you know what that... Oh, that, that clarity is absolutely amazing. Yeah, there's nothing else that we've actually found today which is cube shaped. The closest thing we've got to cubes are these gorgeous earrings here, these beautiful rondelle earrings, which I, th which I think are absolutely gorgeous. £2,000, I love that. And they've set it with rose gold, which I really like. Yes, that's amazing. Nice Interesting idea. with yeah. rose gold, isn't it? Again, though, and you know, uh, this is just, uh, um, this torch is dangerously low in battery. But if I just, if I, I mean, you can see there. See the clarity. Mm -hmm. Translucency, look at that, isn't that just amazing? This isn't just a, you know, a good, a good strand. This is an absolute, this is supreme quality, isn't it? Supreme. Look at that. You can do that with the Christian Dior ring that we've shown you for, for 16,000. You can do that because it's the quality. It's just, you can just tell. That's opaque by, by comparison. It's a beautiful ring. Looks like um, coral, doesn't it? That gold works yeah. really, really I mean, pretty. Don't forget these photos for selling a piece of jewelry have been probably photoshopped and photographed oh, to their best really ability. that's a really good point, you know? actually. So Made in real look life, better. In real life, it's probably not even as good. So actually what you're going to be getting, yeah, it's, it's not going to look even as good as the picture you've got there. Um, we're starting at 50 pounds, starting at 50 pounds. Greta for Angela Maker, Alison, well done. Angela's already got two, well done to you as well. London there, well done, you've got two in your basket, well done. Check out my lovely, well done. Go, 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 we're not done. 30 second clock, here we go. Surrey's bought three. Oh, well done. Anonymous bidders coming through as, um, as well, well done. 
These, by the way, these spaces, just in case anyone's interested, are Rahina type spaces. Oh, very nice. It's, it's something that we started to do relatively recently, and oh. I have to say, I'm a big, big fan. I mean, yes. it's not it's not really two strands of the price of one, but you are getting you know gemstones with gemstone spaces. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, what a see, great! I, I wouldn't have thought of putting it with hematite, but look how lovely it looks. It looks it looks yeah. wonderful, doesn't it? It looks really really fantastic. Well done, Leslie's got this one on to you, my lovely. Let's get that price point all the way down. Here we go. Racing towards quarter to 11. Got those incredible pearls coming up, don't worry. Uh, 19 pounds, 99 pence. Incredible quality that you're getting here today. Pauline, why don't you in Cambridgeshire? Why don't you? Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Angela in Surrey, you've got you there as well. Elizabeth in West Sussex, why don't you? Pauline, Tracy, well done. Hilary, well done. Go, 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 go. Oh, just brilliant. Well done. Surrey's got four now. Well done. Sally, well done to you as well. Hillary. Loads of you coming through. Well done. One final strand, which is the big, big chunks. Uh, the big um, uh, kind of uh, fancy cut chunks coming up. Uh, Fiona, well done. If there's anything else you want to add on to your order that we've already played uh, this morning, please just have a look on the website, see what we've been playing, because honestly, there's been some absolutely brilliant pieces today. Uh, well done. Fiona, well done to you as well. Check out your baskets, everyone. Well done, West Midlands. Uh, sorry, West Sussex has just taken two. Midlothian, well done. You've just checked out. Well done. Uh, 30 second clock to close. Well done. Let's move on in uh, less than 30 seconds. One more strand. And actually, speaking of hematite, if you set it with hematite, it's actually quite nice for men's jewellery as well, particularly the oh, shape. Oh, great shout. Yeah. That's a really, really good idea. Yeah, it kind of... It, it kind of uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, hematite just gives you that kind of almost like a gunmetal quality yes. to it, doesn't it? Yeah. I, mean, I, I think that would look like great for guys' jewellery. Props of green and they would be fabulous mm. for men's jewellery, yeah. Wouldn't it just? Patricia Carroll, well done to you as well. Check out my lovelies, well done. Okay, biggest carrot weight. Biggest carrot weight. Oh. This is huge. I mean, absolutely gigantic. Wow. Fancy shaped nuggets, fancy shaped tumbles, faceted tumbles, asymmetrical pieces um, with hematite spaces. I have to say, what's interesting is when you see them in the rounds and when you see them in the pieces which which we've showcased actually um uh you know the price comparisons it's all quite classic jewelry is it? it's quite classically used what i love so much about this is it's really modern it's really yes. kind of out there i would love to see these as individual markers maybe yes or individual uh guru beads as you said earlier on, it's so fresh, isn't it? It is. I was just going to say, I don't think the, the glow comes across on, on screen. Not as well. On screen. I mean, it's yeah. almost fluorescent when you're holding it there. It's, it's, it's absolutely astonishing, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that quality, these huge chunks. Now, every single one of these is going to be unique. Starting off at 59.99, which, by the way, is a pound per carrot a pound per carrot yeah when you look at this comparing it to other pieces the tanzanian necklace which by the way it just looks pitted and just not particularly good by comparison um there's some lovely pieces there really are but when you compare it to something like that and that you know just looks like a green onyx to me. It's lovely. I love it. It's Christian Dior. It's beautiful, but it looks like a green onyx. And that just looks horrible by comparison. In fact, this necklace here is probably the closest that we've got for 10,000, 10 and a half thousand pounds. Okay. Biggest carrot weight of the entire collection. And we're about to do this. 29.99. Oh. Enjoy. Well done. 29.99. We're not done. We've got the bracelet coming up, which we can't wait for. We've got the incredible pearls coming up in the next hour. We've got loads to get through. So just we've got Kotan coming up as well, which is going to be amazing. Northumberland's there. Well done to you, my lovely. Go, 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 go. What a deal. 15 seconds and we're going to give you your incredible price point. How can we be going lower than 29.90? I've got no idea. 
unbelievable opportunity for you to cost. Look at that color, totally natural. Biggest carrot weight, let's match the price. <laughs> Matching the price of the cubes. Absolutely amazing. Go, go, go. That is utterly brilliant. You know, you had a, you had a bracelet there in one of the slides, which had like, um, almost like high goo shaped. Oh, yes. Bees. So you could replicate that with this strand because you've got almost like rondelles, which you could set sideways. Ah, that's a good, that uh, yeah, this yeah, one here. One. Yeah, nice. Can I just say as well, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, We've got an amazing bracelet and necklace coming up next week with links on it, which are exactly the same shape as these links. Ah. Uh -huh. I can say that, can't I? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Elizabeth Mary Maker, well done to you, and well done to you as well. Oh my gosh. Under 20 pounds, this is a shocker already at 20 pounds. We're about to go lower, I can't believe it. Genuinely, and, and this is what's so wonderful about us being live. If if it was a uh, robotic kind of preset auctions and all that, this is the price, next item, this is the price, next item. If something hasn't sold out, for whatever reason that might be, if we can, we will go lower. Well, we can't really. But we're going to, because we want every single one to go. Genuine, natural, apple green, first time ever. Apple green chrysoprase, yours today. Alison, maker what? in London, well done to you. £12.99. Wow. And this one is my favourite out of all of them, actually. This what? One. What have you done? Wow. Neary? What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Apple green chrysoprase, everyone deserves a chance to get it in their collection. Yeah, I know, but there's nothing in it. For, nothing in it for us at that price. Absolutely. I thought maybe you'd be taking it from $19.99 yeah. to $17.99. Not to $12.99. That's ridiculous. Mary in Surrey's got two. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine digging uh, in, uh, in uh, that much and finding that colour? I know. Yeah. I know, Sheila. Imagine finding that colour. Yeah. Imagine finding that tone. Literally struck gold, finding that. Four person queue on the phone lines. I mean, yeah, there you go. Well done. Jerry, Mary's got two. Jan, well done to you. Molly, Gwyneth, Denise, Christine. Yeah, they've all been amazing prices. This one, though. So how just... much would it be if you bought the whole collection, then? It was... Um, under 70 pounds. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Unless I want one of those. Under 70 be. pounds, you've got the whole collection. Wow. There you go. Oh gosh. And now, I'll be honest with you, from the sublime to the ridiculous, because it's time for your second deal of the day. <laughs> This piece is absolutely, it is so, it is just beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh. I've got a ready-made bracelet here, Monica. This is just, this is a treat. Oh. You know, we all love making our own jewellery, you know, uh, an analogy I would use is I love cooking. I love cooking for my family. I try, I try and cook as much from scratch as I possibly can, but occasionally nothing beats a kind of like a, a kind of, if someone's made it for you, like a microwave dinner, pop it in and, and it's done and it's absolutely <laughs> yeah. delicious. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you want to go out for dinner and get someone to cook for you. Sometimes it is lovely yeah. to go to someone else's house for dinner because they're cooking for you and it's just so lovely. And don't get me wrong, you know, I love, I love it all. I, you know, I love cooking for my family, but sometimes it's just so nice to be cooked for. It's just it's such a treat. And I think jewelry making is the same. It's wonderful to make your own jewelry. You know, we get so much from it. It's hugely absolutely. beneficial mental health wise. It's absolutely fantastic. But when we can offer you something occasionally, and it's not every day, it's a real treat. 
we can offer you something that is ready-made. And when I say ready-made, I don't mean like it's, yeah, yeah, it's ready-made. And you're like, is it really? <laughs> um, it's ready-made and you're like, oh, 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 wow. Oh, gosh. Oh, they've thought of everything. It's literally ready-made. Here it is. It's exceptional, isn't it? It's beautiful. I don't care what the gemstone is. That's a ready-made bracelet. That is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Love the symmetry. Love the quality you've got there. It just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? I mean, if nothing else, you can use it as a sample to copy it. For <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> in other gemstones, you know. But what are the gemstones in this bracelet? Mm. This is genuine, natural, Type A, Cotan, Mutton Fat, Nephrite. Wow. <laughs> this is the original. As far as Jade is concerned, this is the OG. This is it. This is the one. This is the one that, this is the Jade that started the East's obsession with this gem. This dates back, not decades, not hundreds of years, this dates back millennia. This is as far as the one that started it all, this chain reaction, this is it. Already got people um, with this in their baskets. Already got people coming through. Now, um, sorry, Neil, have you got my other PowerPoint? The one with the buy symbol on, with the donuts on. Um, the, the symbol you've got here is a, a jade high goo, and it's a donut shape. It's also known as a buy symbol, and it's one of the earliest known carvings it's one of the earliest known shapes that have been uncovered which go right the way back to near neolithic times historians believe that the bai is meant to represent heaven or the skies revolving around a central axis and later discs featured decorative carvings and patterns associated with deities and heavenly symbols the object has been hanging around in chinese history for over five thousand years and Chinese civilizations uh, stretches back for thousands and thousands of years and saw an immense change in its people their culture and their behavior but the Bai disc has not changed much at least in appearance if you've ever seen uh, lucky coins or if you've ever seen um, uh, some Chinese currency quite often they are Bai shape they are uh, and by Bai shape I mean this donut shape you know they're a circle with the you know they're a disc with the middle taken out it's a Bai it's a it's a it's a a, a high goo and it's that it's that symbol of luck it's that symbol of the cyclical the cyclical nature of life that cycle of life the connection between heaven and earth from very early on in Chinese uh, culture, it was customary for the wealthiest in society to be buried alongside objects that signified their rank and status with objects believed to be transported with them to the afterlife. And typically those items included silk, ivory, lacquerware, along with mysterious objects in jade, flat circular, flat, flat circular discs known as bai. From as early as the Neolithic period to the end of the Stone Age, and right through to the Han uh, uh, dynasty, which, which, which went, we're talking thousands of years. These mysterious discs continued to be produced and have subsequently been excavated from tombs of emperors, kings and other nobles. If we are bringing you one of the most ancient, one of the first, one of the founding symbols of which which i say you could say is connected to eastern culture but also that connection between heaven and earth it's a beautiful symbol just to look at even if you're not into that kind of way of thinking that hoop that donut it's got no beginning or end it's just it's just it, it it's continuous if we've got one of the most meaningful auspicious one of the original 
tokens, if you like, carved out of not just anything, but the original natural jade. I think that's amazing. <laughs> I genuinely do. I genuinely do. Now, I purposefully have got you price comparisons here, not for Cotan mutton fat, okay? We'll come to Cotan mutton fat in a minute, but look at this, certified jade, jadeite donut uh, piece buckle pendant they've, used, they've just got lots of keywords in there that's fine unusual pure color that's three thousand four hundred and nineteen pounds on first dibs lovely it's on a piece of cord which i would say is exactly the way that most people will be setting their uh, donuts this, this one's beautiful this one's set with uh, gold you've got that beautiful gold pendant there jade donut pendant eight thousand seven hundred and thirty eight pounds i mean fantastic gorgeous quality i mean that's amazing three thousand nine hundred and seventy five icy green uh jadeite uh i don't know if that's natural or not but i mean it, it's 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 almost four thousand pounds what do we know about the value of this particular stone well and i've shown it to you many times on the cotan powerpoint that we show you the world record the world record um the world record breaking item the world record breaking price point for a jade item to be sold at auction isn't imperial isn't even lavender it's cotan mutton fat nephrite from the exact same location where this is from this here large white imperial nephrite seal sold in 2021 for over 18.7 million US dollars. And that material is this. So if we're offering you the most auspicious, one of the original qualities, one of the original tokens, if you like, uh, from Chinese culture, from Eastern culture, which translates beautifully to all cultures across the world, that kind of symbol of heaven and earth, that that circle of life in a material which is the founding member of jade the, the one that started it all the east obsession and it currently is the world auction record holder for jade sold at auction that's probably the best combination you can get that is the absolute best combination and in this you have got your donut a further six mutton fats as well you've got two here two here two here and this enormous high go in the center Where on earth are we going to be opening this auction? Where on earth are we going to be starting this? This is, this is, this is, okay, right. So it's going to be, it's going to be, gosh, is it going to be three figures? Is it going to be 699, 799, 499? I mean, that would be amazing. No, no. I've got a decent quantity of this today. This should have been deal of the day. Quantity wise, we don't really have enough for it to be deal of the day. But we're starting under 100 pounds. We're starting at 99.99. Oh my gosh. Does this look out of place on first dibs? Absolutely no way. You will see not all of the pieces, but the vast majority of your jadeite pieces, your nephrite pieces are set with cord. They're set on pieces like this. Sometimes it's just one with a lark's head knot on a piece of cord. Today, you're getting six of, six of them. No, one, two, three, four, five, seven of them, I beg your pardon on a ready-made bracelet, which, by the way, has been beautifully macrame. It literally looks like it's been macrame by machine. It won't have been. It's, it's all done by hand. It, the quality is absolutely terrific. We're starting at 99.99. Oh my gosh. 
we're nowhere near your price point today. I wish I had 200. I wish I had 300 of this because if we'd have had, it would have been absolutely deal of the day. 20 seconds, we are taking that price point down considerably. This is so beautiful just to get it ready made. It, you don't need to do a thing to it. If you want to take it apart, take it apart. I wouldn't. I'd, I mean, I'd have to buy two or three or four of these at least. And if I, if I was going to take it apart just out of curiosity, I might. Ready to try and replicate the design. Are you ready? How about we do this? 69 pounds and 99 pence. Oh. Everything that we've been talking about, the rarity, the quality, the history, the providence, the bloodline, the pedigree, the heritage, it doesn't match 69.99, does it? But, but that's where we are. Isn't that amazing, Monica? It's amazing. And as you say, you're, really, you're not paying for the, for the work and the macrame mm. and the cord in there. So if you wanted to take it apart, because let's say you don't like the purple. Yeah, yeah. Which, which is a crime in itself, because how can you not like purple? Mm. <laughs> but let's say you don't. And you wanted to set it in black or white or whatever other color. We've got cords on air all the time. All the time. Uh, so you can quite easily take that apart. And we've done loads of demos on how to do that macrame. Sure. So you can reset it for yourself in any color that you wanted. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Also, I couldn't agree more. Also, those spaces, are they also cord? Uh, yes, these are. These are all knotted, uh, mini little wow. knotted spaces. Aren't They're they beautiful? They're really pretty as well. So clever. So clever. I need to work out how to make those. <laughs> Sixty-nine ninety-nine is phenomenal. We've got almost half the quantity already allocated and gone and we've got multi bidders and it's phenomenal and it's incredible. How about we do this? Honestly, this is crazy what we can do with this. Wow. 49.99 to have multi buyers on a Kotan mutton fat Haigu ready-made bracelet is absolutely terrific. And by the way, I went on uh, the Mason K website this morning to see if I could find anything that looks like that. There's not a single piece that looks like this, not a single piece. You know, this is a real rarity. This is not the norm. And at 49.99, it is astonishing. And it's not your price. I know, it's absolutely amazing. Get on the phone lines early, get involved as early as you can. I tell you something, you are not going to need split pay. If you wanna buy two, three, four, five, six, ten of these, if you wanna have an entire craft stall's worth of these, please, can I just advise you, get there, be there now, get on the phones now, add them to your basket now. It is a free phone number from a BT landline. Every single one of you pays that final low price. So even if you came through at 99.99, you're not gonna be paying that today. Every single one one of you pays that final low price whatever price point we go to it's yours today incredible opportunity go 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 0800 six triple four six double five all the way down 15 seconds well done more people there this is tremendous to see congratulations everyone well done 10 seconds an unbelievable deal an incredible chance Yours today. Enjoy. I can't believe, I literally can't believe this. It's amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's 29 pounds and 99 pence. The phone lines have lit up for genuine, natural, genuine, natural Kotan mutton fat jade from the Kachin State in wow. China, literally where this gemstone where this gemstone heralded from the gem that started the east obsession with jade and it's yours today an incredible opportunity joyce fiona gary maker linda fiona nicolette patricia loads of anonymous bidders well done congratulations well done go 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 29.99 this is it this is the big one this isn't something that looks like kotan or is or is dyed to make it look. this is the actual material yours today for 29.99 i can't but i genuinely can't believe that that is amazing and again if you took it apart you could use the the high as a pendant with the two smaller jade that's on the yeah. that's on the clasp and you could use the other four with the spaces and make a pair of earrings yes they've got a whole suite of jewelry there that you could, you could absolutely make. that's exactly it if you've split it up you have got an entire suite of jewelry it seems really kind of um 
uh, indulgent, doesn't it, to have all seven of these in one bracelet. But yeah, absolutely, uh, Monica, you're dead right. If you wanted to take it apart, you've got, uh, you know, a whole suite of jewellery there. Pauline in Berkshire, Veronica in London, Maker, Angela, Joyce, well done to you. A tremendous deal for you today. Unbelievable. Sally, well done to you. Ken in Yorkshire, well done to you. I can't believe I'm about to say this. We've got just around 30 chances left. Speaking of 30, Michael, I know. This is, you're absolutely right, about to be one of the craziest deals we have ever done on Jade. Maker J, Sally, Linda, put, oh my gosh, it's gone crazy. Here we go. Let's get that. Okay, one final prize. This is genuinely the craziest deal we've ever done on Cotan. This is absolutely out, off the scale. Are you ready? Five, Maker J, £24.99. That makes me feel physically sick. But do you know what? I am so pleased for every single one of you out there who's getting it. Ken's taken two. Five, well done to you. I've got anonymous bidder after anonymous bidder after anonymous bidder after make. There's so many people there. Lavinia, Beverly, well done to you. Maker in five, Pauline in Cambridgeshire, well done to you as well. Loads of you. Kathleen in Belfast, well done to you as well. One minute clock to close. Congratulations. We're going to take those details away literally in a couple of seconds. There's loads and loads and loads of you there. £24.99. What a ridiculous deal. Suzanne in Essex, well done to you as well. Loads of you coming through. Mariska and Shirley, 20 chances remaining. Wow, 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 wow. Well done. Pauline in Cambridgeshire, well done to you. My lovely Beverly in County Durham as well. Well done. 30 seconds. We're taking those details away. I can't, literally can't believe that. That is the kind of price point, isn't it, which you would buy that for a friend's birthday. You would gift it to them and they would literally look at you like they'd won the lottery. Especially if it's yeah. somebody who loves Jade, someone who knows what Kotan Mutton Fat is. No one in their right mind would ever think, it would ever connect a price point of £25 to this and I bracelet. And piece of jewellery they could wear all the time, they'd never take all it off. All the time. Yeah. You're absolutely right, Monica. Definitely 100%. Julie, Maker, Shirley, well done, Suzanne. It's gone nuts. It's gone absolutely crazy. We have got so much coming up after the break. One of the things we're going to be bringing to you uh, is this incredible strand. This is on pre-order, believe it or not. This incredible strand of genuine freshwater culture pearls is coming up after the break with a load of other incredible deals. Don't forget, we are an hour away as well from our amazing 12 o'clock masterclass projects, which feature the shell pearls and, of course, the cup chain. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. Hi, jewelry makers. Monica here. I'm back in the studio on Thursday, so I'll quickly show you what we've got coming up in the project hours. And since October is nearly upon us, in the nine o'clock hour, we're going to be uh, celebrating Tourmaline, which is October's birthstone. So this little necklace that you've got here uh, is what I'm going to be doing the instructions for. Um, it's all made of tourmaline and a few little seed beads in there as well. Um, that's in the nine o'clock. And we've got red tourmaline, we've got pink tourmaline, we've got black tourmaline. So uh, it's all about tourmaline. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got these rings coming up. Right, which are shell pearl and cup chain. Uh, I can't remember the last time I had cup chain in any of my projects. And they also include adjustable rings, which is what they're attached to. Um, that's in the 12 o'clock hour. That's on Thursday on the 26th. Hope you can all join us with Carol and the rest of the team. See you then.
I'm back with you this Friday, Friday the 27th. We've got some beautiful projects in store for you, some really stunning pieces. So at nine o'clock, we have perfection. We have two luscious strands in store for you. Um, natural silver pearls, great size, really easy to work with. Uh, but some, we've also got some natural purple Edison pearls. I've never worked with pearls like this before, so they're a totally different calibre. They're absolutely stunning. Can't wait to share them with you. Uh, and then at 12 o'clock, we've got some great Christmas makes for you. So they they come with this beautiful ombre stack of colours, and I'm going to show you how to make them blend into each other seamlessly. Um, but they also come with these really cool long bar crimps that they're, they're, they're so cool um, and some lovely clamshells too and when you work with uh, the new pliers the new crimping pliers that jewelry maker have got in um, they crimp like butter and leave the perfect indentation on these bars they're really nifty great way of finishing off tail ends and things um, so I can't wait to share those with you I hope you can join me on Friday and I will see you there These pearls. <laughs> I've just been looking at them. They are monumental. Oh, really? When Elle launched these pearls, she said that they were her favourite pearls, the, uh, the, fa uh, the favourite strand of pearls that we'd ever launched. And I have to say, I can absolutely appreciate that. Eleven to 14 mil. They are absolutely ludicrous, aren't they? Look at the size of them. They're on pre-order. A humongous. And they're coming up in this hour, in this box, which is like a, I don't know, it's like a Cartier red. It's like a, I don't know, it's just, it's just absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love it. Just love it. Oh, it is a whole experience, isn't it? A whole new world. Okay, so they are amazing. Say again, love. Oh, I beg your pardon, sorry. We're gonna play them about quarter two. <laughs> I, I don't know what language he was talking then. Sorry, he was talking English. I just couldn't understand him for whatever reason. About quarter two, I can't wait to play those. Yeah, I couldn't understand what he was saying either, sorry. Back quarterly, back quarterly. Back quarterly. Right, so. <laughs> we have got last in stock. Oh gosh. Oh. Last in stock pieces coming your way. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Wow, that's beautiful. 
Isn't that just terrific? Now, this is a very, very, very limited quantity that we originally launched the other weekend. Um, believe it or not, this is genuine Cotan Black Nephrite. This in itself is incredibly rare. If I can show you just a little sample of some of 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 pretty much the colours which you can get from this area of China. Oh, there's colours I've there's colours I recognise in there. What about you, Monica? Oh yeah. We've, We've got had all of them. I the think. mutton fat. Yeah. What else have we got? We've got kind of like a spinach green. Beautiful yellows. Stunning honey colours. What looks like almost like an old Mecky colour. Some gorgeous colours there. What can you not see? And by black, I don't mean, you know, burnt chicken skin. I don't mean, oh, is it black, is it grey? I'm talking piano black. Like that is, that is, that is incredible. That is absolutely gorgeous. Do you know something? There's um, um, a friend of mine got a um, got a new car, and uh, it, it, they, they'd ordered it however many years ago. It's kind of one of those. It, it was like a not a Range Rover, but like a, an SUV and um, that kind of thing. And it arrived, and it kind of arrived, and it, and, and it kind of one of those things where you go and collect it, and there's a ribbon on top of it, and all this kind of stuff, and it's just shiny and beautiful, and all that gorgeous stuff. And they they picked it up, and then they came round to our house that weekend, and they said, and they're kind of honking the horn out, it's like, come and have a look, come and have a look, and opened it up, and the smell of new car, and the smell of new leather. What was so beautiful though, is the combination they gone for, they gone for this really gorgeous, kind of almost like a Nappa leather, like a really soft leather. But the wood was so shiny <laughs> and it was called piano wood, like black piano wood. And it's, oh. it's literally this, it's like a, the black, it's like a black patent leather kind of black. These colors are inordinately rare. There's no other colours in here. This is the purest of pure. This is the most solid, most consistent quality you can get. Now, we had these on the other day with guest designer Susie. We've got two sizes available, 61 and 63 mil. You can believe in what you want to believe in. You can be a huge, um, uh, um, uh, hugely... Um, you, you, you can be a huge advocate for uh, the supposed properties that certain gemstones have. You can maybe not believe in it whatsoever. And what, whatever you want to do is, is, is totally fine by me. All I can tell you is my own personal experience. Now, I own my own black jade bangle, which Susie gifted to me. God love her. And I don't know what it is, but every time I wear it, I feel, I do feel different. I feel a little bit more invincible. Maybe it's just because yeah. I know I'm wearing my jade bangle. I don't know. But for me, it has made a huge difference. For me, it's made a big difference. Two available. This is our start price. Gosh, I've got a lot of you there. I've got a lot of you there. £2,000. Two available. Four split payments. I think when we're looking at, if we're talking about rarity, rarity of colour, colours that you just don't see, solidness of colour, 
don't forget some of those red jade bangles that we bring you are like 10% red the other you know you know 90% you know white or kind of you know cream which is fine but don't call it red call it bicolored two chances that's it once it's gone it's gone solid piano black cotan jade I've got loads in baskets. One chance remaining, which I believe is the 63 mil, the slightly larger of the two. I've got loads of you there. And it's not your price. I've got a load of you there. Berkshire, Surrey, Somerset. It, oh my gosh. 10 seconds, we're taking that price point down. Manchester, County Durham. I've got Norfolk there as well now. Yours today, here we go. Tremendous, best of luck. I can guarantee, I can guarantee, you are gonna love this, 499, four individual split payments, that's amazing. I've got seven people for the last one. £124.75 on split pay. That's yours. One chance remaining. It could go to any of the seven, eight of you with it in your baskets. Uh, it, it, it's absolutely incredible. We're going to take it away. I, I don't know. Yep. We're going to wait for confirmation. But what I would do, um, call us. Uh, speak to the call centre team. They're going to know how many are available. I, I know that one has gone. I don't know if the other one has. We'll, we'll kind of leave that with you and we'll update you. Are we going to do this one here? Now, I know for a fact that Susie bought this one. Um, this is just incredible. Um, just, to, just, to let every, just to let you know as well, Black Jade, if you believe in the properties of Jade, um, uh, Black Jade is a protective stone. That's why you wear it on your right wrist to protect you from other people's negative energies. Um, which is fantastic, you know, if that's, if that's kind of, maybe if you work in a certain environment, a very stressful environment. We had a message actually a couple of months ago from somebody who had a black jade bangle and they wear it to work because they find the work situation, you know, quite toxic and, you know, some of the people that they work with, they don't like taking all that home with them, so they wear their black jade bangle. And like I say, whether it is, whether it is just placebo, whatever, it doesn't really matter. What matters is how it makes you feel. And if it makes you feel better, it it, does it matter? Yeah. Does it matter whether it's placebo? Does it matter whether it's woo woo? You know, whatever. I I happen to believe in it, and I because I, I, I've got experience with it, and uh, you know that that's that's the only and that's the only thing I get. That's the only thing I can give you is my experience. Ultimately, it affects how you feel. So what you Absolutely. believe is what's going to make you feel a certain way, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Look at this. Now, I know that there are lots of you out there who have oh gosh okay there's there's two types of people who come through and get this there's somebody who comes through to get this because maybe uh they want to wear you know a beautiful bracelet maybe some of the bangles are going to be a little bit uncomfortable for you or they're not going to be the right kind of size for you that's absolutely fine in which case this is a fantastic bracelet it's stretchy you know it's got loads of stretch in it which is fantastic the other type of person who comes through to get this is somebody who looks at that and goes oh that is a two four six eight 10, 12, 14, 16. That's a 17 bead strand of 12 mil genuine black Cotan Jade. I'm going to make that into marker beads for a guru. I'm going to make that into rings. I'm going to make that into protective pendants for my daughter. I'm going to make that into this. Like so it, it, getting this home, cutting it up. Don't worry, you're not, you know, it, it, you do whatever you want with it. Once it's yours, it's yours. You do whatever you like. Shall we match the price of the bangle? Oh my gosh. 499. Now, honestly, that for me is where we should say stop. But unfortunately, I say unfortunately, fortunately for you, that's where we did not stop. Now, I remember we bought these to wear a few days ago and I was flabbergasted at the price. And the only reason I can think of why Dave took it down to this price, but I think because he was going away. He was going away. Literally, straight after the show, he was going away. The price point this actually goes to is criminal. It is ludicrous. 
It bears no relation, and it's just gonna, you know, I'm, go I'm gonna say it again when we bring you the gorgeous pearls in, a f in, in, um, in, in 15 minutes or so. This does not imply value or worth, this price. All this implies is just the fact that Dave was, I don't know, he, he was in a very good mood. He, he, you know, talking about Jem's birthday, he wanted to bring you the best possible deal. He was going away and I'll let you know, whatever. There was a why in the day of the week. I've got no idea because it does not tally up. This does not imply value or worth. This is not what this is. The color that's not even on the chart. It's that rare. There's nothing even vaguely resembling this. Ready? This is obscene. Yeah, yeah, it starts with a one. 199 pounds. Take it away, well done. Literally only a few opportunities available. Literally single figures, congratulations, well done. Hazel, well done to you, my lovely. I've got um, another bid is coming. Oh, wow, bidders from all over. We've got Morag, we've got Laura, we've got David. We've got a load of you coming. Congratulations, well done. Four chances left, three chances left. Oh my gosh, well done. One, nine, nine, four split payments. It's yours today. Go, go, go. 0800, 644, 655. You've got your 30 day money back guarantee. Not that you're going to need it. This is last in stock. I can't. I cannot guarantee we're ever going to get, you know, the, these kind of deals, they're the kind of deals that we want to, you know, that we've got to call them one-off deals, one-off deals, because these are the kind of deals that we only get offered, you know, we literally, do you want this? Oh my gosh, yes, absolutely. Okay, fine, fantastic. These are the kind of deals that are close-out deals, like right place, right time. They've all been very, very, very limited in, in, in quantity which maybe is, you know, but we've been able to buy, we've been in a lucky position where we've been able to buy them. You know, all of them. It's a close out deal. It's a job lot, if you like. It's ridiculous. Well done. Two left at 199. Amazing. I've got seven of you there for the last two. You can fight it out between yourselves. It's yours today. 30 second clock to close. That's amazing. What a gem. What a quality. What a consistency. Deep, rich, that piano black color that piano wood, that it's just glossy, smooth, that grain. We talk sometimes about the grain of jade. You can tell it's not coarse, it's smooth. It's almost like it, it's, it's silk, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Like patent leather, it's just glorious. It's yours today, 199. Incredible, congratulations, well done. We're still waiting on confirmation for one of the bangles. I think it's the, I think it's the 63 mil, yeah, bangle, which is still available. Libby, it looks like you took the 61 mil. Yeah, we've got eight in baskets and I've only got one available. So whether you are uh, maker in Surrey, Angela, I've got Julie, I've got another bidder in Somerset. I've got two more bidders in Greater London. I've got Norfolk as well. And I've got Manchester now as well. I've got one left, 63 mil, one left, it's yours. If you want it, it's 499, incredible. Oh, Amanda, oh, gosh, it could go to you, my love. It could go to you. It could go to you, lovely Amanda in Bristol. Could, oh, it could go to you, my lovely. One left, still available if you want to get it. 63 mil bangle, that is astonishingly beautiful. It, it really is. It really genuinely is. Oh, another bit of Gary. Oh my word. Okay, one left. We're gonna leave it. Leave it to you guys. It, it is. It is. It is amazing. It's just glorious. Well done. Okay. Yeah, we've done the black. Let's do. Did you say what number? Okay. This is amazing. Right. This is a star buy, and this is off. Oh, this is inspired by something I'm going to show you in a couple of seconds. But let's go. Star buy. Do you know, it's something, it's something really special when I can show you a strand of something and I can say this is inspired by this incredible piece and, you know, I can show you a slide and, you know, we can look at it and it's just, uh, this is what it's inspired by. Look at that. Jade necklace, hand carved, white mutton fat, nephrite, certified untreated. Was £5,021.70. They're giving you a grand off that price. I mean, wow. Who does that? I know exactly, Michael, exactly. But look at the size and the shape. Look at the shape of those beads. I 
lovely, aren't they? They're not rounds, are they? They're more of a barrel shape, aren't they? Now, we've been inspired so much by this necklace. We've done multiple strands in this shape. The one, though, that is directly inspired by this is this strand here. Now, I'll be honest with you, ugh, we have got a tiny amount of this strand available today. My advice to you is get it as quickly as you can. I wish, and oh gosh, and you know, I, I, I shouldn't tell you this really. Well, no, I don't, I don't really care. Um, I can't bring you a nine carat gold um, um, uh, clasp. I can't bring that to you. I can't bring you an 18 carat gold clasp. I can't bring you a platinum clasp. Uh, you know, I wish I could. There are certain things that we just can't do. It's, it's, a, it's, it's you know, it's hugely expensive. Um, they're gonna be hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Um, but, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. I would either get a clasp commissioned or go and buy a clasp elsewhere or get a, sil a gold-plated silver clasp. If you don't mind, I can offer you gold-plated silver. That's amazing. You could make jewellery out of this incredible strand. Natural, white, cotan, jade, drums. And you could make a necklace which is near on identical and let's face it i know you know there's value in a nine carat yellow gold clasp i know that yeah brilliant but where's the real value in that piece of jewelry is it in the design is it in the really avant-garde design well no not really it's it's knotted um well it looks like it's not it should be knotted um okay so where's the value then it's all in the mutton fat nephrite yeah Monica, could you do me a big favour? Sure. Could you count how many are on that necklace? Oh no, not this necklace. The, 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 yeah, the, the other one. one, lovely. Would you be able to count how many are on here? And I'm going to well, count how many I'll there are on here. Them, but yeah. um, on this necklace, look at that colour. Look at the purity of tone you're getting there. It's a 57 centimetre strand. I'm going to try not to say numbers out loud because I know it's going to put Monica off. So on my strand, which is 57 centimetres, so it's almost twice the length of the other strands that we do, you are getting close to 120 beads. Yeah, Rupal's already come through, this is fantastic. My advice to you is, if you want to keep this simple as if you've been inspired by that incredible design my advice to you is knot it put a clasp on it wear it go on i think it's 109 109 if i counted correctly yes so on this strand here i think there's about 120 oh right so the, arguably maybe slightly smaller beads here 57 centimeters it's a long strand 57 centimetres, by the way, that is like an over the, that is definitely an over the head necklace. If you do knot this, by the way, every single knot that you put in it is going to <coughs> gently, ever so slightly elongate it. So it yeah. will end up being a considerably longer necklace than this. Look at this price. £4,017. Where's the 36p, Neary? <laughs> well, we've beaten that price, haven't we, by 36p. That's absolutely fantastic. Oh, you're going to let us off. Thanks. RuPaul, well done to you, my lovely. We've let you off the 36p as well. It's jewellery maker. We don't deal in pence. We are mine to market. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. This necklace that we keep showing you has inspired so many strands that we bring you. It's inspired this strand. It's inspired another one of them as well. I've got another ba uh, barrel strand here as well. It's inspired all of these. It's up, look, it's inspired that. Look, all of these are drum shapes and it's inspired by that necklace that we've just been showing you. But this is the closest we've got to the actual necklace. I'll tell you what, shall we go to a quarter of that price? 
999. Amazing. So you could get four of our strands for one of that. Okay, now we're showing off, yeah? Okay, we're not stopping anywhere near there today. Genuine material. Is it white? Yeah. Is it mutton fat? Yeah. Is it nephrite? Yeah. Is it untreated? Yeah. Can I bring you a class to go with it? Absolutely, 100%. Yes, yes, yes. I absolutely can. I absolutely can. You know it. Yeah, brilliant. 20 odd seconds. You're about to see something unbelievable. Literally crazy. For the past two years, people have been bidding on this incredible material. You are looking for a needle in a haystack trying to get this. 299 pounds. Wow. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> 299 pounds for the ultimate material single figure quantity available today it's yours well done 0800 644 655 let's close it up baby that's your deal no 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 Oh, with the black jade art, you're absolutely right. What more could you ask for? <gasps> Poppy, Mariska, well done. We're not done. We're nowhere near our price today. Nowhere near. Surrey, well done. Absolutely fantastic. Single figures available. Eight chances in the world. 30 seconds and we're going to be going even lower. Oh my word. All the way down. Less than 30 seconds now. Congratulations. Well, what a deal. 20 seconds now. Go, 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 go. Oh my word. A tremendous, 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 tremendous deal. Well done. Here we go. 12 seconds. We're taking it even lower. Well done, everybody. Oh my word. To go with the black. The ultimate strand of natural white cotan mutton fat jade. It's yours today. The one that started and ignited a, a lifelong obsession with this gem. 199. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go. Well done. Your interest free split payments are now 49.75 another anonymous bidder coming through marishka if you want to check out now my lovely it's yours today we're down to the final five. Oh my gosh final five opportunities in the world once it's gone it's gone congratulations well done 50 50 57 centimeter strand you're looking at around about 120 on the strand there or thereabouts 165 a cotan. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Julian Tyne and Weir, well done to you as well. That's absolutely terrific, isn't it? You know, with some of the rarest, most valuable material in the world. Yeah. And you were saying it's 120 beads. So Around about, yeah. If you knotted it, you'd have about 120 knots in there. And if we say each knot takes about a millimeter, yeah. uh, then that's going to add 12 centimeters, if my math is correct. So that'll be 57, 60, almost 70 centimetres. Oh and by the time gosh. you add a class, there you go. 70 centimetres, yeah. And that is going to be literally an over-the-head necklace. Yeah, that's absolutely. going to be like your Chanel inspired. That's going to be that necklace that we've just seen. Isn't it? Isn't it yeah. just? Lorraine, Mark, Libby, Julie, Maker, well done. Oh, gosh, there's loads of you there. Well done. Go, 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 go. There it is. That necklace right there, bab. Well done. Lorraine, check out. Mark, check out. Libby, check out. Oh, there you go, everyone. <gasps> well done. These are the last chances we have. Once they are gone, they are gone. Please don't think we're going to be able to bring you, we're going to be able to bring you kind of, uh, you know, buckets more of Kotan Mutton Fat. This is it. This is it. It's so rare. It's so coveted right now. 
and the price for it, the bidding wars which are going on to try and get hold for this material, uh, the bidding wars are ludicrous. There's nothing coming out of Burma. So the world is turning to Guatemala. The world's also turning to China. There's very little of this material coming out. And, and, and of all the boulders, of all the boulders which are taken out of um, uh, uh, the Yellow River, you know, with you know, the jade, uh, I, I beg your pardon, the, uh, the, uh, the nephrite boulders, of the boulders, how much of it is this prized mutton fat material? This is more valuable than gold in the East. It's absolutely incredible. Three thousand dollars an ounce. Uh, this is uh, this is valued at. Um, uh, you know the top top prized uh, quality material. It's yours today. Loads and loads and loads of you with these in baskets. It's absolutely incredible. Three chances left with twelve sitting in baskets. It's yours. Congratulations. Well done, Maureen in Cumbria. Well done to you as well. And when you look at the qualities that's I mean, two left. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. What a deal. Maureen, well done to you as well. Okay. Well done. Two chances remaining. That, by the way, I'm just measuring. I'm just weighing this. That's one and a quarter ounces well. of prized mutton fat material. So it should be, what, 3,700? It should be about 3,000 pounds. We're talking... <laughs> cost you know like 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 you know face value trade chunk not even not carved not made into anything not not carved and you know drilled a chunk of it a boulder of it is worth that much and per course, ounce by the time you carved the beads it was a lot more than that when it was still in absolutely a chunk. Yeah. and that's usable so what does that do to the value amazing gail well done um, astonishing, astonishing material. Wow. Pearls are coming up, baby. Oh gosh, just look at them. Oh, I could look at those all day. All day. What number is it, love? Sorry. Oh. Yeah, now that white has pretty much sold out. This is your only opportunity to get. Gorgeous, gorgeous tones similar to that. The ombre, uh, these are, these are ridiculous. This is one of my favorite strands ever. I wonder, could I get a tall bust please, uh, Dan? A tallish bust. Yes, that would be great. Thanks, love, that one there. Brilliant, thank y'all. Thank you very much. Okay, so historically these strands have been very, very popular. I think they are just so aesthetically pleasing. I just, I love it. Have you seen these before? I haven't, no. Have you not? No, I can't wait for you oh, to turn honestly, it around. <laughs> honestly, you will, you will fall in love with this, genuinely. I, anyone who's never seen this before, I guarantee you will fall in love with this. Look at this. Oh gosh, isn't that beautiful? It's such a perfect graduation, isn't it? The color. <sighs> that for me is poetry in motion. <gasps> That's dawn breaking. I see um, the International Space Station, they see dawn breaking once every like 45 minutes yeah. or something. Something ridiculous yeah. like that. I mean, wow. This is white to graphite gray and every single nuance in between. Yeah. Every single moment. Heather, Kerry, Rupal, oh my gosh. Historically, these have been extraordinarily popular. Ha, be honest, Nira, how many do we have? Six. Do you know, I'm amazed we've got six. Oh, five, sorry, five. RuPaul's taken one. Uh, yeah, well, I'm amazed that we've got six. I'm amazed we've got six. 
I mean, you, oh, I hate being that person of, you know, I, you know, I like to think that I'm quite easygoing about certain things. You do what you want. You, you do what you want. If you break this strand up, I will be, <laughs> I will cry. That graduation has taken somebody hours to achieve. Yeah. Hours. What I love so much about this, Monica, I don't know whether this would sit well with you or not, considering kind of the asymmetry of it. But well, do you know, I was going to say that as soon as you turned it if around. If you do that with it, and you have a different, oh, oh. I really like that. <laughs> I really like but that. But also if you make it into a completely continuous round, you can wear it in different ways, depending totally. on what you're wearing it with. So would you knot it? Yes, I actually did a demo once, well, I can't remember when, once, if you wanted to do a continuous knotted necklace, how you can knot the two ends together. So do you I wouldn't remember that. I think I'm, I don't remember if it was with you or with no. Al. Okay. Well, that would be wonderful. Mm, if somebody wants to know, they can message me after and I'll look it up. But Because yeah. that would be the dream. Yeah, because you can not. And what's and so just... lovely about that, particularly with this strand, yeah. is it's that light to dark, light to dark. You don't, I mean, when you look at that and you look at that, you go, yeah, they're two completely different colours. But when you kind of look at it either like that, and actually it's interesting to see it like that, isn't it? From light and then to dark, you barely notice the change in yeah. the gems, do you? You barely notice the change. I adore it. I genuinely, oh, we're so over allocated. I, I could literally look at this forever. 30 second clock, we're going to take the price point straight down. And that's before I've even kind of harped on and bored everybody about my love of black and white photography. And you've got every single shade of black and white in here. You know, that beautiful bygone era of the most exquisite photographs. And, you know, you know colour photographs are wonderful, but black and white, there's something about the quality of it. The drama, the light, the, 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 the contrasts. Oh, it's just, for me, it's just, it's just poetry. I love it. Maker in Cumbria, Maker in Northamptonshire, Heather in Lancashire, Kerry in Manchester, Heather, Rupal, loads of you there. You're ready. This is your deal. This is amazing. Uh, 249, wow. three chances left. That's it. Two chances. Oh my gosh. Two chances left. Go, 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 go. That's your deal. Amazing, I love it. I genuinely, that for me, the only thing I would do to that is possibly knot it and make it into a continuous yeah. piece. That is the only thing I would do with that. I can't even get my head around how they do that graduation because if you look at each bead, the two next to each other, they're almost identical if you only look at two beads. So how do they get such a fine graduation? I don't know. You know? I don't know. I mean, if you mix that all up, you'd never be able to sort it out again. I've seen, um, I've seen, when I was over in Jaipur years ago, I saw kind of them putting, it was with a strand of possibly tourmaline, putting the different colours of tourmaline together. But there we're talking about pink, yeah, green, blue, you know, talking about all those kind of very clearly defined colours. Here, we're talking about greys, whites, little tiny nuances exactly. of difference. Well, that's it, yeah. I, I assume you probably graduated on a lit white background, maybe. I, I don't know, I'm kind of, kind of almost making that up but that's how you'd color match yeah. and, and color graduate diamonds so yeah i'm thinking maybe the same for this because it's not because you're not talking about colors yeah you're talking about shades and that in itself is very very challenging yeah. i don't know but that would have taken hours yeah i mean even if you've, a professional. Ever, if you've ever had a strand that was mixed up when you tried to graduate you would know how much work and oh gosh absolutely that. and even to somebody who does it for a living who's extraordinarily yeah. good and quick and you know proficient at it that's still going to take. If that takes, if that takes half an hour, I I I I I, I want to know how, because, and also half an hour for each strand, and how many how many hours worth of faceting and and kind of drilling have we got have, have we got here? Each one of these strands collectively has had hours worth of work, hours worth of work poured into it, hours worth, and millions of years of formation. Yes, love. Cotan's gone crazy, yes. We had a message from Julie asking if we had any other Cotan ombre. Oh, what have we got? What is that? Oh. <laughs> T 
10 available. Right, the, oh gosh. Julie, this is for you and anyone else. Um, I can see you there. Uh, star by, let's go. So, oh gosh, I just love this so much. I love this. How many centimetres? 57 centimetres strand. Six mils, they're ombre. And it's, and it's not just, I say just, oh. It's not gray and white, it's colors. It's like, <laughs> It, the matching of this, like the symmetry. Yeah. Do you know what I was? Um, it, this was this was years ago. Five years ago, we were getting our kitchen done. Very exciting, and we wanted a really unusual work surface. And it was this. It wasn't a natural material. It was um, like a. I don't know what, I don't know how to describe it, but it was like a, a composite kind of material. Uh, so it was man-made. And, and I said, oh gosh, do you know what I'd love? I'd love to have, I'd love to have two of those next to each other. And could you glue it together and put a seam down the middle? This is for an island, put it down the middle, you know, put the seam in the middle of the island. And, uh, and you could kind of have like it book matched. Do you know what I mean? Yeah? And I said, what, what on earth do you think? What on earth do you think? No, absolutely not. Every single one, you know, we, there's no way we can book match. There's no way we can get them to look identical. I'm like, well, it's, it's man-made. How, why, why can't you do that? Well, we just can't do it. You know, it's, it's just, you know, not, it's not going to be an option. That's something which is man-made. This is natural and look at what is achievable. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Look at what's achievable with this. So you're getting multiple colours in here. Spring greens, greys, root beer, kind of Coca-Cola colours, which I just love. They're crackly and beautiful. They're just, they're edible. Gorgeous. Look at these colours. White Cotan mutton fats there. These beautiful kind of wasabi greens. Oh my goodness me, I love that. I, I, that is lovely. Every colour, every colour on this palette is in this strand. Oh yeah. Every color there is here. This is where we're starting. Now, I've got a big quantity of this. Well, I say big, I've got 10. Um, just to be really crystal clear with you, 10 is a big quantity for Kotan. This is going to the lowest price of our Cotan showcase today. Well, that sounds amazing. We're gonna do a one minute clock. I need to see you there. This is going to the lowest price of the entire showcase. One minute clock. Now, what would you feel a bit better about splitting this strand up, Monica? What would you do with it, do you reckon? I don't think I would split it up. No. I wouldn't. I because, wouldn't. I mean, it just the colours just flow so beautifully and they all go together so well. I mean, yeah. I, I might take a couple out to make matching earrings or something like that. Yeah. But um, I, would, I would try my best to keep the order that they're in. The only thing I might do is put gold spaces in between some of the sections but but i think that it would interrupt the flow a little bit yeah this this kind of section here where you've got this beautiful blend from that color to that color to that color is so it's so gradual if you put yeah. a great big space to be there it really breaks it it breaks it, it up does. too much and it doesn't let you appreciate the beauty of that transition does it it does yes yeah. i mean even if you because obviously, again, if you knot it, it's going to get much longer. So if you wanted to take Good a shout. section out for a bracelet, oh. I'm pretty sure you'd have enough 
in there for that as well. Then I, 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 I would still so, yeah. try to take out like the center section at the back or something like that to keep That's the nice symmetry idea. on both sides. Um, we're at 299. Did you say we're halving the price? No, no, we're not. We're half. We are. One four nine. Mm. I instantly regretted that. I, I thought we were talking about something else, and I was thinking, "There's no way we could be halving." <laughs> halving the price. One four nine for this strand of genuine natural ombre cotan, six mil rounds in a fifty-seven centimeter strand. A cotan mala. Mm. Well, that's a ridiculous idea. That's an absolutely ridiculous idea. Eight chances available. Gale in South Yorkshire, Mark in Cheshire, Maker in Cumbria. May oh my gosh, yeah, take it, well done. Six chances. I wanna get amongst it. I've gotta put it on my, on my wrist. I, I absolutely, I love it. That as a bracelet, oh yeah, mama. That is, and that's going to suit anyone, isn't it? You see, even if you used it for a multi-strand bracelet, I would still keep the order of the beads because yeah. there's, there's that beautiful flow. Isn't there the just? Colours. Look at these colours. They're almost blues, aren't they? Yeah. And, and, and it's interesting, actually, having I'm just looking, just because it's, um, it's on the screen below me. The, the, um, Sorry, the slide I'm looking at there with all of the colours of the Kotan material there. Yeah, there's no black there. But all the colours you're getting there are on this strand and more. And there's more on this strand, obviously. But all the colours you're getting there are on this strand. With even more. That's amazing. One, four, nine. Congratulations. Three left. Well done. Okay, we have got coming up next. Uh, we're gonna go to a very, very quick break. When we come back, what Elle described as the best pearls we have ever had on Jewelry Maker are, uh, oh, are coming your way. I have to say, I'm inclined to agree with her. These are everything from the box they, I know they don't look real because they're that good. They are that good, they don't look real. Forget your Klein pearls. Forget, you know, some of the b most incredible pearls in the world. These are the most awesome, awesome, awesome quality, life-defining quality. Coming up after the break and the most amazing masterclass with Monica with the most gorgeous cup chain as well. We'll see you in a couple of seconds. <laughs> Did you know that you can shop for pre-show deals on Jewelry Maker? Head over to jewelrymaker.com every day between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Click on Watch Live. Scroll down for brilliant products, last of stock items and amazing deals. But these deals are only available for one hour and once they're gone, they're gone. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi Jewelry Makers, Monica here. I'm back in the studio on Thursday, so I'll quickly show you what we've got coming up in the project hours. And since October is nearly upon us, in the nine o'clock hour, we're going to be uh, celebrating Tourmaline, which is October's birthstone. So this little necklace that you've got here uh, is what I'm going to be doing the instructions for. Um, it's all made of tourmaline and a few little seed beads in there as well. Um, that's in the nine o'clock. And we've got red tourmaline, we've got pink tourmaline, we've got black tourmaline. So uh, it's all about tourmaline. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got these rings coming up, right, which are shell pearl and cup chain. Uh, I can't remember the last time I had cup chain in any of my projects. And they also include adjustable rings, which is what they're attached to. Um, that's in the 12 o'clock hour. That's on Thursday on the 26th. Hope you can all join us with Carol and the rest of the team. See you then. Hi, jewelry makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you this Friday, Friday the 27th. We've got some beautiful projects in store for you, some really stunning pieces. So at nine o'clock, we have Perfection. We have two luscious strands in store for you. Um, natural silver pearls, great size, really easy to work with. Uh, but some, we've also got some natural purple Edison pearls. 
I've never worked with pearls like this before, so they're a totally different caliber. They're absolutely stunning. Can't wait to share them with you. Uh, and then at 12 o'clock, we've got some great Christmas makes for you. So they're they come with this beautiful ombre stack of colours and I'm going to show you how to make them blend into each other seamlessly. Um, and, but they also come with these really cool long bar crimps that, that they're so cool um, and some lovely clamshells too. And when you work with uh, the new pliers, the new crimping pliers that Jewelry Maker have got in, um, they crimp like butter and leave the perfect indentation on these bars. They're really nifty great way of finishing off tail ends and things um so i can't wait to share those with you i hope you can join me on friday and i will see you there I feel so privileged to be able to bring you these today. I feel so, so, so privileged. Um, I, oh my word, Pearl, oh, yeah. This is something very, very, very special indeed, isn't it? This really is genuinely off the scale special. Um, Elle had the privilege of launching these the other day and she said that they are the, uh, her favorite strand of pearls that we've ever, had on jewelry maker aren't we lucky to be able to bring you any pearls and i and i have to say years ago um 12 years ago or so the pearls that we bought to you were absolutely beautiful we've always had really really great quality pearls um pearls like this pearls like this didn't even exist back then not even you know and maybe kind of one or two strands in the world but pearls like this regularly you know did not did not exist it's the uh it's the growth and the development of things like the edison pearls and the freshwater cultured pearl market has has literally it's taken off into it, it's been it's become stratospheric um uh, uh uh over the last couple of years for lots of different reasons um the lack of availability of Akoyas, the lack of availability of Saucy, the lack of availability of Tahitian um, means that pearls like this are being sold domestically. And uh, we've had from we've had uh, information from guest designer Mark about his local uh, town where he lives in Whitney, the you know a local jeweler that specialises in pearls, and they're they're asking for you, to, they're asking to buy your pearls back. You know, we will buy your pearls. You know, like how you get jewellers who buy, you know, uh, um, uh, gold and silver. And they, uh, you know, we want your scrap gold and silver and we'll give you money for it. You know, you've got jewellers now asking for pearls because they can't get hold of it. And to not be able to get hold of something like pearls is, is amazing. It, it really is very, very worrying indeed. I'll be honest with you. I think, I think, you know, and, and, and if I'm, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I think we will always be able to bring you pearls. I don't think there'll ever be a time when we can't bring you pearls. However, I think the way in which we will bring you pearls will be very different because strands like this, these are going to become a thing of the past. They're, they're going to become a thing of the past. They, they almost definitely will become a thing of the past. 
We noticed a big difference when we went to uh, the Hong Kong Gem Show last year and Dave met a uh, one of our uh, Pearl um, uh, uh, contacts out there and he was finding that pearls were being so pearls that historically have been sold on 38 centimeter strands were now either being sold in little 10 centimeter strands or even more worrying they were being sold in as individual pearls pearls like this do not come along every day pearls like this are once in a lifetime pearls they are not the norm and I, I i know i say that a lot but these pearls are not the norm what kind of pearls do you expect to see on the high street potato pearls pearl nuggets what kind of prices do you expect to see you know base level you know hundreds of pounds upwards what about pre-loved pearls what about pearls in antique shops oh high hundreds, thousands, you know, whatever it might be. Um, I've got a strand inside this box, which is incredible. Five have already been allocated. How many do we have? 25? Oh my gosh, so less than 20 available already. Okay, fine. Um, Guest designer Deb went to a jeweler in York and this is what she saw. Earrings, 850 pounds. Yep, yeah, they're gonna be set with 18 karat gold probably. What looked like diamonds, fine, whatever. They're 850 pounds. Pendant, 900 pounds. Gorgeous earrings and pendant set. £1,750. Gosh, they're great pearls, aren't they? The pearl necklace next to it, they are immense. £5,450. Wow! And again, I'll say it, those pearls are not the norm. They are the kind of pearls which a jeweller might have in their window. They might have in their window for however many months, maybe a couple of years or whatever, and they will have one strand like that maybe in their lifetime. You know, we get very, very complacent here at Jewelry Maker. I bought you last in stock pearls at the end of the nine o'clock hour of some of the most incredible pearls I've ever seen. And those pearls are not the norm. This is not what we normally come across in the marketplace in, on the high streets. So how come we've got these then? Well, there's a couple of really good reasons for that. We've been buying pearls now for almost a decade and a half. So we're really good at it. And I have to say, we are really good at it. If there was one gemstone that I had to say illustrated how good jewelry maker is at buying, it would be pearls. More than any other gem that we bring you, it would be pearls. Because our line of communication with our pearl dealers and with the pearl farms is very, very, uh, it's very, very clear. What we want is very, very clear. We won't take fools uh, likely we, we do not accept any old pearl we do not accept any rubbish and we've been offered substandard pearls in the past we don't deal with those pearl dealers anymore that that is just not we're not into that at all um so those relationships that we've got have been forged over the last decade or so and it was a while ago, but it, I think it was about four years ago, we actually visited um, some of the pearl farms in China. Now that's quite unusual, um, uh, quite an unusual thing to do, but it was a really important thing so that we could understand how pearls are cultured, what the pearl farms um, are like, where they were coming from, what the oysters looked like, and you know, what the process was. And it's, a, it's, an, it's an unusual thing to do because these pearl farms tend to be very, very isolated. They tend to be in really remote regions of the Far East in uh, mainland China. Um, and a lot of these pearl farms, especially uh, the Edison pearl farms, of which I believe there's only two, they've got armed guards outside them. It is secret. You are not getting in there. You are not getting in there. You certainly can't take photographs in there. You know, they do not want to know that they do not want anybody outside of those pearl farms to know the recipe that I say the recipe, the, uh, the process involved with uh, culturing Edison pearls. Because if everybody knew it, everybody would be doing it. But 
Also something to remember is there aren't thousands of pearl farms out there. There's probably less than a hundred. So the pearl farms that we get our pearls from, in some respects are gonna be, in, in, in some cases are gonna be the same pearl farms that say Yoko London pearls get their pearls from. There's different grades of pearls, there's different qualities of pearls. Don't get me wrong, there's rubbish and then there's, there's pearls like we've got today. Are you ready to see these pearls? They're exquisite. Oh my gosh. Just like that. They just hit you already, don't they? You can't even see them fully. You don't need to. Because they're already above the ridge of the box. These are giant. 11 to 14 mil. Is that big? Is that, is that, what's that, what, is it worth something? What is that? Okay. So size wise. So there are loads of different ways in which you can value your pearls. There are certain qualities though that are really important to take into consideration. First one being size. Size, anything over seven mil, seven mil or over is classed as a very rare pearl. Anything which is 10 mil or over is exceptionally rare. These pearls are 11 to 14 mil. The allure and price of pearls are influenced by their shape and size. Round pearls are rare. They, they are highly sought after because of their symmetrical and attractive. Additionally, large pearls command a premium price. They take more time to develop and therefore are considered rarer. These pearls are 11 to 14. They don't even hit the gauge on that, on that thing there, on, on, the, on the slide. They don't even hit that gauge. As far as size is concerned, yeah. They are absolute head of the game. Luster. When it comes to determining how beautiful or valuable a pearl is, one characteristic considered is luster. This refers to how well the gem reflects the light. Fine pearls have a wonderful shine that is almost like looking in a mirror when the light hits them. It sparkles and shimmers enchantingly. Pearls like this are worth more money than those without such luster. So a pearl which is rubbish, which has got terrible nacre it's because it's all to do with the thickness of the nacre if it's got really thin uh, nacre on it um uh which is flaky it will look like a piece of paper it won't have there's no luster on there there's no shine there's no you know there's nothing like that coming from this piece of paper so what do we do how do we tell if these pearls are amazing you take them and you put them on something which is flat and white these should shine Oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that, absolutely. The light looks like it's coming from within the pearl, doesn't it? The luster on the recording, the luster you can see here. I can see individual lights reflected in the, lust, in the surface of these pearls. They are dreamy, aren't they? I mean, if you look at the piece of paper just in front of the pearls, you can see on the piece of paper the, yeah. the light from the pearl reflecting yeah. back onto the piece of paper. This little bit of white there yeah, and there. Exactly. It's like a little exactly. bump, isn't it? Like a little yeah. white, like a scallop almost. You're absolutely right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's incredible. 13 seconds. Let's get it under a thousand pounds. So we've ascertained size, shape, you want a round pearl, if you're after a round pearl, the rounder the better. If you're after a Baroque, it doesn't matter about shape. The ones that really matter, the ones, the, 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 the quality that really matters more than any of the other qualities is luster. It doesn't matter if it's a, if it's a seed pearl, it's gonna be tiny. But if the luster's great, boom. It doesn't matter what size the pearl is. These are 11 to 14 mil. The luster is exquisite. The size is epic. The shape is rounder than any circle I could draw. So it's perfect, yeah? Orient, that glow, that life, that energy. It's just exquisite.
They are literally top of the class. And we're nowhere near done. We're at 999. Now, I mean, we've had so many messages from you over the last few months, you know, lovely messages from our customers saying, oh, I bought a strand of pearls from Jewelry Maker. I took them into a local jeweler. Um, let's say the strand of pearls cost you 149. Took them into a local jeweler to just to buy a clasp uh, for the strand and they instantly offered me 3,000 pounds. Was it 3,000? It was, it was 3,000 pounds, wasn't it? And it cost them 149. I mean, that is just, that is an income you've just made there. If you sell yeah. those on, that's it. That's an income. If you do that a few times a year, that is like yeah. all your birthday, Christmases, all those kind of presents bought. Yeah? Why don't we go lower? 499. Look at that. Oh my gosh, they are, oh, they're amazing. These are astonishing quality pearls. Look at that. Angela, Linda, Peter, Anna, Therese, Valerie, Dorothy, Maker. Loads of you there. Before we go to our final price point, yeah, let's read those valuations. Um, I mean, this is obviously about a different strand of pearls, but it's, you know, a different, you know, but, but, but it kind of gives you a good idea. This is from Tracy. Oh no, let's read Jane's first if I can, lovely. So this is from lovely Jane in Lancashire. And I know that they won't mind me showing this. Um, uh, took my metallic pearls uh, to a jeweler to find a gold clasp. They offered me, oh, it was two and a half. They offered me two and a half thousand pounds for them. No deal, they're mine. She paid 149 pounds for them. Wow. So that is a, I mean, a morning. Like Jane, I took a strand of Baroque pearls to a jeweler to be valued and they offered me 3,000 pounds for them. I said no, as I love them too much, I paid 149 pounds for them. <laughs> She paid 149 pounds. That's a profit of 2,850 pounds. <laughs> yeah. That's What else is gonna give you that kind of a return? Now I'm not saying everybody's gonna do that. I'm not saying all jewelers are gonna do that. But if jewelers are finding it so hard to get hold of genuine freshwater culture pearls, you might be their only outlet to buy pearls. Helen yeah. Joanne, well done. Angela, well done. 45 seconds, we're taking the price point down to your final price today. The most sensational strand. If it's size, shape, impact, quality, next level, estate, heirloom pearls you are looking for, then look no further. These are yours today in 20 seconds, your final, the size, look at the quality. Look at the, the 14 mil. Are you ready? All the way down. Barnsley, Warwickshire, Nottinghamshire, Merseyside, Devon, the baskets are absolutely rammed. Uh, Derbyshire, Yorkshire, Hampshire. Ready? What? <laughs> the three, three, four, nine. Three hundred and forty nine pounds. Oh my gosh. On your strand, Deborah, go. On your strand, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight, thirty, thirty two. Thirty two on the strand. You get, I'm not being funny. The pearls we're looking, yeah, to how much? Ten pound ninety a pearl. £10.90 <coughs> £10. a pearl. You look at that suite of jewellery that we've just shown you there. That's £850 for the earrings. That's £900 for the pendant. God. Not being funny. Beautiful pearls, gorgeous jewellery. Our pearls are a hell of a lot bigger than theirs. Yeah? So you can't imagine. I mean, even, if, even if you've sold each one of those pearls for £400 each, you know, in a pendant, that is a profit of £390. Per, 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 £390. That's a profit of £39. That is... Um, yeah, three, uh, 39 pounds a pearl. That's absolutely incredible. The quality, sorry, 390 pounds per pearl. That's absolutely amazing. Your deal today, Helen, Joanne, Deborah, Therese, Valerie, Dorothy, Angela, Linda, Peter, Anna. Go, 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 go. What an opportunity for you today. That is amazing. I can imagine each one of these in a pendant for kind of 400 pounds. Oh, Can't absolutely, you? absolutely. And when you had it around your neck, I was thinking, before Jewelry Maker came along, because obviously Jewelry Maker spoiled us with pearl prices. Yeah. 
Uh, before jewelry maker, this would be a strand or a necklace that you would look at on somebody and say, I'm never going to be able to own a strand of pearls like but that. But this is what like uh, guest designer Deb always says, jewelry maker gives you the chance to make jewelry you wouldn't be able to afford to buy anywhere Absolutely. else. Absolutely, because that necklace anywhere else would be eight, 10, 12,000 pounds. Oh, it pounds. would be five figures. Absolutely, you know. 10, 12,000 pounds with a size and a quality like this, which is 11 to 14 mil. And please don't think that by us taking this down to three, four, nine, that that is the price point that it's worth. Our price do not imply value or worth at all. That is your chance today. Deborah, Helen, Joanne, Valerie, Dorothy's got two in a basket. Devon's got two in a basket. Seven chances left. Well done, everybody who's come through to get that. That is your deal today. Unbelievable opportunity. Oh my gosh. Right. Now for something completely different. Oh my gosh, these are going to fly. Masterclass coming up now. Shell Pearl with Cup Chain. See you in a sec. Amazing, hey? Suddenly I'm very short. In <laughs> 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 the nine o'clock hour, I was taller than you. <laughs> Wait, why didn't you even realise that? There we go. Oh, That's you. it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, Monica, these projects are absolutely beautiful. I love them. Oh, so did I. And do you know, I could have made probably five times as much jewellery. Oh, I bet. Uh, from all the three projects. We were looking at these projects this morning and uh, we were all absolutely just enamoured with them. They're so statementy, they're so beautiful. I love all these rings. Oh, they're just, I love a ring because it means that you get to see it all the time. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just absolutely. lovely. Selfish jewellery. I love it. <laughs> so we've got three projects to choose from. We've got blue and white, peacock and, per peacock and uh, lavender and then like a coffee and pink. It's all absolutely beautiful. That's quite peachy actually, isn't it? It is peachy actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah. These are gorgeous pieces, really. Oh, that's so lovely, I love that. Which project are we gonna start with, Neri? What do you reckon? Which one do you reckon Ooh. our customers are gonna love the most? That? Well, yeah, because that one's got three colours and the others have got two. So let's go with that one. Yeah, shall we? Okay, brilliant. We're going to start off with the pink and peacock, kind of like lavender and peacock, I'd say. Right, so you get two strands of shell pearl here. The one strand has got beautiful kind of lavender pinks on it. The other strand has got the most beautiful blues and then these kind of peacock colours as well, like yes. a Tahitian almost. It is, yes. Almost a, almost a hematite colour. Yeah. Gunmetal maybe. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Had to have these kits with the cup chain. Lovely stuff and beautiful designs, Monica. I know, Janet, aren't oh, they beautiful? They're, they're, they're really, really, really lovely. Now, the cup chain, let's talk about this. We've not bought you cup chain this year. I've not seen cup chain this year. Um, uh, it's, it's not been in a project at all. You get a metre of cup chain. What is cup chain, Monica, for those people who don't know? Well, um, it kind of does what it says on the tin. So you've got little metal cups and you've got little crystals that are set in the cups and then they're kind of claw set into the chain. Mm -hmm. So as individual links, they're an individual claw set crystal and they're yeah. joined by these little, um, I guess, links which are in the base of the little cups. Yeah. So you can make with them all sorts of different pieces. It uh, goes so a mean, long way, doesn't it? It does. I mean, the only pieces, or oh, I can't remember which pieces I made last. I think one of the dangles on the necklace yeah. And the dangly earrings here came from my second piece of cup chain. All of the rest was from one. Oh, that's one piece amazing. Of cup so chain. it does go a long, long way. Um, the really cup does. chain is wonderful. Uh, you know, it, it was a, an item that we used to get from Swarovski, and it's just beautiful, beautiful stuff. And it gives you the most gorgeous, kind of glamorous look. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Look, it's there just on the back of my wrist like that. It's just. It's just wonderful. I love it. It's a meter in total that you're going to be getting here. And then two strands of your shell pearl. You then get um, 
rings. Now these are these are so 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 lovely. You get three rings, don't you? Yes. Silver plated base metal, and you get a plain ring, which is here. You can see it's not soldered at the back, so whatever size you want to mold that to that's going to work beautifully isn't it? It is it's adjustable and it's and what I also liked about them is that sometimes you get adjustable rings that are too easy to close and open mm. whereas these are quite solid so you obviously you can still open oh. them and close them to change the size but it's going to stay that size once you brilliant you've, once you've oh, changed it. That's great to know you get this lovely kind of twisted one and a zigzag version as well they're really lovely aren't they? Oh my gosh, I love them. I think that these just I mean just just these on their own. You oh, don't yeah. necessarily need to put anything with them at all, but they're just they're just really really lovely pieces, aren't they? Gorgeous to wear. Very comfortable. And as you say, that that kind of closure, it, it's kind of hidden almost. So the yes. great thing about that is it's going to it's going to that size that you use um, sorry, that size that you make is going to hold beautifully. So three rings You've got your shell pearls, your two strands of shell pearls with your three colours going through them, and you've got your cup chain. Oh, and by the way, you've also got, oh my gosh, a uh, an instruction booklet as well. It's the Crystal Flower Ring Instruction Booklet with 35 steps. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> 35 steps of instructions in Monica. Thank you so much. Gosh, that's a lot of work you've put into this amazing absolutely brilliant so 35 steps of instructions going all the way through already by the way this project is absolutely flying i think it's it's one of those projects isn't it where you know you're going to have loads left over yeah you've got products in here that we haven't bought to wear for an absolute age you know the cup chain great to see such great quality um shell pearl there's loads of instructions and of course the rings are really beautiful as well so you know if there's it, it, it's a win-win situation what if i was to tell you today i've got 150 of this project it's a big quantity project big 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 quantity project okay here we go starting off under 50 pounds oh hello those rings are amazing dan's just got a lovely shot of them aren't they gorgeous they look better when it's on, on a finger though so oh, i'm sure they do, do you know, i'm gonna take some of them off <laughs> yeah we've had cup chain that we've sold on its own before yeah. a meter of cup chain for kind of you know 50 pounds before you're getting all of this today for way, 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 way under fifty Ooh, pounds. Oh my like gosh! This? Oh, I love. I just love them all. I want, I want to put them all on. <laughs> I, I thought, gosh, they're gorgeous. Oh, that one's beautiful as well. Oh, I love them all. Do you know what? <laughs> look at them. Are they beautiful? <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at the quad. Look at the sparkle. Oh my gosh! I love them. Twenty nine ninety nine. Oh my god. No way. That's the cup chain. That's the two lots of shell pearl. That's the 35 step instruction booklet and the rings as well. I love that. They are really, really gorgeous, aren't they? Are they easy enough to make? Oh, yeah. I mean, really? I've, I've put beginner level and I've put 40 minutes to make a ring. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Pauline Mua, well done to you. Sorry, say again, Neri. How many rings can you make from one project? How many rings? Project? Well, let me just think how many. It's a 38 centimeter strands. Yeah, two 38 centimeter strands of shell pearl. So. Oh, I love them. Make a big brooch, couldn't you? Love so how many, how many pearls would you have on one strand? Uh, let's have a look. Let's on see. one strand, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Oh, gosh. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 51. 50. So I've got a hun about 100 and you need six for a ring. So what, that's 15, 16 rings, 16 rings. Oh my gosh. Obviously you've got three of the ring bases in there, but you can use any ring base. You can yeah, make your own course. ring bases as well from oh wire. Oh my gosh. So you can, yeah, make you can 15, absolutely make your own ring bases, no problem rings. at all. That'd be amazing. That's if you just made rings. I mean, obviously you can make a load of other things. Yes. Um, oh, loads in baskets. That's, that's absolutely amazing. I love it. No, that is not what. That's not the price. Oh, no gosh. way! <laughs> oh my gosh! I genuinely thought that was the deal. Oh my gosh! How can that not be the price? That cup chain is something which cost has cost us over the years. It's cost us so. Oh, I'm not sure I've got that the right way. Up. Cost us so much money. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. A meter of your cup chain, two strands of your shell pearl, and you've got your um, 
and you've got all of your uh, uh, your shelpo, your cup chain, and you've got your ring blanks, and you've got all of your instructions as well. Twenty four ninety nine. That is absolutely amazing. I love that. Incredible. Well done, Karen, Jan, Susan, make it. Well done. Go, 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 go. Loads of you there. Lucy, Heather, well done to you as well. Absolutely droves of you coming through. That is tremendous. Absolutely amazing. I love it. Yeah, we want... Catherine, well done to you. We want... No, we want to take it under £20. If you want to be able... Okay, so I think that the thing... Neary's thinking is... All of these projects are so beautiful. Wouldn't it be lovely to mix them all together? Yes. What price would we have to go to so you could afford to get all three kits today? All three projects. Shall we break that barrier? We've got to see you there on the phone. If you're there and we can see you there and you're showing us that you want this project for less than 20, for under 20 pounds, then honestly, just, just, just go for it. Carol, Kimberly, June, Heather, Karen. Oh my gosh, there's loads of you there. Well done. Go, go, go. I just love that quality. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> stunning, stunning, stunning jewellery. Just so, it's so much fun. It's so royal and regal and statementy. And it's using materials we haven't seen for an absolute age. Well done. Here we go, my lovelies. Barbara, Maker, well done. 30 seconds, we're gonna get it down even though a few today, we're gonna take it below 20 pounds. Here we go, my loves. Well done, Warwickshire. Well done, Maker in Fife, Carol in Norfolk, Kimberley in Durham as well. Buckinghamshire's there. Argyll and Butte, the Isle of Wight, Hertfordshire, Northamptonshire. Well done to you. What a treat. Oh, look at those rings. Don't they look gorgeous? They really, and I'd love to see a big brooch made with these. Oh yes, because obviously you can still add around the outside. Of course you can. If you wanted to make it bigger. Oh, for sure. And I mean, the the, basically what I've done in the instructions is I've shown you how you can use the components mm. so you can use them in I mean all the other pieces are made uh -huh. I've used pretty much the same techniques that you've got in the instructions yeah there you go ready steady that's amazing Neary 20 pounds go for it well Ooh. done five Warwickshire Barbara oh there's loads of you there maker in Holland well done to you as well this is brilliant absolutely fantastic well done go 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 you're loving it it's brilliant well done No, did we really? In when, sorry, 20, 2017, we did a meter of Swarovski cup chain for 30 quid. Yeah, I, I was going to say, just the cup chain is worth 20 pounds, I would say. I mean, I know this isn't Swarovski because obviously Swarovski doesn't do of course. the components anymore, but you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. No, absolutely no way. But then you get your two strands of shell pearl, your three ring blanks and your 35 step instruction booklet for free absolutely amazing sharon marcia lynn sophie karen marion make a kimberly it, it, it's, it's gone absolutely nuts well done and uh yeah to it to even so, so so basically yeah we used to get all of our kind of crystal from sarovsky they don't make components anymore uh for whatever reason i think it's a really big mistake but 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 they don't make components anymore so there's no more cup chain there's no more of your uh oh gosh you know your beautiful uh, monties and your rivalies and things like that you know really lovely um, foil backed pieces, the pieces that were made in collaboration with designers around the world, you know, none, none of that anymore. Um, that's a real shame, I think. Uh, and it's a big mistake, I think. Um, so it means getting cup chain in whatever guise it might be, you know, whether it's, you know, but, you know, whoever we get it from, you know, whatever kind of crystal it is. It's impossible to tell the difference between this and the Swarovski uh, first off, but it makes it, it makes it even harder to get for us to get hold of this because of course we used to go through um, Swarovski and now we can't because they don't create these things anymore. They don't commission these things anymore. 20 pounds for you today, well done. Karen, Lynn, Patricia, Sophie, Marion, well done. Loads and loads and loads of you there. Congratulations, well done. Oh my gosh. What do you mean? Oh no. <laughs> okay, can I just say, <laughs> we've got 25 minutes left on show. Do yourself a favor, get all three projects ahead of time. Don't, don't, please don't leave it for me 
to tell you all about the projects and you know the second kit's got blue and white the third kit's got pink and uh, like a, a, a like a peach and a beautiful kind of coffee color that's the only difference between the three projects that is it get the other two projects as well because i can imagine they're probably going to be the same price <laughs> amazing i mean if there's any left at the end i'm getting another one of each would not surprise me because, at all because Monica. shelf obviously i'm not likely to make more rings because i've made seven rings already <laughs> <laughs> but i mean shelf pearl you will always use shelf pearl uh, the rings, as you said, are great on their own, but you can yeah. attach anything you like to the ring. Absolutely. And then cup chain, we almost never have cup, ch Absolutely. cup chain anymore. We so. haven't had cup chain this year. I think the only time we've seen it maybe is a, like, you know, we've had opportunities of like three or four available and it's been, you know, last of stock. 1999, absolutely tremendous. We want every single one of you watching to get this project. We need to be over allocated before we can do this. If we're not over allocated, we won't do it. Genuinely, 100 have gone, we've got 50 left. We wanna put, a, we wanna put some money back in your pocket. And it's not gonna be a couple of coins, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. 19.99 is not your price. Ready? Hello everyone. Hello. Oh my gosh. 15 pounds. <laughs> Could you get the two strands of shell pearls for that price? Probably not, no. But also I would sell one of the rings for that price. And I used about two centimeters of the cup chain and I'd six sell pearls. It for more than I don't know. I don't, Monica. I think no. I'd sell that more. for more than fifteen pounds. I'd sell that ring for more than fifty. But, I'd sell that minimum twenty pounds. But even if you did sell it for fifteen pounds, that little bit will pay for the whole kit. Absolutely, one hundred percent. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Go, 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 go. Look at that with that. Look at that with that. It's all just gorgeous. This is bridal. This is mother of the bride. This is wedding party. This is absolutely premium. And it's some of the best quality, some of the best quality shell pearl I've ever seen. Minute to close. I know. It, 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 it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. I love these. Pro oh gosh, that colour. That, that's quite vintagey colours, isn't really? it? Really? It two? is, isn't it? Look at these gorgeous colours together. This is quite vintage, as Monica quite rightly says. Yeah, that, well, yeah that's crazy, isn't it? All three projects today for under 50 quid. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> You could just make a load of those, sew them onto a cardigan, maybe, or onto your wedding shoes, or oh, yes. you know, they're so bridal. They're just that could be a are you on a, a hairband. Hair band. A oh bit. yes. Oh. oh. My girls don't wear anything like that anymore. Shame. Or oh, somebody earlier said when you do like a peyote uh, beaded box to put it on. Top. Oh yes, that's a oh, lovely that idea. Nice. I like that. Yeah, well done. Fifteen seconds for taking the details away. Well done. That's absolutely brilliant. Well done. What a what a deal. You're right, Neary. Are we going to do the coffee one next? Oh, yes. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, let's do it because it is a gorgeous project, uh, this next one. Still got loads of you coming through and you're in a queue. Whilst you're there, buy them all. Do yourself a favour and buy them all. I mean, it's oh. hard to decide which is my favourite, but as you say, I would definitely mix and match some of them. Yes. These colours... Monica, oh my gosh. Yeah. So, pink and taupe or coffee, maybe? Coffee or like, it's just, oh, it just looks, it's like a minky, I think it's like an oyster colour almost, isn't yes. it? Look at this, look at that, look at that, look at that. That cup chain is just delightful. And you know what's it? interesting with these colours? Um, if you look at the ring I made in this colour, I used, I, I, oh, it's this one here. This one, yeah. I added a few silver seed beads. Uh, I'll show you why in a minute. And when you put the silver next to that coffee colour, it makes them look almost gold. Like a... Oh, gosh, it does! Is it more of a gold? What, here? Thing. And uh, under the cup chain. Yeah. Can you see it looks it doesn't look as silver. No, it doesn't, you're right. 
Gosh, that's interesting. Which is interesting, yes. That's I really was quite surprised by that because at first I was thinking, will the silver go with the with the coffee? But actually, it absolutely does. It does, and 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 then some, doesn't it? Um, right, uh, price point on this. Oh gosh, look at everyone coming through. Everyone's loving this. Ravinda, Olivia, Maker, Mary, uh, Catherine, Pamela, Heather, Pamela. Do you know what? As well, um, uh, my lovely friend who used to work here. She, she's she's. Um, I don't know where she went. I think she works for ITV now. Maybe one of the kind of terrestrial channels. Uh, Tabs. Her her sister got married. And it was, and it was a, an Indian wedding, and, and it and it was literally day after day after day. You know what it's like. It's just incredible. So loads of different yes. outfits, all that kind of stuff. If you are going to be going to one of those weddings where you've got seven or eight different outfits over a week, you know who can afford to buy all of that kind of jewelry. This is going to be such a great way oh, to absolutely. make affordable kind of jewelry, which gives you the the impact and the look, but is really really easy on the budget. Really easy yeah. on the pocket. Um, Fourteen ninety nine. Oh my gosh, she's gone right down straight away. That's amazing, Neary. Fifteen quid. Go 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 go. Well done. Five Derbyshire, Northamptonshire, Nottinghamshire, Greater London. Amazing. Can't believe it. Uh, says Ros. Uh, thanks, Jay. I know. Isn't it brilliant, Ros? Just for the cup chain. That's amazing. Just for I mean, the cup chain. You break it down into three components: two strands of shell pearls, the cup chain. We'll take the rings as one component, and yeah. the instructions. That's three pounds per component. Yeah, that's unbelievable. <laughs> that's genuinely unbelievable. And you said, Monica, and I suppose, you know, you've used this cup chain, you've used the Swarovski cup chain before as well. You literally can't tell the difference, can you? No, no. I mean, it's kind of like, I guess, when we sell gemstones and somebody like um, Christian Dior or somebody like that sells the same gemstones. Yes. Um, and you can't tell the difference a lot of what the, the price that they put on it is for the branding. Of course it is, yeah. You know, and rightly you, so, it's an established brand, it's fantastic. Exactly, so you, you can get the same quality, we get the same quality gemstones, yep. but we don't put on the branding pricing. Yes, yes. So I guess it's the same with things like the Swarovski chains. And, I suppose and, and so, like it would so, be sensible to I mean, assume I that. I mean, possibly with a magnifying glass or a microscope, you might be able to tell yes. the difference, but, but... who's gonna do that? Who's, so, no. who's sad enough to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Michael, okay, right, here we go. So uh, blue and white, uh, this is, this this is absolutely gorgeous. Do you know what I'm thinking of with these, those beautiful uh, porcelain bees we had earlier on? Oh, yes. Wouldn't that look lovely? And, and also, can I just say as well, these are beautiful shell pearl projects. If you want to use this cup chain for something completely different, if you've got something else in mind for this, don't don't worry about it. You, you do whatever you want with it. You use it in a, in a completely different way. That, at least have a go with the cup chain and making something like that because that is and that's literally just glued on isn't it is it glued no on? stitched on oh, it's stitched on oh yes. my gosh you're show kidding you me i'm gonna show you that in a second no are you really yeah. oh my gosh uh make that then make that that's stitched on it is yes oh you're a legend monica there i am is it glued on is it glued on no it's stitched on <laughs> she's literally i did I, use a bit of glue in the ring i swear but she's supernatural this woman and with this this blue kit you can actually see because i made the necklace i made that earring that you're looking at now oh i made the necklace i made the bracelet i made two rings and i still had that much left over oh she's got all that left over everyone so yeah two rings necklace earrings wow wow, bracelet. wow. that's amazing yeah. well done Oh gosh, look at the reaction to this. We haven't even bought you the price yet. And you get your 35 step instruction booklet as well. Thank you for saying that. I mean, lovely. would you pay 14.99 for that necklace? I would. No. <laughs> Can you imagine that necklace at 14.99? You'd be, oh, look at that ring. Wow, that pop is gorgeous. That cup chain looks amazing around that shell pearl. It does, doesn't it? Oh, that looks amazing. 14.99, take it away, and, well done. And interesting, because the necklace is quite contemporary, whereas the ring is more vintage. So you can, it is. it's, it's yeah. the same components throughout so you can go in I love different it. ways with it it's the most popular one so far let's have a, a closer look at that ring because that looks absolutely which yeah, one both thinking? of those are from this, yeah. this bundle yeah I want to see how you've done all this Monica I can't literally <laughs> can't but okay it's gonna sell out um show us your demo Monica I can't wait to see this this is going to be fascinating well so basically I just want to show you a little bit more about the cup chain yes so uh with cup chain one way to join it because obviously in the ring it's in a in a full circle so one way to join it is you can actually open out the um the, the prongs of the last uh little cup i guess yeah take out the crystal and then sort of attach it to the bottom of the one coming around the other side but this is very fine cup chain so i mean my eyes are pretty good but i wasn't even going to venture there to be honest with you so um 
yeah, I, I, I sort of wanted to work around that. So what I did was I made a, a sort of a base around the pearl because the other piece that I wanted to make, which I didn't have time for in the end, is you could just attach your cuff chain directly to the pearl mm -hmm. like that with a few stitches going through the hole and have it sitting sort of with the, with the crystals outwards. Yeah. But I wanted to have the crystals sitting forward, Facing obviously. Facing forward, yeah. yeah, that's what's so clever because about Because of the this. ring. If you can pass me a ring, then I can mm. show what I mean. Any of them will Go for it, lovely. There you are. So you can see, so I needed the cup chain to be facing forward. Yes, yes. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And then what I did was to join the ends, um, I've stitched the cup chain on all the way around. Yeah. But the last two um, crystals will stay loose. They're kind of, I guess, floppy would be the word for them. <laughs> nice. Because they won't be stitched on because you can't stitch where you cut it. At, after the last link, there's nothing to attach to. Okay, so what I've done is for the last two little um, crystals, I've put a tiny drop of glue there just to hold those two in place. So I have used a bit of glue. I used the hyper cement for that, but for all the other designs, I didn't use any glue. This was just because I needed to get the ends to sort of join up a little bit. And it's not the glue that's holding it in place because the stitches that I'll show you in a second are what's holding it in place. It's just to hold those last two crystals in position. So all of that is in the, in the description. Mm -hmm. So I'm quickly going to show you how I did um, the other ones, the dangles and the necklace, essentially. It's the same technique, only it's not attached all the way around. It's only attached on one half. So basically, I've got some thread here on some fire line uh, in a size 10 beading needle, and I've put a stopper bead on the end. And then I would go through my pearl, and then I've used some size 11 seed beads. So I pick up one, and then I go back through the pearl, Come back to the other side. Then I pick up one again. Go back to the other side again. Okay, so now I've got two size 11s. Forget about the stopper bead. So I've got two silver size 11s on either side. So I'm gonna go through this size 11 again, where my thread is coming out of the pearl. Then I'm gonna pick up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine seed mm -hmm. beads. Now, when I did the ring, I did the ring slightly differently. So in the ring, I've got 10 seed beads in between the two end ones. Uh, and I did it the other way around. So I've added the, the side ones first, and then I added in the two end ones. You'll see all those instructions in the, in the written instructions. Oh, but good. this one I had to do differently because um, if you're only putting beads around one half of the pearl, if I can find the hole, because now I'm going through the seed bead that's on the other side of the pearl, then you kind of need less because if you have the circle on the other side as well, it kind of pulls the side ones up a bit. So that's why I'm using one less bead here than I did in the instructions for the ring. So I've got nine in between the two end ones. And then what I want to do is I want to take off the stopper bead and then I'm going to tie those two threads into a double knot mm -hmm. to secure them in place. Okay, and then you're done with your tail thread, so you really only need about 10 centimeters there. I'm just gonna go through with it, through a few beads before I cut it off, but not yet, because at the moment it helps to hold on to it. Mm -hmm. And then basically you just start adding your cup chain. So with a cup chain, you've got little gaps between the crystals. So basically you can decide, so for the ring, I started with the cup chain at one end and then I went all the way around. But for the dangles on the necklace, or I was going to make similar earrings as well, mm. You can start wherever you like. So if you want to put your cup chain on there like that to leave the section for your dangle, mm -hmm. then you can start at any point on the cup chain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, first of all, the first seed bead to add my cup chain. I'm going to go through the first seed bead. Then I'm going to go through, actually, I'm going to go through the next two, but I'm not going to pull the thread tight. I'm only going to pull it so that there's a little loop left. Okay, now this is the fiddly bit when you want to start your cup chain. Yeah. So you're going to put your cup chain through that loop. Okay, and you want to pull it through however long you want to leave this section. I didn't want to waste any because I don't like waste. So I counted out how many crystals I wanted and that's where I started. But if you're worried about, or if you're not that worried about waste, you can pull it a bit longer and then just trim it off wherever you want. It makes it a bit less fiddly but I went for the fiddly option and counting because I didn't want to waste any of the cup chain. So 
Anyway, so wherever you want your cup chain to be sitting, you're going to pull that thread tight or that little loop that you had. And that loop of thread, let me just get the tail thread out of the way. I've got the tail thread. I'm just going to cut it off actually because it's just going to get in the way of you seeing what I'm doing. And I just hope the whole thing doesn't come undone because I've cut off the tail. <laughs> So mm -hmm. can you see I've got the little loop there? So when you pull that tight, that loop is going to go in between two of your crystals. Yeah. Okay. And then when you start at the beginning here, you can decide which way you want your crystals to sit. So obviously I needed those crystals to sit facing upwards when I'm holding it like that, so that it sits like that. I don't want it to sit on its side or downwards because you want the crystals to face upwards. So just hold it in position so that it's facing up like that. As I say, the first bit is always the most fiddly. Okay, so now you want to do the same thing again. You want to go around the next gap between the next two crystals. So I just went under my cup chain so that my thread comes around. I positioned it in place between those two crystals. And then the same place where my thread is coming out of, I'm gonna go into the next two seed beads. Uh -huh. Okay, and then that creates your next stitch holding. Just make sure that your thread doesn't catch. I probably should have used black thread for the demo. So your thread doesn't catch on the little prongs of the crystal. Yeah. So make sure the thread goes in between the two crystals. And then you're gonna do the same again with the next one. That's brilliant. And you're just gonna carry on like that all the way around to the other end until you've attached it all the way around. Now, sometimes you need to go through two beads. Sometimes you'll only need to go through one because the crystals are a little bit smaller than two of your seed beads. So eventually it kind of gets um, a little bit skew your stitch. So then you just go through one seed bead, but you'll see um, how many you need to go through so that your stitches line up with the gaps in between the crystals. And that's all you do. You just go all the way around or halfway around in this case cool. until you've stitched it all onto there. And then you cut the other side for the same length. And then that's it. And then all I did to attach it to the necklace is when, I've, when I cut it off there, okay, I took um, a little bit of thread and I picked up three of my seed beads and I stitched around the gap between the top crystal and the next crystal next to each other like that. And I put three seed beads behind. So I made a circle, stitched around a few times like that. And then my, my tiger tail wire, when I threaded on the, the pearls for my necklace, the tiger tail wire, actually, if you pass me the necklace, it's probably mm. easier if I show. The tiger tail went right through the seed beads on the back. Yeah. So you can see it. Can you see? So I've just, I just did a little separate component. So I put the cup chain like that with the, okay. the two end ones and to the back of it, I attached three seed beads. Ah. And then I just threaded on my necklace and went straight through those seed beads. Clever. To attach it to the necklace. And that was it. So there's no gluing in the necklace. There is a little bit of gluing. That's awesome. In the Monica. ring. Yay, Monica! <laughs> You're so clever. Oh, it's gorgeous. I can tell you really love working with I these did, I really Because I, I love sparkle. I love anything sparkly. Yeah, so. it's, but it's just been done so well and with such care and consideration. It's just been wonderful. Such a and I like piece. movement as well. And how it so I'm just thinking you... the same thing, yeah. actually. It moves so beautifully, doesn't it? Um, thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Listen, gorgeous. What an amazing show. I'm um, going to bring you a, mm. a little taste of the early bird again, just very, very quickly. <laughs> Basically, yes, called the late bird at this point. Um, uh, so you get 50 of these anti-tarnish tabs which are fantastic. Uh, this is basically a, uh, a sheet which is impregnated with a, uh, a tarnish, kind of an anti-tarnish um, solution. Put this near your sterling silver or your silver plated base metal uh, jewelry and it will stop your jewelry from oxidizing as quickly as it might do if it's left kind of out in the open. So um, really, there are you know, simple ways in which you can look after your jewelry and this is one of the ways you can do it. So to give, uh, if you're making jewelry to sell, if you're making jewelry to store, we were saying earlier on, maybe cut this into quarters and you know put you know divide that into four, and you've then made four out of one. Uh, you know if you're going to be storing earrings or maybe or maybe a little pendant or whatever it might be. If you're going to be buying these and you're and you're making jewelry to sell or to gift, just giving one of these in in a, a little jewelry box, you know, with with the piece of jewelry, popping one in an organza bag and saying, oh yes, 
after you paid for that piece of jewelry, you know, someone's given you the money for it, and you just say, oh, I'm just going to pop an anti tarnish tab in there, and that'll prevent your jewelry from oxidizing as much as uh, so, it so would do normally. Printed as well. They're so sweet, aren't they? With that lovely jewelry maker yeah. branding on there, which I really, really love. They remind me of little after eight mints. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're gorgeous. <laughs> That's true. Aren't they lovely? Your early bear price point, by the way, wasn't $19.99. It was all the way down, if you remember. $7.99. Amazing, incredible, well done. The loads of people coming through to get these. They're absolutely brill, aren't they? Well done. I just love it. It's such a lovely thing to be able to do for any jewellery maker out there. I think anybody who is a jewellery maker who is who um, you know uses precious metal or even silver-plated base metal uh, components is going to be able to use these and to be able to give them it, it's kind of almost like a dead cert that you're going to get you know hopefully return business or you know that you know it shows that you really care about the you know the aftercare of that yes. jewelry doesn't it well done absolutely fantastic these are flying out the door well done got the last few of these available well done what's coming up tomorrow on jewelry maker <laughs> So tomorrow on Jewelry Maker, you have got, oh, double A quality Labradorite coming Ooh. up. What's that coming up in the nine? I can't read that. Perfection. Perfection. Deal of the day. Thank you, love. Uh, white selenite selection. Oh, Ooh, that's exciting. Gorgeous. Natural Mozambique Amazonite. That's coming up uh, in the 11 and 12 o'clock a crimp bead. Uh, packs with Charlie as well. So that's going to be a really, really exciting show. Monica, you've been brilliant. Thank you oh, thank so you much for joining for us today, me. lovely. You've had some lovely projects. It's I been have, great. I have. It's been great. When are you next with us? Two weeks to today. Oh, perfect. So that'll be with you again. Oh, it'll be with us again. Oh, yes. brilliant. Fantastic. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been so much fun. Um, have a great weekend watching Joy Maker. Monday, we've got something very, 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 very special start, and you'll hear all about it over the weekend. But for now, thank you very much for joining us, and uh, we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>